A very good morning to everyone joining with Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papere TV. Welcome to the Single Esports Club Cricket Grounds as we are all set to begin the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter between Royal College and St. Thomas's College. You are joining with the uh, pre-match talk show of this 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter. We ended the uh, showcase three-day uh, annual big match encounter between the uh, two schools last weekend. And to uh, take you through this uh, pre-match talk show of the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter, joining with me, uh, Feroz Ahmed and Shastriga Pusegola, the uh, two vice captains from the year 2007. Welcome, gentlemen, to the uh, talk show. So, uh, first of all, uh, Feroz, let's talk a bit about the uh, history of the Mustang Trophy. You have played the uh, Mustang Trophy before. Let's talk a bit about uh, what your experience has been uh, with the Mustang Trophy. Um, got fond memories, uh, but back in the day we played, I remember the first encounter was with the white ball and the rest were with the red ball. But times have changed. There you see the tally, we won 23 times. Uh, now both teams are using two new balls, white ball game. Uh, it's a different atmosphere, different sort of encounter altogether. You can't compare the three-day game with the white ball one-day encounter, the Mustangs. But overall, you have the Royal Thomian, that uh, spirit, the, the challenge of facing each other uh, nevertheless. Uh, and I expect to see a good game as well. And that's experience uh, from Feroz and uh, Shashriga. You also have the same experience as I mentioned. Both of you played in the same year. So uh, let's talk a bit about your experience playing in this uh, one-day encounter. Yeah, I've been pretty fortunate to be a part of this great encounter. Even the Mustangs Trophy I played in 2005, 6 and 7. was very fortunate to win on all three occasions. Uh, but however, I hope and believe that the players and the spectators have recovered from uh, last week's enthralling, I wouldn't say an enthralling encounter, but for an enthralling encounter to the crowd at least. Uh, so yeah, I mean overall, a week later, here we go, Mustangs Trophy, let's hope for some positive cricket. Yeah, indeed, uh, let's hope for some uh, positive cricket. So um, as I mentioned, the Mustangs Trophy is happening today, but last weekend, we had the 145th Battle of the Blues big match encounter. So uh, it came to a tame draw after three days, gentlemen. Uh, so we only had two completed innings. The third innings were still going on when the game ended. Here's the match summary. So uh, Feroz, anything to add? Anything that you feel that should change uh, going into this uh, one-day encounter? Well, the biggest change that I expect to see is some positivity out there. I think uh, just three innings not even completed for three days of play is uh, insufficient. Uh, I think both teams are guilty of playing sort of a negative brand of cricket. I expect it to change. There will be an outcome and I hope to and I pray that uh, we see some positivity. Both teams going out there enjoying themselves and also playing with a positive mindset and that will translate into what they do uh, out there. And uh, Sashriga, what's your take? How should the transition happen uh, for St. Thomas's College in this game? Well, you call the big match encounter a game draw. I call it a lame draw. I really honestly hope that they would push the tempo up. At least we know for a fact that there will be a result and let's hope that the modern requirements of one-day cricket is implemented by these two good schools. Yes, indeed. Uh, as you uh, mentioned, the uh, modernized ODI game is quite different from what we played in the uh, last decade or so. So, uh, at the moment, the uh, schools they are trying to uh, get used to the uh, revolution of the uh, limited doers game. So, uh, now uh, talking further about uh, the one day game, uh, uh, Feroz. So, uh, now as you mentioned, Royal College they have a lead of two games. They have 123 St. Thomas's, they have 121. So, uh, now we're going into the uh, one-day game after the three-day game. Uh, you said that uh, about the uh, changes that should happen. Do you think any uh, changes should happen to the combination of Royal College going into this one-day encounter? Yes, generally when you have a good big match, you will have one or two changes because uh, as I mentioned earlier, the red ball game is quite different. The combination that the team employs is different. Here you need to have five good bowlers backed up by a couple of all-rounders. So I expect to see a minimum of three to four changes. Um, and if you look at even the performance, there were a few uh, shortcomings. So I expect the team would have re-strategized, looked at it, and I'm expecting at least three to four changes uh, so that the combinations are changed, they bring in a different sort of uh, balance into the side. Uh, because it's unlike a three-day game, you're looking at 
a different mindset, a different combination to play 50 over cricket. Yes, indeed, uh, Feroz and uh, Shashwiga. Now in the uh, two, three day game, uh, Sinai Jayadhan produced a great all round performance for all. And for St. Thomas's College, Sadiq Soja scored 80 odd, and uh, Dinat Gunwadhan scored 50s in both the innings. So, uh, those two gentlemen, they are in very good form. So, uh, what do you think uh, the others should do to uh, pitch in and make something different in this one day encounter? And your thoughts on the uh, changes that St. Thomas should make uh, going into this 50 over encounter? Yeah, expect a couple of changes. I mean, uh, going into the the one day format I'd expect some positivity and maybe some positive players would replace some of them and speaking about Sadev Soisa especially he was a phenomenal fresher I would say for St. Thomas's pretty surprised he has not played before for St. Thomas's college however he set the tempo he set the tone for the Thomians at the big match but the rest of the players couldn't really capitalize anyhow definite watch out is Sadev Soisa at the, at the one day encounter so uh, those are the thoughts from uh, Feroz and Sashrika and uh, we have to go to a short commercial break but we have a lot to talk on after the commercial break. So stay tuned to Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papri TV. This is the pre-match talk show of the 47th Mustangs Trophy. Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app. ಬಿಗ್ Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness live on the Paparade Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Welcome back to the uh, pre-match talk show of the uh, 47th uh, Mustang Trophy encounter. So, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, two gentlemen that I have with me, they played in this uh, encounter 17 years ago. And right now, we're about to show you the results of the last 10 encounters. Feroz, uh, I'm quite sure that uh, you might have been there for most of these encounters or even all of these encounters. So, uh, any uh, special uh, games that you remember from the last 10 games uh, of the Mustangs Trophy? Well, you put me in a bit of a spot. Uh can see quite a lot of games uh, oh I see there is uh, even Steven I remember the shared game I think where the the, uh, the Duckworth Lewis uh, calculations were a bit messed up but other than that um, I remember a couple of hundreds being scored such as Dayatilaka dominating uh, Hapuin playing a wonderful innings bits and pieces uh, if my memory serves right my memory is more sharper when it comes to the three-day encounter. Limited overs, uh, it's a fast-paced game and you seem to forget things. But here, what you see is uh, a balanced sort of perspective where both teams have an equal share of wins. Clearly shows that these two schools uh, put a lot of pride when it comes to a Royal Thomian. And I'm not surprised that uh, the last 10 years, you've got uh, an even sort of a, uh, outcome. Yes, indeed. And uh, when you look at that, uh, St. Thomas' College, Sashuka, they have won five of the last 10 games. Royal College, four, as uh, Feroz mentioned, it most, uh, I mean, it's almost even Stevens. So, uh, Sashuka, I'll ask this same, uh, same question from you as well. Any uh, remember games for you in the last 10 years? Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember Tarindu Ratnaik, if I recall, in 2015, played a blazing inning where he won uh, the game for St. Thomas' scoring a 70 or not. You look at this uh, card, it 
clearly suggests that synthomes have won continuously from 2014 to 18, but the, the sad part so far is they have not won an encounter over the last five years. So hopefully from a uh, Thomian perspective, they could turn things around this time around. So uh, both the teams, they have had uh, streaks in the last 10 years to be honest. St. Thomas's College, five uh, straight wins. They have been in the college. We also have the team pairing for the game. And we also look at the games about the playing as well, Feroz and Sashriga. And as you mentioned, we most probably get a call you to get our T2 changes from both the teams most probably. And the two captains, Sinej Javadhan and Mahit Pereira, posing with the trophy, the group photo. Uh, which was taken earlier in the day. A big game for both the teams, especially for Sinet and uh, Mahit playing um, their last game for the school, Feroz. Uh, how special it is, I mean, how uh, emotional it is to play that last game. Well, it is. Uh, I mean, I still remember the last time I donned the cap for all. Uh, there's a lot of personal attachment towards a game you've played for many years. Uh, Sinet, he's represented Sri Lanka under 19 in the youth setup but nothing compares to a Royal Tomian and I hope that he ends his career on a high. Uh, he played a wonderful innings at the big match. A Mustangs trophy is a different encounter and I'm sure he would want to have that final feather in his cap. A win plus a good performance. Sashriga, the same question to you as well. How hard did he play that final game for your school? Yeah, I mean it's very emotional for obvious reasons. The last time you're representing the school at a, at a Mustangs trophy, I mean, I like to look at things from a very positive side. Whenever one door closes, another chapter in your life begins. So for most of these young boys, this is also a very pivotal point for the rest of their cricketing careers. So uh, right now we're about to head into something really important. The uh, pitch plays an important part in ODI games. So we're about to uh, head into the pitch report as we have a friend Garmini Pereira in the middle. Good morning everyone. We are in for another scorching day. 26 degrees currently. It's peaking at 32 by Midavo. Ground is looking in immaculate condition. Outfield as quick as you will ever expect. Let's have a look at this pitch. Incidentally, this is the pitch that was used for the Anand and Nalanda two day. They have taken some of the grass out. It's very hard. I'll tell you, four mils of grass. People expect runs when it comes to white ball format. You've got a belter here. Obviously bowling from either side with two new balls, you are going to get some movement, particularly early. But it will be hard work for the spinners. They'll have to rely on their bounce and then maybe pace uh, variations. It's, it looks a belter really. On a pitch like this, at this level, you will bat first. You get around 240, 250, you are in it for a very long time. According to Garmin, it's going to be a very uh, hard pitch for us and uh, Sashrika and also mentioned that it's going to be not that easy for the spinners and Garmin mentions that uh, Gavin Sados most probably will try to bat first and put a good score on the board and then uh, try to defend it. You think the uh, same teams will have the same thoughts? Absolutely, I think uh, there's always the scoreboard pressure as well. Two new balls, white ball doesn't swing as much as the red ball and it looks a belt of a wicket and if I win the toss I definitely opt to bat first post a score and then uh, let the scoreboard pressure build and uh, try to kind of outsmart the opponents. Sashrika, same thoughts? Yeah, I mean, Garmini clearly mentioned that it, it is a used wicket, so it looks relatively dry as well, even though there is a tinge of uh, green as well. So, no doubts about it. From the way it looks, if I was the captain, I would look to bat first. So, both the uh, gentlemen here as well, thinking that uh, whoever wins the toss, should try to bat first. So, uh, Feroz, before we head into toss, what do you think would be a good score here? Anything above 220, but the last few years, I think the game has changed, the pace has changed, and you can add another 20 more. So, anything above 240 uh, will be a very good competitive score. Sashuka, we talked about this before the show as well. What do you think would be a good score? Well, 250 plus, I would say, even though I would like the scores to end up somewhere close around 300-320, but 250 plus. 
250 plus is uh, in the 50 over game 250 plus uh, is always a good score and uh, because it's a day game as well because we are not playing under lights it's a day game so um, even 250 plus may not be enough as well because uh, as Gami also mentioned won't be uh, easy for the spinners uh, later on in the day as well so uh, right now we talked a lot about the toss now we're about to head into the toss itself of this 47th Mustangs trophy we have Harita Berra in the middle with the two captains Sinet and Mahit we are here for the toss out in the middle. Uh, we got a match referee, Mr. Graham Lebroy. The coin is with uh, the Royal Captain Sinet Jawadhan. The call will come from the Tomian skipper, Mahit Pereira. Heads is the call. You won the toss. What are you going to do, Mahit? He'll bat first. Ah, that's very positive. How is the side? Looking good. I mean, confident. We have to do some changes and looking forward to a good match. You said changes. How many? We have three changes. Uh, Anuk Devarani is in for Par uh, Parnitana, and Senad Bilankul is out, and uh, Avinash is in, and Kavindu Dias is out, and Atyendra Sirvadan is in. Are we going to see a belter of uh, innings from uh, the Tomians having won the toss? Let's see. I mean, I think the, uh, in the big match we batted well. We play a positive game today. Good luck, and hope uh, we will have an entertaining game right through. Thank you. Sinet, uh, any concerns about the toss? Uh, no, we were also going to bowl first, so I think it's a good toss to lose. That's a nice story, yeah, a good toss to lose. Uh, any any changes to the side that played the big match? Yeah, there are three changes. Uh, Yenula Bandar out, Kali Dahim Din in, Uina Bampol out and Shane Aberatn in. And, uh, uh, Okay, one more, one more. Never mind. You, you've got a, you've got a very good flat track. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of runs. It's going to be an interesting, positive game, I believe. Yes, it will be a good game. Just looking back at this, uh, what would be a good score for you to chase finally? I think 220 will be a good score. We hope that uh, we will have an enjoyable game right throughout. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Sir. The story from uh, the middle is that uh, the Tomian captain called correct at the toss and he had no hesitation in taking first leads in batting. So no surprises there, St. Thomas's College after winning the toss they have uh, elected to bat first just as you expected Shashrika? Yeah 100% I mean from the way it looked it, it seemed pretty good to bat even up front there was no such moisture visible in the track at least from whatever footage we had but uh, going back, these two schools, big traditions, big names in St. Thomas's, I just sincerely hope that it's time that these schools produce those Sri Lankan caliber players and show the intent that they have to in order to be successful internationally as cricketers. It's all about adapting to the uh, international game as well while you're uh, being a uh, schoolboy. So now it's time to uh, take a look at the two teams. And as far as I heard, I think uh, both of you were right because both the teams have changed around, made around three changes. Uh, Sashrika, I'll come back to you. St. Thomas College lineup. Yeah, uh, obvious changes are Bulang Kuluma, Dias, and there was one more change. And Yatindra has come in along with Avinash, who's also a middle order batsman. So, I mean, they've, they've looked at the positive side. They, they want to be more positive this time around. So, hence the changes for St. Thomas's. And uh, from St. Thomas's College, uh, let's head into the uh, Royal College uh, playing here, Feroz. I think uh, still mentioned that uh, there were three changes uh, for all as well. I think they've uh, brought in the right changes. They brought in an all-rounder left-arm spinner. Khalid uh, is a hard hitter as well. Uh, they've gone with a four-pronged uh, fast bowler bowl attack. Anush, he had a good encounter when both sides met last uh, in the 50-over limited-over encounter. Uh, so I, I, it's an expected cha change. Shane is a wonderful batsman. A good opportunity for him to showcase his uh, potential and talent. So I, I thought I think uh, both sides have made the right changes. So uh, both the teams, as you mentioned, making uh, three changes each. And uh, yes, you talked about Shane, and uh, he was really good in the Anurath Endukon Challenge show for the T20 series, which ended. So uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Sashrika and uh, Feroz, for joining with us in this uh, pre-match talk show of the uh, 47th Mustangs Trophy. This is going to be an interesting clash. And as the uh, toss mentioned, it's going to be St. Thomas's College who will bat first after winning the toss. Three changes for both the sides. This is definitely going to be a 
mouth watering clash. So, thank you very much, everyone, for joining with the Prima Talk Show. I'm Laksi Di Silva signing off for the Papre TV, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. We will head to the commentary box straight away. Well, there you go. Very good morning and a warm welcome to the SSC grounds in Colombo. We are here for the 47th Mustangs Trophy, the Royal Tomian uh, Limited over in Counter. C coming to you live on uh, the uh, Papri.com, of course, the Dialogue TV and all our social media platforms. Uh, you could watch it uh, from wherever you are, whichever country you're based on and whatever time zone. Uh, and the news, as uh, we said uh, earlier, is that uh, St. Thomas has won the toss and elected to bat first. Uh, a few changes uh, to both lineups, three changes each. We'll go through that uh, later as uh, the opening uh, pair walks out with the Royal team. The on-field umpire is uh, ICC umpire, Rochiria Palliaguruge, along with the Chamara de Soisa, who had a fantastic uh, Royal Thomian. Uh, Emanta Boteju uh, will be our third umpire, or the TV umpire, with umpire Udawatha as uh, the fourth hour. There was uh, Sadev Soiza, 10 games, 240 runs. He was very consistent uh, in the uh, limited over format uh, before the two days uh, this uh, season. Scored a lot of runs. He was one of the leading run scorers for St. Thomas's and uh, played brilliantly uh, in that uh, Royal Thomas in the first innings, uh, making a fantastic 87. He'll be looking uh, to continue on that uh, form he's uh, shown and uh, try to get St. Thomas's uh, to a, a good start. Uh, we have Avinash Fernando. Now he's a youngster. He's uh, fine in his feet. This is uh, a big moment for him. Was not a part of that 145th uh, battle. Just a one game. Hasn't done much. 16 years old, but a good talent. Uh, had an opportunity to play the two day game uh, versus Trinity a, a few weeks ago. Made a fantastic 16 that game. So certainly there is a lot of uh, potential uh, in the youngster. But he will be uh, very, very uh, nervous uh, out there. He's one of the changes uh, that has come into this lineup, replacing uh, uh, Sena Di Bulankulama. And uh, two more changes uh, to the uh, Thomian lineup as well. And three changes to Royal. As we say, a very good morning uh, to uh, Gamini uh, Pereira. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. Fabulous day here at SSC. And it's going to be a scorching day today, uh, Ricky. Let's hope that the cricketers will li live up to it. Polo Novita to get things underway. And St. Thomas will get their innings underway. Single on the leg length side. Anush Polo Novita is among one of the changes um, for the Royalists. As you mentioned, uh, Ricky, three changes from either side. And... Uh, Incidentally, Anush Polonovic, uh, there was a Royal Thomian uh, limited over match uh, early in the piece, early uh, early part of uh, the season. And he took, I think, three wickets in the first over, didn't he? It was a quarter final. And, um, and not forgetting uh, Garmini, in the last uh, Mustangs trophy, he bowled uh, really well. He picked up some uh, early wickets uh, because. Uh, He's able to move that ball around, that uh, wide ball, get it to swing. And I think that's one of the reasons he's got this new ball as well. He's been successful uh, against St. Thomas uh, in uh, wide ball cricket. Oh, there you go. And bowls very well to the left-handers. St. Thomas have two left-handers at the uh, top of the order. Yeah, that's his stock ball. Uh, sending it away from the left-handers outside edge. Fernando looks a nervous starter to me, uh, Ricky. No feet at all in that last delivery. Just poking at it. Two slips are waiting for the edge. Oh, that ball is certainly swinging. That's down the leg side, called a wide. But you could see that swam back at uh, that left hander from outside the leg stump. You could see where the wicket keeper finally gathered it. So certainly he's getting some uh, movement and he needs to get it in the right areas. That was very close to that leg stump as well. Just a gentle medium pace. His uh, strength is that uh, movement. 
with the new ball he's at his best uh, with the new ball generally unfortunately missed out didn't get an opportunity in the uh, big match but uh, will be looking to impress uh, young uh, Polnavita perfect conditions for a 50 over game um, Okay, the pitch looks an absolute belt, I'll tell you. So most certainly, uh, Garmini took a look at it uh, in the morning as well. I share your sentiments. And uh, St. Thomas have done that as well, rightly so. Win the toss, bat first, put runs on the board. And just build up that scoreboard pressure. Good looking shot. Down the ground. He'll just get a single. But that's a confident way for Fernando to get uh, things going into this innings. First over completed, three without loss. I'm going to get a drink. 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 it's going to be Bulan Viratunga from the uh, tennis court end. We're all got three. Medium paces in their lineup. Ranukam Albarachi is the uh, third. Different feel for Viratunga. Just a solitary slip. Yeah. Uh, cover point. Third man. Cover, extra cover, mid off on the offside. Mid on. Mid picket and a long leg on the leg side. So it's a conventional field. Uh, the Royal Fast Bowlers, I thought, weren't at their very best at that big match. They are much uh, better than what they bowled, especially Bulan Virutunga. We have seen him now for a number of years. He's a great talent. Malavi Arachi has a pace in him. But uh, they bowl both sides of the wicket. Of course, uh, the surface was uh, not the best of a fast bowling as well. It was a hard grind. But uh, they will be looking to make amends here. They are the experienced uh, bowlers for Royal the uh, fast bowlers the spinners uh, are very inexperienced uh, other than of course uh, Sinatha Jawadana they are playing a uh, new left arm uh, spinner as well in uh, today's game so yes these fast bowlers will have to lead from the front oh, that's well bowled uh, just pushing outside the off stump playing a touch too early I feel uh, so is uh, now he's brimming with confidence. Had a, a bit of a bat as well against the white ball in that uh, T20 game, uh, T20 tournament uh, a couple of days ago. Celebrated 100 years of the big club grounds in uh, Mount Lavinia. Yeah, that's the a good length for someone like Suiza. No, yeah, just around there. He loves to get on his front foot. We saw that in that three day, didn't we? Uh, is a very good driver of the uh, driver on the offside. He presses forward, so around that seven eight meter mark, just shorter length. And uh, as you saw just a couple of balls ago, Ricky, he was uh, just a fraction reach late to transfer his weight onto the back foot. So Royal may have done their homework. Short arm uh, jab, short arm pull, we may call it through that mid wicket region. He'll get a couple of. Oh, that will go down to the boundary. I thought the fielder may have the chance to drag it in. But uh, he has uh, timed it well enough. Uh, so he's up. I, I felt when he was playing that short gamble, the ball didn't sit up as much as he expected. Uh, it sort of uh, came at uh, knee height. And uh, he had to. Uh, Crouch low to uh, play that pull shot. I think he was expecting it to uh, get much higher, but played it well. He did. He had to adjust. Uh, that's the advantage that you have when you have got good hands. 
and good bat speed. Like you said, he didn't get up that much, did he? Uh, but he still had good enough hands to uh, get low on that ball. To uh, not not really convincing, but uh, as you could see that from that, uh, Ricky, this outfield is <laughs> lightning quick. That's uh, so much of uh, value for your shots. Get it into the gaps. Runs on offer. Straight away, the slip comes off. Anus Polonovita feeling a short mid wicket. That's exactly where the ball ended up. So, Rolla looking to contain early rather than trying to dismiss the batter. Played it late, steered it well into the gap. So is uh, looking good once again. Two overs completed, nine without loss. एक खाले का टीवी बालना मिनिसून टा हरी हरी खारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड वेल्ट पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आह कमला गाता मिनिसु टीवी के ना दाह साथ आया था इतिं में देंगे आराम देना द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएसडी स्मार्ट इस तरह इंदा पानस पाने में हैटा बहाने का अंगल में देंगे आने ना यामु ඕනෑ මම මාවිල එක ඕනෑම ටීවි එකක් ටික ටික ගෙවන්න මේ දැන් අරගන්න තිබෙන පුරා සිංහ ශාඛා වෙත එන්න So St Thomas says after winning the toss have got up to a, a decent start steady towards nine runs uh, So his eyes looking good with him is uh, the newcomer Fernando Polnovita with the ball once again. Full toss, unable to uh, capitalize. Uh, now, just talking about Sadev Soiza Gamni, uh, several uh, a few weeks ago when I met him at uh, Slovenia, you know, he was looking really sort of down, low on confidence. The runs were not coming, you know, you could not get a smile off him. But uh, since that uh, big match and that 87, we met him the other day. You can see the lad, you know, much happier. Uh, in a happier mood, uh, you know, he's uh, chirpy, he's uh, looking good, looking confident as uh, he uh, steers one again uh, towards that uh, third man region, gets another single. So, you know, when you're performing, your, your entire attitude uh, towards the game changes, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, confidence can do wonders in your mind. Just for a moment, I thought Rahan Piris, who was fielding at first slip, for that delivery probably could have gone for that catch. That's uh, uh, Apish. Yeah, in his first over, Polonovic had two slips. But now they're just solitary slip. Uh, let's see whether we can see that again, that previous, uh, not, not the last delivery, the one before. For a moment, I thought he had a fair opportunity to dive across. Umpire Ruchira Palya Guruge, ICC match referee in charge of this game on field with the Chamar de Soiza. As I mentioned earlier, I had a fantastic uh, three day encounter at the uh, big match. That's in the air again. He's uh, living dangerously at the moment. Uh, Fernando, very nervous start. Gets away with a single. Now, Gavini, you mentioned the, about the slips. Uh, a few deliveries have gone in that area in the air. Yes, now they've got the second slip, but this two was uh, wide. So far, whatever has gone in the air has gone away from the fielders. But uh, with the, that's a uh, looking beautiful. Beautiful to the eye. Sadev Soiza lent into that one. Didn't try to hit it uh, too hard. Just timed it sweetly through that uh, cover region for four runs. With the white ball format these days, uh, Ricky, you you see all kinds of innovations, um, paddle sweeps, scoops. But to me, in cricket, still the most delightful stroke that you'll ever see is the cover drive. 
And that's one of them. That was out of the top draw and from uh, Suiza. And especially when the left-handers played, isn't it, Gamini? It looks a little more glamorous uh, than when the right-handers do. We'll come back to that, but good comeback delivery. Excellent uh, ball uh, to finish off the over from Paul Novita. Three overs completed, 15 without loss. Heels crest Naimiris sausage. The bite that bites back. Nikam Boru at a risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos theatre, risk a gunnatu, kick a gay fund transfers karana, a game, a chill like a bill speaker. We were talking about those cover drives, uh, Garmini. I mean, we have seen Sachin Tenduka, Virat Kohli, Ricky Pontin, Kane Williamson, the right handers. You know, so, so good they are, Mark Waugh. In, in my younger days, I really loved him, uh, watch him bat. But then again, you look at Brian Lara, Saurav Ganguly, or Kumar Sangakkara. You know, I mean, it I mean, looks I, I, a little bit more really. I was just about to say that you are forgetting the local talent and uh, <laughs> Sangakkara and Maharaj Ayodhana. Exactly. By him, the TV umpire once again. He's been uh, doing this job now for the last few years for the Royal Tomians and uh, has been uh, very good at it. This time, uh, Fernando Beaton. Yes, it uh, certainly is uh, so much uh, names uh, to talk about as we go along. Marvan Atapatu, he was uh, so brilliant with that cover drive to, to the offside. Remember, Roy has again got the hat as the match referee. Very experienced and a pretty level-headed bloke, uh, Graham. Both, uh, both him and the and Graham LeBroy, they could have been a handful on a track like this, all with some speed, movement. That's Shane Abiratna making. Uh, his debut today. He was a very consistent and prominent performer in, the, in that uh, T20 series. Uh, Ricky battled pretty well. Showed a lot of class, didn't he? Got good hands. So I, I thought that was an opportunity uh, for Shane, and he, he grabbed it with both hands. He showed that uh, he could play the shorter format well. And it was a timely that T20 tournament uh, for him too. And uh, yes, he's uh, got his uh, due rewards. I'm sure he uh, has a lot of talent, has a lot of potential. We'll see him as uh, the uh, years go by, play for Royal. Betting out of his uh, crease is uh, Fernando, trying to negate that bit of movement. Oh, that's wrapped him. Uh, Going down the leg side, probably height as well, says uh, Chamra Soisa. Yeah, I think it's the height. And, uh, you know, as you could expect here at SSC, there's plenty of carry and bounce. Yeah, only thing that uh, Chamra Soisa would have been thinking was the height. Didn't have the, the base at that time, Fernando. As you could see, he moves his back leg forward you know one of the uh, main attributes to be a good batter is to have your base correctly right that will be called wide and he'll have to re-ball that one Bulan so that has been his uh, problem this year so far Bulan his uh, accuracy his balls are my very good deliveries and in between, he's bowled that very poor ball as well. And uh, he's uh, not been consistent with his uh, lines, unfortunately. I mean, comparison to uh, what he did uh, last year, he was uh, absolutely brilliant then. Left on line. You're talking about the base, uh, Ricky, as a batter. Why is it so important is that, uh, you know, at some point in time, the bowler is going to outthink you. 
in this game. You can't expect the ball to be where you want all the time. And when the ball is not there, as you expect, then you need to have the base to make the adjustment. The best batters in the world are the guys who adjust. Everyone can hit the ball. Otherwise, they would not be playing this game. The best batters are the ones who could adjust. Round the wicket this time. Playing it uh, a bit more late. Fernando had uh, plenty of time to get onto the back foot. Four was completed at 16 without loss. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Anchor drink in yogurt. Four runs per row at this stage. For those who have just joined us, St. Thomas' College won the toss this morning and um, elected to have a hit first on a placid batting track. Oh, still there's enough movement. You could imagine that Polo Novita will be trusted to bowl most of his overs with while the ball is near. He's not expressed by any means, but um, he does get that movement away from the left hand, and you got two left hand left handers in the middle. Fine leg inside the circle. Cover fielder drops back to the fence. Oh, that's into the gap. I think uh, he dived over the ball. I thought he will stop it comfortably, but it was uh, timed sweetly by Soita. We get a couple of runs. It takes him into double figures now. Steady start so far by the two left-handers. Soita has been the aggressor as expected, like he did in that uh, Royal Domain. Extra cover made the fumble. The way Anush is bowling at the moment, extra cover is such a vital position because the batter will be looking to play towards the swinging side, and um, you are always in the game. Extra cover mid off, and even the slip field for that matter. The field there at uh, that backward point region is fairly deep. A lot of deliveries have gone in that region. A lot of runs have so far come down to third man as well. They're playing late because uh, Polnovita is swinging that ball away from the left hander. So he's in particular is uh, looking to hang back. Just a one slip. Is the other slip coming up now? Yes, there's a change in the field, I think, uh, Garmini. The short fine leg fielder, Carly, moves to a deep third man, and Bulan comes into a comes to first slip, and Rehan moves to Gali. So there's a lot of real estate on the uh, on side behind the crease. No fine leg. Straight away, it was inevitable. Uh, Ricky, you could see you know, that can work in your mind as a bowler when you take that fielder out from fine leg. You are looking to uh, be safer and uh, get it across that off stump, and he overcooked his line. Straight to the field, and Netmin Darmada. Netmin, it is. Spinners will have a lot of work to do in this game. Uh, Netmin and Ramiru. The two senior bowlers, along with Sinead Jayawadana. So they have options in that spin department, around four spinners to work with today. 
Now that's a good looking shot. Once again down the ground, stands tall Sadev Soiza. Just a punch through the line. Beautifully played. Four runs to end the over. Five completed, 23 without loss. Love never felt this good until right now with you. With one more bite of revel for love. He's been a pop and a rat in the bar. That's the good to stick at the number. Six so good in the number. Hot and spicy pop, he's in a bar. Prima, good to me. Fanta mine. So he's up. 17 of 16. That was a wonderful straight drive from his bat. The way he displayed his skills in that three day, uh, Ricky. He, li he likes conditions like this ball coming on. He loved to present his full face to the bat. Exa just like that, that last delivery, that last over. But he actually played. Fernando, 15 for his three runs. But at the other end, Soiza is going well. 100 uh, strike rate, 17 of 16. So because of uh, the way Soiza is batting, there's a little bit of more time for Fernando to settle down into this innings. He's uh, the pressure, the youngster. I'm sure he's still nervous out there. With... He should have put that away into the gap, but unfortunately, straight to the fielder. Yeah, golden opportunity for Fernando. Short and wide. Does he need to punish the loose ball on, on the surface, like Gamini mentioned. There is so much of open space as it's a big ground here. And a fast outfield. So when you get that loose delivery, you have to make it count. For Fernando, uh, I think the Royals have got the correct field. The point fielder is more towards that 45 position because Fernando is looking to uh, angle his bat towards third man. And I think the difference between Souza and uh, Fernando, uh, Ricky, obviously, you know, Souza is feeling not comfortable out there after that three day outing, and uh, Fernando. Playing the big occasion, slower delivery. That will that is something that you will require in on this surface to change your speed. Yes, in addition, as the, you, yeah, as the ball gets older, you will see a lot of um, medium paces or the fast bowlers, as you could call it, using that delivery. Yes, so you mentioned uh, the fielders in the right position. I think Royal has got their best field at that uh, backward point uh, or that region as well. Uh, and Netmin, I think it is. He's uh, a live wire in the field. Holds on to some very good catchers, very quick. So you need to get the right fielders in the right positions. Very strange uh, change from the Royalists. Third man comes inside the circle. Square leg drops back to the uh, fence. And the double bluff. Attempted Yorker. Just uh, trying to bowl stump to stump, you miss, I hit, trying to get uh, that LBW opportunity, but uh, Fernando was up to the task. It's uh, very dangerous uh, to get that third man in, especially when the ball has gone into that region quite a lot so far today in this uh, first uh, six overs. But uh, Bulan Viratunga has the confidence, he's uh, the experienced bowler, so he knows exactly what he's, uh, he wants to do. This has been a good over for Royal. Oh, he bought a no ball, isn't it? He's overstepped. Umpire Chamara Soiza. There you go. Signals uh, the free hit. 
Now this is an opportunity for Sadev Soiza to capitalize because it has been a steady over I just mentioned. He's bowled a good over so far and he's uh, knocked the stumps with his hand. Interestingly. Yeah, those who are wondering why that was called a no ball because the front foot was way inside the line there. He had enough behind the line but like Ricky mentioned he knocked the stumps that was his effort ball looked to get he looked to get close to the wicket didn't he free hit oh misses out misses out goes for that big one he should have played a conventional shot I think but he was uh, trying to hit it out of the ground Bulan gets away six overs completed 25 without loss If you're just joining in on this uh, live coverage, this is the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter between Royal College and St. Thomas's College. The Thomian opener, Sadev Soisa, clearly struggling with uh, shoulder niggle. St. Thomas has won the toss, elected to bat first. They are 25 for none at the end of six overs. Last weekend it was the 145th Battle of the Blues and this is the 50 over version of these two prestigious schools playing uh, cricket and the uh, physio is attending to the Thomian opener as I welcome uh, Shastrika Pussegola. Shastrika a very good morning to you I've always wanted to ask uh, a former Thomian or a Royalist the, the value of uh, Mustangs trophy right after a, a very um, high pressure battle of the blues from that to Mustangs trophy good morning uh, everybody yeah yeah I mean uh, always significant importance when St. Thomas's play Royal irrespective of where and how they play uh, Mustangs trophy for 47 years continuously uh, another very prestigious event definite significance in the encounter I remember when I played back in the day in 2005 6 and 7 uh, we managed to win on all three occasions it was played with the red ball back in the day however things have changed a lot and now they use two white new Kokobura balls conditions are much different the power plays are a bit different Sadev Soisa is already strapped and uh, looks like uh, he had this uh, issue before also but um, yeah nevertheless this is uh, the dialogue big match season the uh, best of uh, schools cricket in action plenty of schools cricket being played uh, over this weekend as well so the two teams regrouping a small break, Sadev Soisa attending to his shoulder injury seems to have got things back on track. He's uh, looked dominant from the outset as opposed to his partner. St. Thomas's now would uh, ably be hoping that uh, Sadev's partner also takes some initiative and rotates strikes so that you know he could get more of the strike in this batting power play. Anush Polnomita will uh, continue. Avinash Fernando, the left-hander, is hanging there for six overs now. Uh, Shastrika, 
must be very nervous playing uh, the first uh, Mustangs trophy encounter. But um, when we talk about the modern day 50 over cricket, he needs to get a move on now and uh, make use of the fielding restrictions. I understand him being nervous. It's his first time around at a Royal Tourmian. That's all well and good. A close call. But I think his intent should be to rotate strike. It's not all about blazing away, getting the boundaries, you know, looking to be aggressive from the outset. That's not how it works for every player. Maybe it works for Sadev Soisa, but Avinash just needs to maybe use his crease a bit, come down the track a bit and look for that single so that he could get the more dominant partner on strike. Paul Novita doing his thing, he uh, picked up a couple of wickets uh, last uh, year also at the Mustangs Trophy. Gets to um, swing the ball both ways. Yeah, he seems to be a bit of a Mustangs Trophy specialist, is uh, Paul Novita. He did uh, nominally well last year as well. That's blazed away, square of the wicket. No stopping that. That's the first boundary for Avinash. Hopefully that will get him going. That's the shot that he needed to get his confidence on board. Let's hope that he'll kick on from here. Yeah, he had uh, 18 dot deliveries before this. But uh, now he'll uh, be a relieved boy in the middle the left hand uh, oh, pitched that time from uh, Paul Novita this is the seventh over in progress uh, of this uh, Mustangs trophy small change uh, the wicket keeper coming up to the stumps Understanding that the batsmen are looking to use their feet against a pretty slow, moderate, medium bowler in Polono Vita. That's a much better line from Polono Vita, not giving any room whatsoever. So there's three power plays involved in this uh, one day rules I'd say the first 10 overs consisting of uh, a maximum of two fielders outside the circle then the second power play is a maximum of four and the final one with a maximum of five end of uh, the seventh over St. Thomas is 29 for none Radios, the road is yours. Chili chili rasa ko main to mix ka hita ka sanava. Chili to rasa yen kolla kolla to spice up sanava. Hamun madhi na alu to mai ki savory rasa ya chili to biscuits. and Veerathunga will uh, continue. I mean the conditions look pretty amazing I'd say. Look at the outfield. It's lush, well uh, maintained outfield here at the SSC along with the wicket looking as placid as it could be. Thomas surely and clearly would look for around 250 plus I would say in the first inning. If they get anything less, won't really place the Thomian camp. Yeah, out of the top uh, four, Shastika, one player must go on and uh, bat the 50 overs. That would be the target uh, from the top order of St. Thomas's College. 
they have uh, the caliber of um, Sadev Soisati Sen Haley Goda, Mahit Pereira, Dinit Gunamardana. Some players who have been uh, in good form. Mustangs uh, trophy encounter the 47th time they're playing it. Royal have won 23 out of it, and St. Thomas is uh, winning 21. You remember that tight game back in uh, 2002, and one game was shared in 2012. So, one thing's for sure there's going to be a result this time around at the Mustangs Trophy. The current run rate at 3.78. Not the best in a, a batting power play, I'd say. Sadev Suiza once again showing his intent. 17 out of 22 balls. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. That's a very close call. And that's the end of the eight over. And St. Thomas is 33 for none. Z? 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 Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Gold Wild. Unleash the wild in you. Paul Novita will bowl his uh, fifth over. Two more overs remaining in the power play, um, Shastrika. Will they opt to uh, change things or will they just look to bat on? They should target somewhere around 45 runs in the first power play from here onwards. Whether they would get it or not would solely depend on how Fernando's intent would be. Fernando not finding it easy to penetrate this uh, field placed by Polono with a predominant uh, offside field with a slip. Two points, an extra car mid off. A deep fieldsman down in the point boundary as well with the third man in place. He's kept that fine leg open. The intention's pretty clear. Attack just outside our stump and force the batsman to make a change. Right now, Fernando, 8 rounds of 27 balls. Concerning for the Thomians up to a certain extent, purely because it's a batting power play. 
However, let's hope that he could change his intent and pull things around. The important thing is not to let go after being out there for so long, Damit. I mean, that'll be a cardinal error for the batsman to just throw things away. As I mentioned before, there's plenty of singles uh, on offer. Look to tap and run. Look to go across and maybe even glide it towards a vacant fine leg. Is a boundary for the taking. Outside edge, but just a single. Avinash Fernando and Sadev Suisa. They've added 34 runs so far in this first power play. And to all our viewers, just a reminder that uh, we have uh, five matches in the dialogue big match season now currently taking place all over the island today. We have the uh, Royal Tommy and Mustangs Trophy encounter here at uh, SSC. We have the 119th Lover Squirrel in Gaul where Richmond College are playing uh, Mahinda College. And we have the 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues between Trinity College and St. Anthony's College. We have the uh, 13th Battle of the Hindus between uh, Jaffna Hindu College and Kalambu Hindu College as well as the 21st one day encounter between uh, Jaffna Central College and St. John's College Jaffna. All these five big matches, all the pictures are brought to you on the Papare Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Fifth over completed by Paul Novita, St. Thomas's 34 for none. Naimir is sausage, the bite that bites back. 34 for no wickets at St. Thomas's College at the end of 9 overs. So he's on 21 of 26 balls. Fernando still on 8 runs of 29 balls. Bulan Virathunga to continue. It's 5th over. He's got 4 overs for 13 runs. Pretty economical. They would have liked a wicket or two up front in the first 10 overs, the Royalist. Now the platform of the stage is set for the Thomians to really look at enforcing or adding some impetus to the inning. Again, Bulan Virothunga following the same strategy as uh, Polonovita. Two fielders are down in the boundary in the offside. The third man at the deep point got two points, an extra cover. And a mid off. There we go, that's a vacant area. A very poor delivery by Bulan Virathunga. He's bowling that in swinger towards the leg stump without a fine leg, uh, Damit. Yeah, poor execution of plans from uh, Virathunga. Captain Sinet had uh, set the field on the offside, but he's uh, targeting the stumps. St. Thomas's have uh, enjoyed success so far. Avinash Fernando. He's been good uh, so far in this game. Last year, Royal College won this uh, 46th Mustangs trophy by seven wickets. St. Thomas's having won, opted to bat first, made only 165. So, can they? Go up uh, a notch this time. A wide signal by umpire Chamra de Soisa. The Royal skipper must be pretty disappointed. He's uh, set a, a packed offside field before this ball actually. But the bowler has been bowling down leg. So clear mismanagement of instructions followed by Bulan Virothunga. Oh, these lovely pictures brought to you by the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Singali Sports Club grounds will have more action coming your way 
throughout the next few weeks as well. We have the uh, Josephine and Peter at uh, Cricket Encounter next weekend here at uh, Singley Sports Club. Then we will have the uh, DSC Nanayaka taking on Mahanam College. Two of the informed teams in the school circuit this year. They'll be playing their 18th Battle of the Goals. Then we have the uh, two limited over encounters from those two encounters. The uh, two big matches rather. Last over in the power play. From uh, the Tomian point of view, I think they've uh, done the job well. 39 is a decent start, uh, Shashuka. Yeah, 39 is a decent start purely because they've not lost any wickets. They should, however, look to consolidate at the tempo. Look to maybe even go at five to six runs go from the tenth over onwards. A max of four fielders outside the circle in the second power play. Second power play from the tenth to the fortieth over. There's always a gap around the corner. So that's placed beautifully by. Fernando, there's no chance of stopping that. That's his third boundary. Moves him uh, to 17 of 33 balls. And St. Thomas is on to 43. Another poor delivery from Veera Tunga. He's not the quickest out of the lot. Giving uh, enough room. Avinash Fernando just had to uh, bisect that... Uh, field a couple of fielders had no chance whatsoever he's got good hands uh, Fernando he's a young lad doesn't move his feet much but he's got good hands and uh, these two have done a great job so far for the Tomians having won the toss elected to bat first 43 for none solid in defense Avinash uh, Shastrika must be the first time you, you're seeing this youngster. Yes, uh, very well played there, the forward defensive stroke. He's got a beautiful open face of the bat when he plays on the offside. Uh, his feet movement is not the greatest, but however, the most important thing is head moves towards uh, the, the ball. And the gap that is created between the, the ball and the head is minimal. Those are the key important technical points when you play on the offside. Uh, Playing against fast bowling, you, you don't tend to use your feet as much as you use against spinners, but the, the base that you create is the most important thing. There are some uh, valid points from uh, Pusagola that time. The first power play is completed. St. Thomas's 43 for none. Straight away, right after the uh, first power play is over, Captain Sinajaya Vardhana is coming on as umpire Ruchira Palyaguru signals the second power play. In this power play from uh, over number 11 to 40th, for the next 30 overs, Royal College will uh, be able to uh, have a maximum of four fielders outside the 30 yard circle. This is uh, modern day uh, cricketing rules, and uh, for this 47th Mustangs Trophy, also the ICC rules are applied. And rightly so, uh, Damit. This is the stage that the schoolboys get used to this uh, international uh, rules and regulations in one day cricket Sine Jawadana the captain of Royal he's played only one uh, one day game according to the stats uh, Damit obviously was busy with uh, preparations for the under 19 World Cup yeah the limited overs uh, games uh, Shashika were played in 2023 in the third term as we call it the third term uh, before the start of the two-day tournament they had the one-day tournament these two teams met in the quarterfinals Royal uh, obviously won that game at uh, St. Peter's College grounds as you correctly said Sina Jayavardhana since the start of the third term up until um, the end of uh, January 
end of the World Cup. He was uh, busy with national duties, but he's a capable uh, young all-rounder, more or less a batting all-rounder. He's got the ability to um, bowl, bowl in, uh, probably he'll bowl in 10 overs as uh, Sade Suisa is clearly struggling with that shoulder. This is concerns, uh, big concern for the Thomians. He's a man in form. Doesn't seem to be able to continue. I think the umpires will ask uh, him to uh, leave the field. Sadev Soisa has been batting beautifully, 22 of 28 balls. A cause for concern indeed for St. Thomas's. The best thing to do right now would be to send him in, make sure the medical staff attend to his matter and get him back in the middle later on. And seems like that's exactly what's going to happen. Sadev uh, Soisa. As we see the replay tucked it towards deep mid because straight away he felt it the grim on his face says it all and uh, now he's decided to leave the field dummy yeah massive blow to the Tomians Sadev Soisa he was among the runs uh, in the three day format as well and now he's got a start Will be replaced by yet another left hand, Dinet Gunavardana. But uh, very unfortunate. He was all right during the, the big match encounter. Wonder if it happened during the Andre Tenakon uh, Challenge Trophy. Was it there at Damit or? I know they played a few T20 games. Uh, over the week at St. Thomas's and St. Thomas is managing to win that uh, tournament as well which is also a good preparation for the 50 over encounter but just wonder if uh, there was a nigger during that tournament for Sadev. I'm not, not really sure when uh, the injury occurred but nevertheless Dinat Gunavardana the new man This is the time uh, the batters uh, should get busy, should be able to rotate the strike more often. Let's play towards uh, the short extra car field. Uh, no run there. The crowd's uh, slowly but surely building up. Unlike the 145th Battle of the Blues where it was a jam-packed crowd from Bow 1. A steady crowd building here for the one-day encounter as Fernando pushes the next ball towards Midon. It's camper through for a quick single. He moves on to 18. The Tomians go on to 45. Dinet Gnumardana. He's in the middle because of uh, Sadev Soisa's injury. 11 overs completed, 45 for none. St. Thomas has won the toss, elected to bat first. Sadev Soisa and uh, Avinash Fernando managed to get uh, 43 runs in the first power play. Here are the Highlights from that uh, first power play, uh, Shashrika, the two left-handers did their job brilliantly. Yes, some elegant strokes by Sadev Soiza who looked very positive from the outset. Avinash Fernando slowly but surely getting his gears on as the innings or the power play progressed. Sadev Soiza once again piercing that offside field, the much favoured area. Bulan Virothunga uh, straying slightly down the leg side without a final leg surprisingly enabling the batter to get a freebie. And uh, that's the final boundary of the power play as we see Sadev Soisa going into the sheds to get his injury sorted out. Now, Polonovita now coming from the tennis court end.
Loud appeal from Giganagi and uh, Paul Navita, but he's still able to uh, move the ball. It's always uh, um, not a pleasant thing for the batters, uh, Shashrika, when the keeper is uh, up near the stump, especially when you're facing a fast bowler. Yeah, I mean, it limits you. That's exactly why we find it a bit hard as batters. You can't use your feet, you can't use the crease that much because there's the keeper right behind you. And whatever elegant strokes you're looking to play now is restricted purely because of that. And the dibbly dobbly pace of Polonomita not helping the cause as well. The batsman has to add all the power into the strokes because the bowler is not giving anything in terms of pace. His accuracy has been commendable as always. Polo Novita into his sixth over, conceding only 21 runs. Another single to Avinash Fernando. Forty seventh Mustangs trophy encounter. Yeah, this game is gonna be a very exciting game later on in the game, especially with the conditions, with the starts and Thomas have got. It's all about how they manage the second power play. Dinat Nuardan, he's also a man in form with uh, two and a half centuries uh, in the big match. 47 for none now, St. Thomas's. Royal skipper making the changes. He understands that the batters are looking to pierce the offside field. Adding a very packed offside field. There's only two fielders on the leg side, uh, Damit. A short squalic and a mid on. So nothing on the legs for Apollo Novita. He has to stick to his discipline. It's a much better stroke from uh, Fernando, but Polnavita has uh, cover in the sweeper area. Sina Javadhan, he's clearly not happy that um, these two left-handers are being able to rotate the strike. 48 for none now, the Thomians. Sina Gunavardhana. He's got over 200 runs in uh, limited overs cricket this season. End of uh, 12 overs, St. Thomas is 48 for none. Gunavardhana, best score of 38. Uh, he'll want to improve on his strike rate, but uh, today he'll want to uh, continue that uh, run scoring. Welcome back to the 47th Mustangs Trophy. Ranuka Malaviarachi being brought into the attack. Uh, a very good morning to you, Haritha. Good morning, uh, Feroz. Uh, yes, uh, pleasant morning at uh, the uh, SSC and uh, St. Thomas is a very positive start after a positive decision to win the toss and bat. I think. So, uh, 47 Mustangs trophy being played and uh, Royal leading the way with 23 wins. St. Thomas says with 21 and we've got two memorable uh, no result games. One was one ended up with a tie. You 3 see for Ro 33, his best figures uh, is much uh, better than the nine wickets that uh, he has accumulated this season uh, in the one day format.
Ach, Miss Will. Those are things that uh, you don't want to uh, see in a game of this nature. I think uh, your fielding needs to be sharp, especially in that region, the cover point field. Um, unlike the red ball, the white ball moves across the turf faster. There's a lot of lacquer on the ball, so it generally comes on to the bat and your timing is much better compared to the red ball cricket and on that occasion it flew faster than what the field anticipated there you see just a gentle prod but it flies towards the point region that particular region needs to be sharper um, unfortunately the previous delivery net wind uh, couldn't collect it cleanly but you see all those deliveries going towards that region yeah, 50 up uh, on the board uh, without loss uh, technically, but uh, Sadev Soza has retired. Good leave. These two batters um, have done well. Avinash uh, Fernando in the uh, Anutenakon Trophy Invitation uh, T20 Triangular celebrating the uh, centenary of the big club ground at uh, Mount Lovinia. And of course, Dinit Gunawadana scored a Blistering 44 in the final against uh, Royal. Who had a depleted side then. He was voted uh, man of the final in that. That's on the back of uh, twin half centuries in the three-day game for Dinit Gunawadana. Absolutely. He's coming into this with uh, a, a couple of good innings. Uh, he's in form. Dinit Gunawadana uh, scored twin half centuries at the big game and then followed it up with a 40 in the T20 tournament and here he is with a couple of runs I'm sure he'll be looking to consolidate and uh, score big because there's no demons in this wicket Harita. yeah I think 275 is something that uh, would be um, gettable on this wicket uh, 30 not completed. St. Thomas is electing to bat 50 without loss. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Kiri Atira Supiri Rasa. It's a huge opportunity for young Avinash Fernando. He's uh, played uh, a rather subdued knock, but I'm sure. The team plan is for him to uh, keep up one end while the others would look for the acceleration. And Polo Novita will continue with his seventh over, a long extended spell with his gentle in swing bowling. I think the captain is happy to complete his uh, quota of 10 overs, I suppose. Yeah, I, I would believe uh, that's uh, one of the uh, uh, technical aspects of uh, keeping him in. Didn't play in the three day game. So he is um, keeping the ball in line with his thumbs and um, when you keep uh, a batter of the caliber of uh, Gunawadana quiet for much of the time, the um, equation of uh, the dot ball percentage, the more it is, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for the batting side. Quick single, uh, good bit of batting. Overall, good cricket, I think. Uh, Polo Navita kept in that channel and uh, batsman played with soft hands. I think that's the difference. You've got to look for the singles. Your running needs to be sharper. And uh, on the other hand, the Royal Fielding, especially in that 30-yard circle, needs to be up on their toes uh, looking for that quick run out. Because in this level, there's always a chance for a quick run out. Avinash... 
he'll have to be careful. He's uh, played a few good sh shots. He's uh, collected uh, a few boundaries, but uh, rotation of the strike is what is important. To see the strike rate has gone down to 3.7. I'm sure St. Thomas is want to have it uh, above four at all occasions, and then. Very good uh, line and length. He's bowled a superb over, Anush Polonoveda. He needs to. Uh, there you see the last delivery. The feet didn't move towards the ball. Yeah, you see his leg planted on the leg stump. Uh, batsman has faced almost 40 deliveries. He knows what Polonoveda is doing. Getting the ball to move away from him. Needs to get that uh, right leg across more towards the ball. This time, a lot fuller played uh, with a straight bat. End of 14, St. Thomas's are 52 without loss, elected to bat in the Mustangs Trophy. Drinks are being called on to the middle. Ek khali ka TV bal na mini sunta hari hari kara darona. Loku TV stand bolta poli TV awa. TV aha kamala gatta. Mini sun TV ke na daha saata area. Eating? Me dang aran denna the. TV LED Full HD UHD Smart. This thing in the Panaspanami hat of Hanaka Angal. May then Gandan and Yamuma take a singer. Onama Madileka, Onama TV, Tika Tika given, May then Aragana, Tibinapura, singer Shaka with him. Heels crest nine made a sausage. The bite. At the moment, as we look at uh, the Thomian batting card, uh, Sadev Soisa retired for 22. Um, Avinash Fernando is batting on 22. He's uh, faced up for 50 deliveries. There are five extras, 14 overs. Not an explosive start. A side that has uh, three changes uh, for both teams uh, from the side that play the three day game. And the bowling, uh, Polona Vita has led the way, bowled 7 overs, 26. Vira Thunga was a little expensive comparatively, gave away 22 runs. And the skipper, Jawadan and Malavi Arch have started well, bowled just a solitary over for a couple of runs. And uh, we do have uh, Malavi Arachi to continue from the far end. It's from the Vidyama with the end. Uh, St. Thomas is uh, probably. Would uh, want to regroup. As far as the two batters are concerned, neatly tucked away. Fernando has this uncanny uh, ability to sort of uh, glide it uh, through the gully region. Yes, he's uh, looked good. He hasn't uh, looked to play too flashy. He's uh, played within himself. But this is the most crucial part of the play. They've done the hard work, faced uh, 14 overs, the post uh, water break session will decide the outcome if these two can consolidate push the run rate a little bit uh, on the higher side uh, we can see a 250 plus total and on the other hand Royal can be happy with uh, the initial phase they can be quite satisfied for keeping the runs in check 
but I'm sure they'd love to have a couple of wickets uh, also in this passage of play in particular. Match commissioner is Kamal Indrajit. Match referee is uh, Graham Labroy. On-field umpires Ruchi Rapalya Guruge and Chamara De Soiza. Television umpire Hemant Boteju. The uh, additional umpire is Pradeep Udavata. Again, tap and run. That's a good strategy. If you don't get the boundaries, start uh, looking for the singles. I think Malavai Arachi also has started uh, quite well. He's been on the money, unlike the three-day game where he was a little all over. Um, here, the couple of overs he's bowled, especially the nine deliveries, he's been on the money. And uh, on the other hand, I'd like to see the closing fielders attack the ball a lot better, cut down those singles and create that pressure. Over pitched, well struck and equally well fielded in the deep. Very positive cricket from both sides. Couple of runs. It's a very fast outfield. See that uh, Avinash Fernando is now middling the ball, hitting it uh, with uh, a little bit more purpose. Take a look at that. You need to see that sort of effort on the field. Netwin Dharma Ratna. Oh, was it? No, that wasn't him. That was Dinu Rasena Ratna. Steered away. Oh, should have been cut off. That's a well-earned boundary. Khalid, uh, one of three changes for Royal. Could have done better, Khalib uh, Rahim Dean, fielding at the third man uh, region, ran across but didn't collect it cleanly. I think the difference there was uh, the batsman using the pace of the ball, just gliding it. There you see Haratha, the glide that you mentioned, using the pace, using those hands and collecting uh, another boundary. Again you see batsman using the pace and the angle quite effectively, a good over post uh, the water break session. Uh, 15 overs gone, 60 for no loss. Seat Car Radials. The road is yours. Nymeris sausage, the bite that bites back. The royal captain said it was a good toss to lose. Polono Vita continues with his uh, usual uh, strategy bowl wicket to wicket. He's not express pace, he's not moving the ball appreciably, but he's spot on with his line and length. Yes, and with the pace he's bowling, the batsman needs to do all the work uh, if they want to pierce that uh, infield. Got ample cover on the offside, but this time uh, poor delivery on the pads, uh, equally well worked by the batsman, Gunawardana. I think I'd like to see a change uh, rather than make it predictable. Polono Vita, especially with Gunawardana who has just walked in, and Fernando also looking to play some shots, bring in the changers, bring in the off spinner because these are two left handers uh, out there. Make the change and not make it predictable because uh, if these two hang in there, I'm sure you're looking at a big score. Goes uh, around the wicket now. Polonita to the left handed uh, Dinit Gunawadana. Scorers on the main scoreboard for Royal Imantaria Vikrama. Mr. Thomas is Tushara Kure. Quite a character Kure. Wide. You'll have to probably cut down on uh, giving the opposition the freedom with uh, extra deliveries. Edge of the oh, tough call that was, but. Uh, Fair call in the end. I think he was uh, wider on that occasion, getting the ball to move away from the left hand as well. At uh, Polonovita trying something different. 
coming round the wicket again glided towards third man that has been the favored shot by fernando throughout this uh, innings feroz he can afford to do that because there's no slip or gully and even if he gets a thick outside edge and the ball is in the air as uh, an indication of a little bit of a breeze across the ground it should be helpful it's very hot and humid conditions one of the better cricketing facilities in the country crowd uh, slowly making their way to enjoy the game i think this has been a bit of a tired over by polonometer he's bowling eight overs uh, on the trot and you can see a little bit of waywardness creeping in two deliveries on the pads one wide outside off stump i think clear signal for the captain he's done his job get someone else from uh, the tennis court end should be a couple an easy couple again you see on the pads uh, this time uh, avinash fernando doesn't miss out yeah, he's looked good he's in touch now he wants to rotate the strike one of three changes for the tomians place of senadi bulankulama at the top of the order avinash fernando could also keep straight to the field uh, end of 16 overs uh, 66 for no loss introducing sri lanka's biggest google tv collection from singa endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore millions of shows movies and games plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Brilliant uh, aerial view of uh, the Independence Square, the surrounding areas. historic site popular tourist destination Tomen Fisio was uh, on the field uh, the two batters probably feeling the heat they have to be properly rehydrated royal captain bringing himself on from the vidya mahava the end is bowled one over so far given with two runs he usually is a very um, economical bowler he picks up wickets too sinaj jawadana did his fair share of bowling at the big match i think uh, especially in the second innings uh, bowled almost 40% of what was bowled uh, in the second innings i felt he over bowled in the second uh, sa but nevertheless uh, as you mentioned correctly mentioned bowls on a tight leash starts out well uh, Had he missed that, uh, would have been an interesting shout. The delivery went on with the arm. Batsman walking across. Fortunately for him, managed to get a good piece of the bat. Just to uh, get on with uh, Tushar Kure, 98 Test matches he has done. Uh, the scoring against all Test playing nations against Sri Lanka. Oh, lucky bottom inside edge. They'll be looking for two. Fernando. is back so it's a uh, clear indications now get on with uh, your innings is that a decent start is on 34 he should not uh, you know, be rash in his uh, stroke play yeah, again quicker through there not given air javodana he's concentrating on the dot ball segment better delivery but uh, equally well played by fernando i think the previous delivery he tried to hit a little too hard he saw it up to the bat and then uh, tried to give it all better off playing uh, with a straight bat and timing it rather than looking for muscle yeah they'll be probably looking for two 
very well run played with soft hands uh, used Jayawardena's pace and angle played it with soft hands hit the gap and the moment he hit he knew there was two skipper Jayawardena not happy with the deep mid wicket fielder Malavi felt... Arachi had to come a long way I must let you know yeah almost 90 minutes of uh, play we have had uh, this morning Fernando started to move along nicely he's on 36 he doesn't uh, give the impression that he's uh, a batter who would probably start uh, using his feet to get to the pitch of the ball but uh, in fairness uh, Jawadana is quicker through there rather than uh, giving him uh, a little bit of flight better I think that was a lot slower on that occasion end of 17 overs 71 for no loss it is my vision that wakes me up not my alarm I make mistakes but I will never be defeated My biggest competitor is myself. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Big match fun, Prima Kottumi Tiyanaka. Rohan Soiza, head coach for Royal, assisted by Charit Fernando. Dinesh Kumar is a head coach for St. Thomas. Probably he'll relinquish that post. Director of Sports uh, at uh, the college, Dilchan Mendis is assisting him with uh, Lasit Randuno. So Malavi Arachi has just changed ends. Uh, we're coming from the tennis court end to Gunawardana. Starts off well, just outside off stump. Batsman goes fishing. Uh, lucky to not have edged on that occasion. Uh, Tell you, if this was bold at Avinash Fernandez, he would have got back to ball. Strong in that area with that particular shot. Bit of a nothing shot in the end. Uh, in retrospect, uh, Gunawardana was uncertain. The first delivery from Malavayarchi from the tennis court end outside of stump. Guno Ardana was caught tentative outside of stump, but fortunately for him, missed out completely. This time again, well directed. He would probably beat the bat with uh, a little bit more pace, but he's bowling well within himself, uh, Feroz. I think uh, you've got to understand under these circumstances, it's not going to be. An easy task. And I, f I feel that he has adjusted. The faster he bowled, uh, it f uh, the batsman found it easy to use his pace and uh, he leaked a few runs. Now he's bowling within himself. He's understood. Cutting down the pace on this wicket helps uh, contain. And right now, Royal is more on a containment job rather than looking to get wickets and attack. Yeah, they would be mindful of the fact uh, the back of their mind yeah that's his manchanaika what a difference he made when he was leading royal last year i think Sting. good to see him uh, at the dugout supporting the boys because he's played with these uh Levan out there just represented royal last year and what a wonderful uh big match and one day he had uh it was his ability control things out in the middle he was a different captain he was a uh, refreshing uh, deviation from the uh, normal old safe school player. traditional yeah, captain yeah, yeah. as well you decide. always with a smile okay everything the way he performed with his team he could smile for the next 10 years absolutely Again, outside of stam, again tentative uh, prod by Gunavardana. Reminds me of uh, Nathan Caldera in the three day game. He bowled uh, a lot of those sort of deliveries. Charit Fernando also had a good uh, Royal Tomian in the year 2008, scored 100. He's supporting Rohan Zoisa, he's the assistant coach. 
I think Malavi Arach has found the right line and length for Gunavardhana just outside of stump and as we speak a very very poor delivery and uh, even worse fielding uh, luckily his shoe came in the way and prevented a certain boundary he went for a little bit of pace lost direction completely Ranuka Malavi Arachi has been a much better de directed deliver uh, over I think that's the difference. Uh, Malavi Archie had a good delivery the previous one, followed it up with a, a, a poor delivery. He needs to be patient, work in that channel bold and him. bold him. He didn't use his feet. He tried to hit it hard. I wonder whether he got an inside edge onto the stumps. Never mind. St. Thomas has lost their first wicket. Royal have broken through. That is what they wanted for a long time. Man uh, depart is Avinash Fernando. Well compiled, 30 plus score for the pressure. But it's uh, so important that uh, Royal uh, breakthrough. Oh, inside edge. Very unfortunate. He looked good, but nevertheless, a welcome breakthrough for Royal. Avinash Fernando departs for a well compiled uh, 34. St. Thomas's uh, end of 18 overs, uh, 75 for 1. St. Thomas College 75 for 1 after 18 overs. The first wicket uh, going down just in the uh, previous delivery. A good start so far for the Thomians and uh, skipper Mahit Pera in the crease 10 games 205 runs, average of uh, 41, strike rate 75.23, high score of 73. Mahit Pera needs to make sure that uh, the team continues this momentum. Joining with me on commentary is uh, Danushka Kolambege. Danushka, a good start for St. Thomas's College. Very good. Good morning. Uh, yes, uh, I think they've uh, got on to a really good start. Did not. They managed to bat out the first uh, 10 uh, overs quite well. And uh, I think both uh, uh, Soiza and uh, Fernando batted, gave them a really good start. Here's a replay from that wicket. Chop it on, very unfortunate. Alvi Arachi, he'll be really happy that, uh, he'll be relieved uh, to be honest to get that first wicket because uh, Royal College, they needed that desperately. So I think this is an uh, all important uh, partnership here for the Thomians. They are best uh, batters out there. Mahit Pereira, Dinet Gunavardhana both did quite well in the three day game as well. That's wide outside the off stump. Just on the blue line uh, there. The umpire calls it white. Score moves on to 76. At the end, Gunavardhan scoring half centuries in both innings uh, of the uh, three day encounter last weekend. This time, driven away by Mahit Perra. He'll open his account with that single. Rami Dean bowling for Royal College. He didn't play the big match, but. Uh, is brought uh, into the team for the one day. Bit of unorthodox open chested action. Khalid yeah. Rahimuddin. Uh, he played in the Amrut Endukon Challenge of his T20 Tri Series, uh, bowled very economically. Maybe, just maybe, that might have been a reason that they uh, decided to uh, bring Rahimuddin into the side. Also, Shane Abiratna, who has made it into the side, he also played really well in that uh, triangle, triangle series. I believe the Royalists played uh, more of a second level team for that uh, tournament and those who've done well there have got a chance here. Again, wide outside the off stump, driven towards deep extra cover. The Royalists going according to a plan, bowling wide outside the off stump. I believe that they don't mind the single. However, they should be careful because if the Thomians get a good foundation here, they, they can uh, really ex accelerate towards the end of the innings. And also, in, when you look at the screen, uh, in the last 18 deliveries, 
no boundaries, but Anushka, they have scored 14 runs, so that's almost 5 runs per over. So they're making sure that they are getting the singles and the twos uh, consistently. Not giving away dot DD is much. Just uh, 7 dots in the last 3 overs. So uh, some good uh, batting by uh, the uh, St. Thomas' top order here. Because they know that they have the likes of uh, Akash Fernando, Kavin Dudayas who can just absolutely obliterate any bowling attack. End of the 19th over, St. Thomas' College, 81 for 1. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Gold hair and body wash shaker. Anchor drink in yogurt. 12 of 21. Now going back to that point, uh, they only have Akash Fernandu. Akash Fernandu uh, who uh, compiled that brilliant partnership with Nathan Caldera in that uh, T20 series uh, which happened uh, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. So Thomas, they were 54 for 5 and uh, the two of them managed to take them to 172. Some very good hitting in that uh, last uh, 6 overs of that innings uh, by Akash and Nathan. Yes, the Thomians do bat uh, deep, uh, especially throughout the season we have seen the middle order, the middle order and the lower middle order have been uh, contributing the most for the Thomians. So they have the batting to come. So that's why... Uh, believe that uh, the Royalists should, should be aware if they get a go good foundation there's a lot of batting to come and they can take the chances and uh, go for a big score. Yes indeed uh, the firepower that they have they can even think about somewhere on 90 to 100 if they do keep wickets in the last 10 overs. So uh, Royal College they need to be uh, really really careful here not giving St. Thomas the opportunity to do that. Because they certainly have the uh, certainly have the capability to uh, pull off something like that. This uh, Saint Thomas College batting lineup. So I'm sure the message from the dressing room for the Thomians also should be to keep rotating the strike, not take much chances during this stage. Keep the scoreboard ticking. And the way things are going, the Royals, the Royalists might not feel the scoreboard uh, moving. So that should be the plan for the Thomians. Now that happens often, isn't it, Nanushka? Because uh, they're not scoring boundaries, so most of the time the opposition tends to think that you know, they are not they were going away with runs. But uh, because this is Thomas's boys, they are running really well. It's the other way around. They have the runs on the board as well, so uh, they just have to continue in the same manner. They just don't have to uh, change anything, St. Thomas's at the moment. But for all, they should try to take some quick wickets. Two quick wickets here will definitely uh, derail the momentum for St. Thomas's. Exactly, and uh, how to get wickets on this SSC track is to keep bowling dot deliveries, build up that pressure and uh, create that uh, opportunity. And uh, Malvi Arach, I believe, who is bowling, has done quite well. He has kept uh, the ball on good lines, which has created the first wicket for the Royals. After 19.5, last delivery of the 20th over, straight to the field. So, uh, end of 20, St. Thomas's College 82 for 1. Eka khali ka TV balna minisun ta hari hari kara darona. Loku TV stand gal ta poli TV awa. TV aha kamala gatta. Minisun TV ke na dahasa pa area. Iting 
මේ දැන් අරන් දෙන්නද TV LED full HD UHD smart ඉස් දෙක ඉඳන් පනස් පානමේ හැට පහන එකක් අංගල් මේ දැන් ගන්න නම් යමු මාත් එක්ක සිංගර් ඕනෑම මාදිල එක්ක ඕනෑම TV එකක් ටික ටික ගෙවන්න මේ දැන් අරගන්න දිවෙන පුරා සිංගර් ශාඛා වෙත එන්න Ravello the official chocolate partner of the Battle of the Blues Then good rather 12 of 23 Mahit Pereira came to the crease just at uh, two overs ago Prime Dean six runs from his previous over the left arm spinner against the left-handed batter straight back to the bowler Prime Dean is action he does not use his uh, front arm that's uh, very open chested so maybe something he could work on so you can see here his uh, front arm doesn't uh, go up at all and also now so this is very interesting because even in international cricket we see this uh, thing happening where the captains they tend to not bring in the left arm spinner when a left handed batter is there but uh, sinaj jawadana he's taking that risk and also actually what's with that i mean uh, I believe the left-arm spinners they are certainly capable of bowling against left-handed batters. I mean, the uh, captain is probably a bit too cautious. You believe? Yes, I believe it's all mindset. Uh, it's always easier to hit it with the turn. So, for a left-hander, left-arm bowling means the ball is coming into your body. So, you can easily hit it towards uh, deep mid wicket, deep square leg. So, that's the thinking behind not bowling a left uh, arm or two. a left hand it's always difficult to bat when the ball is turning away from you but here on the ssc track there's rarely much turn so i don't think it will make much of a difference yeah why well, as a question miss because uh, when the off spinner is bowling the captains uh, they bringing him the off spinners uh, without any hesitation at all when the right handed batters are there so uh, that's why uh, i mean if you are a bowler who are bowling in that level you need to be capable to bowl at left hand as well left handed batters exactly and this time a thick outside edge the ball is running towards the third man boundary a easy couple of runs for the thomians that's the end of the 21st over st thomas's 83 for 1 Nightmare sausage, the bite that bites back. The broadcast in platforms of the uh, 47th Mustangs Trophy. You can watch the action live on the popular TV HD Dialog TV channel number one two six. You can also watch the action live on uh, the Dialog TV View app, Dialog View app as well. Uh, if you are watching it on your mobile, and that's bold him. What a delivery from Malaviarachi! Managed to beat the uh, left-handed batter Gunawardena. There was uh, some deviation away from the uh, left-handed batter, which was just enough to uh, miss the bat, but enough to hit the stumps. I mentioned last over as well. He has been bowling very good uh, lines, cramping the batsman for room, and this delivery just going slightly away from the left-hander. Then it goes northern, playing down the wrong line. He was trying to angle his bat, play towards third man, I believe, missed it, and that's the second wicket for Malavi Arachi. Then it. Gunawardana departs for 13 and St Thomas is 85 for the loss of two wickets. college losing uh, two wickets in quick succession not what they wanted after that start uh, but royal college way to them yes uh, this is nally go to the new batter 10 games 230 runs so average of 25.60 strike rate 56.16 base score of 57 the strike rate not in the uh, not the best of strike rates for an odi game but uh, 
believe uh, it's most probably they are to uh, settle the ship a bit once again because they lost two wickets uh, in quick succession. They don't want to lose uh, three. Yes, I believe the Royalists have really come back well uh, after the good start by the Thomians. They have kept it quiet in the last couple of overs. They are how we, what we mentioned, a few dot balls were bowled, creating that pressure. And uh, all credit to Malivi Arach, who has done really well. 2 for 15 of his 4. Yes, indeed, the uh, right arm pacer. Once again, a very good delivery. First up to Ahalia Guda. The Malavi Arachi continuing that uh, good work uh, from his uh, previous uh, wicket as well. Here's the uh, free play. The first wicket, uh, the replay of the first wicket. The shot one. And then this one, the last one. A pinch of a delivery to remove uh, Dhirin Kulavardana. Perfect length, perfect line uh, to the left-hander, and the run rate has now dipped it's just beyond uh, below uh, four runs. So that's a poor delivery this time. Trying the bouncer, but down the leg side, umpire calls it wide, and the batsman also change ends. So two runs for the Thomians. My pair up. They must make sure that they that he doesn't think about the two lost wickets because uh, they lost it very quickly. Extras, uh, 10 extras in this inning so far. One no ball, nine wides. Well, uh, they'll have to think about that a bit because nine wides in 21.2 overs is uh, not that good because uh, in a 50 over game, you need to make sure that you don't give away extra deliveries and extra runs. Exactly. And this time, Mahit Pereira drops the ball towards Carfield and very good quick single he moves on to five uh, actually what what would you think a good total on this pitch is now with the way things going I think uh, 250 would be a really good score a score that can uh, challenge Royal College but uh, they actually have the chance to even think about more before the first two wickets went down but right now I think they'll have to reassess and uh, just think about the thing about playing until the 40th over and try to get somewhere around 170, 180, and then just uh, finish things off in a flurry in the uh, last 10. This time uh, flicked away by Halia Goda and it will find the boundary. Welcome boundary for St. Thomas's College. Halia Goda coming into the act uh, just in his second delivery. It's Maliviraj, Maruyaj this time straight down the legs of uh, Halia Goda and he did well too. Just flick it off his legs towards the wake and deep mid cut area well a very welcome boundary for the Thomians after some time and uh, he's off the mark as well and a rare bad delivery by uh, Malavi Arachi and once again going into that um, total uh, question Anushka bouncer from uh, Malavi Arachi almost almost uh, give away five penalty runs there It was very close to a white. Way over the batsman's head. Lucky not to be called a white and almost hits the helmet as well. Ninety two for two years in Thomas College. And going back to that total question, now Danushka 250 will give the psychological advantage of St. Thomas's College. So uh, they'll definitely be thinking about that. So end of the 22nd over, St. Thomas's College, 93 for 2. I'm going to go to the house. 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 We have one more delivery remaining in the 22nd over. So now that's the end of the 22nd. St. Thomas's College 92 for 2, Mahit on 5 and Ahalia Goda on 4. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games, plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. 
Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. I believe there's a bowling change for the Royalists. Captain Sinaj Jawardana brings, him, brings uh, himself on. Bowled extremely well uh, at the three-day game. Uh, Sinaj Jawardana, left-handed uh, batter who opens the batting and uh, can give you 10 overs uh, on any day. A great all-rounder Sinaj Jawardana captained uh, Sri Lanka under 19 at the uh, recently concluded World Cup. Good start from uh, Sinaj Jawardana. Okay. Got some uh, uh, like a bit of turn uh, that delivery, uh, Laksisi. He bowls uh, very good uh, lines and uh, lens keep it really tight, and that's how he gets his uh, wickets by creating that pressure. Asinet uh, bowled himself just for two overs in that first play, first spell, Sinijayavardena, and uh, has brought him in once again. Two dot deliveries to uh, start his new spell. Bowling with a packed out uh, offside field. Big open areas on the leg. Tempting the batsman to go against the line. And compared to the left arm, uh, Rahimi Din uh, Sinet is getting a bit of purchase from the wicket. Getting that slight turn away from the left hander. Another dot delivery. Very well bowled. Very good over so far by Sinaj Jawardana. And uh, these dot balls are creating the pressure for the Thomians. The left handed batsman will be looking to go against the line. There's no mid wicket. This time, shot outside the Osta once again, straight to the short uh, extra fielder. Heli Goda on 5 and Mahit Pereira, the Thomian skipper on 5 as well. So they will have to lay a foundation here. Once again, another dot delivery. And that's the end of the over by Sinet. A maiden, St. Thomas's, 94 for 2. Gold Wild, unleash the wild. Heels crest nine meters sausage, the bite that bites back. Run rate uh, just over four at the moment for St. Thomas's College. Malavi Arachi will continue. Given away by uh, Mahit Pereira. 100 out of 100 for the effort of Malavi Arachi putting in the hard yards. This has been a long spell as well for him. Yeah, five overs on the trot and it's very hot and humid uh, out there. So hats off to him, uh, Laksisi. And he has done really well to keep it really tight. Good lines, good lengths and... Uh, He's been the pick of the bowlers for the Royalists with 2 for 25. So at the start of the Thomian uh, innings, even I was thinking uh, 300 would be a possibility the, the way how the openers uh, got on with the game. However, the Royalists have come back really well to get these two quick wickets. Plus, Sadev Soiza has, uh, was retired hurt as well. So I, don't know if it, he will be able to come back to bat. So, ideally, it should be 95 for 3. Now, that uh, moment where Sadev Soisa had to go out, I think uh, that was the place that uh, St. Thomas's College's uh, momentum derailed a bit outside edge this time, but uh, straight to the field right third man. So 
these two should uh, look at batting at least towards like the 35th over ideally and uh, maybe get close to about 160 175 and that would be a good foundation for the batters to come the likes of Nathan Caldera and Akash uh, for Fernando who are, who are known for their big hitting yes indeed that's why I mentioned earlier as well uh, Danushka those two They'll have the license to go hard and uh, go big against the uh, Royal Bowlers in the uh, death if uh, these two can uh, manage to uh, stitch together a partnership and take them deep. That's the main thing. Mahit Pera, he'll certainly have that on his mind because uh, he's a very thinking captain, Mahit Pera. A very good captain. Has led the side brilliantly just like Snitch Avardhan for Royal College. So uh, he'll, he'll definitely have a plan on his head. The dots are building a bit in the last three overs uh, compared to the last time we showed this uh, graphic of last 18 balls. Just uh, 10 runs and uh, around 11 dot deliveries in the last uh, 18 deliveries. I believe the main reason for that is uh, Sinat Jayawardena's uh, previous over which was a uh, maiden. So I think uh, he's bowling himself very carefully uh, coming in in very short spells so that uh, he can keep his overs towards the latter part of the innings where he could really use his experience to keep the runs down uh, towards the end of the Tomian innings. A bit too straight this time by uh, Malavia Rajshimahit Pera flicks it away for a single. So 24 overs done, St. Thomas College 97 for 2. Heels crest Naimiris sausage, the bite that bites back. Hot and spicy, fun by Bhagati Barakaranda. We take a remake, Karanda, the winner. Have a look at the power, I am not giving me a fashion, Karanda. Fun, 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 the Turana, got to me, kick it to me. Cream, I got to me, fun, damai. Welcome back to the SSC Fabulous Pictures brought to you by the Papare. St. Thomas is 97 for the loss of two wickets. Some might say effectively three because Sadev Soisa was uh, sent back to the dressing room. Had a shoulder injury. From a Thomian's point of view, he would be ready to bat somewhere down the line. Khalid. Rahim Dean, uh, unorthodox action, might uh, putting it down to deep point for another single as I welcome uh, Garmini. Good morning to Garmini. Morning Shastrikam. Good morning everyone. So Thomas's have laid a good platform to get a formidable total here. Yeah, you mentioned about uh, Rahim Dean's uh, opportunity. Hurry, hurry! Now, safely in. Yeah, for a, quite a tall left arm spinner, he loses around a foot and a half because of his uh, delivery strike. Ah, there is Soiza. He's up and about. He's ready to come back again. Maybe after the ne uh, next wicket, uh, Segula. But uh, at the moment, these two are going nicely. A pretty unorthodox action by Rahim Dean. Not the usual orthodox left arm spinner's action. Slightly uh, round arm as well. He'll be expected to hold things back, tighten things for the Royalist. Mahit Pereira, 8 of 17 balls, and Ahelia Goda, 7 of 12. St. Thomas's. Uh, Closing upon that 100 mark at the end of the 25th over. Yeah, they are 100 actually, 100 for the loss of two wickets. Which means they should get to around 230, 240 at least from here, Garmini. Yeah, I would say 240, 250, just around par really. Condition suits the batters. It's hard work for the spinners in particular. They're not a lot of turn, hard surface. 
Royal and St. Thomas has both got plenty of bowling options uh, in their ranks. At the halfway mark, STC after decided to bat first this morning, 101 for two. Nikam boru ata risk ke ka ganne hai. NDB Neos theer di risk ke ka netu. Kik ke ke fund transfers karan na wagi ma chill ke bills pay karan na. Hundred and one for the loss of two wickets. The first 50 coming off 75 balls, the second in 74. Mahit Pereira on 9, Tissane Ahalia Gouda on 8. Gavani, uh, just to look or ponder on the strategy that has been used over, uh, with these two schools over the past few years in terms of Mustangs Trophy. We do understand the, the current, the contemporary game of one day cricket is much different to what we see out there. But if you look at some other schools in the modern era, schools like um, St. Sebastian's, Prince of Wales, who in fact played a one day encounter last year at the same venue, hitting scores around 330 and then St. Sebastian's going down to chase that as well. And if you, at the, at the meantime, reflect and who, who has been playing for the national team from these schools, we see the lights of Avishka Fernando, Kusal Mendes, then uh, so many being produced from those two schools. Is it the intent that they've showed in the one day game? And why is it that the Thomians and the Royalists are left behind now? Yeah, a bit of both, uh, for that matter. You, talk, you spoke about intent. And to skill to go with it, skill and will, those two go together. You spoke about St. Sebastian and Prince of Wales. I saw last Sunday a uh, 50-over match between St. Sebastian and uh, Prince of Wales at the uh, Oval. After watching three boring days, and uh, Sunday, actually, uh, you know, it, I was so disheartened walking out of SEC uh, on Saturday night, and uh, that Sunday match, at the oval between St. Sebastian's and on a wicket that was turning and uh, there was a bit of a system for the bowlers. Scores were two, 265 and 250 on chasing. So a terrific game of cricket. Uh, yeah, like I said, these two schools, they didn't really back themselves in that three-day game, did they? And uh, yeah, different approaches, but uh, traditionally from Rotor you get uh, cricketers with great skills and um, and uh, great mindset, so uh, no wonder they are a bit ahead of these two schools when it comes to um, particularly one day cricket. You mentioned a very valid point, skill and intent. Now these are schoolboys, schoolboys from St. Thomas's and Royal, prestigious established uh, schools in Sri Lanka. Now who would you point a finger at in terms of getting their intent and skill right? I think compared to playing days, my playing days, I mean, a long, long time ago, um, we, were, we were made to uh, make decisions by ourselves on the field. I think modern day cricketers, at times, not all, uh, they are overcoached. And, uh, you know, they, some of these guys are not thinking out of the box. Compared to what when we were uh, playing a couple of decades back, or maybe three, um, you always coach only ask you at this level, you are allowed to make decisions uh, according to the conditions, according to the situation. You need to have those attributes if you are going to be a smart cricketer. And uh, coach only questioned the accountability and the execution. That's all he, he was worried about. Making decisions is solely up to you. And, uh, 
Yeah, now modern day cricket uh, really, uh, Shastrika, it's it's, it's man, man management really. It's like it's like a it's like a manager of a Premier League team uh, because you've got all kinds of coaches right around you and uh, systems and uh, whatnot, physios and all that. We'll come back to that. One five or two. This is from the Rajaki Mahavata and the famous Tamarind Trees at Royal College. Historical buildings. Very nice basketball court as well. Both schools uh, are well known for their uh, basketball players. That's the college ground. And this is the middle school where you enter from the small side. Just behind Navarangahalla. Yeah, both these schools. Uh, you know, I, I was at St. Thomas's uh, three days ago, uh, Shastrika, and uh, you now it's always a pleasure to go to Mount Lavinia. And uh, I mentioned time and time again, the fact. Oh, there, there is one man who would love to bat on a track like this. That's his man Chanayaka. He's uh, also uh, in the dressing room and uh, supporting his former teammates. Yeah, Dasis was a golden boy last year. He turned things around for Royal, pretty much single-handedly winning uh, the big match for them. Uh, so this uh, telecast obviously brought to you by the Papare. And talking about the Papare, we also can talk about the Dialog View app. You can now watch this match live on the Dialog View app. View app brings you the best of cricket, including IPL, PSL, WPL, Dialog, Big Match Season, and many more. Download the View app now and subscribe to the Sports Pack to catch all the cricketing action live. What a great opportunity with the Dialogue View app. We were, we were talking about modern day cricket and what about the modern day telecasts and the facilities. Wherever you are, whether you're at home, whether you're on your couch or whether you're in a bus or train, it doesn't matter. All you need is a mobile phone and you can watch or catch all the action. Dialogue always in the forefront of things. Uh, Garmini, the technology that they have is uh, parallel to any other. That's the chance there. Batsman flicking it down towards deep mid wicket. The fielder not really expecting the ball to carry thus far. However, surprised he was unable to hold on to that chance. Let's have a look. Oh, from the moment it left the bat, he was never going to catch it, was he? He was so slow to get under it. He was hanging in the air for a very long time. He had to cover some ground, just to be fair to him, but you would expect a schoolboy to move faster than that and get a grab hold of that. Would have been a very important wicket for Royal as the next ball is placed beautifully. That's just caressed by Thysen Ahalia Goda, just placed it. He knows that there's no sort of spin out there. He's placed it between extra car and mid off, and the outfield did the rest. He's playing a little gem here, isn't he, Ali Agoda? As he came in, he flicked one off Malavarachi behind square leg, and this is on the offside, so it, he's showing skills on both sides. This is the tempo that is required for the Thomians. Uh, generally, a very aggressive batsman, Ali Agoda, and so is Mahit Pereira. So hopefully, these two can propel and take the score forward for St. Thomas's. Next ball hit down towards mid off, scampering through for a quick single. Now, if you want to hit, uh, if you want to reach scores like 275, 300, this is the face in the modern one day game. The two balls are relatively old now. There's a max of four fielders on the line, which means there's always a gap around the corner. So, if you're smart enough, you can target one boundary each over until the 40th over harmony. One one five for two. Though never felt this good until right now with you. With one more bite of revelation for love. Fun, 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 fun,
kiri atau ke supiri rasa. Jawa yeah, well to continue from the tennis tennis court end. Very economical figures, four overs eleven. Yes, Ashtuka, you said that's what they need to do. Is there an opportunity? Well, 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 that will be referred upstairs, I'll tell you. It's closer than you think. I think Field was just a fraction late in approaching that delivery as well as the throw. As you would know, uh, Shastrika, you know, to make the underarm throw, you have to bring your arm forward rather than going back. Have a look at this. I think Mahit has easily made his ground. Yeah, needed the a better throw, to, wasn't yeah, it? The keeper had to, you know, bring the ball a fair distance down from where he collected it. So I think uh, it's safe for Mahit. Generally, very quick between wickets. Okay, satisfied. Just focus the lights, please. Pretty sure we would see a green light My there. Is not out, not there out, we go, the out. green light. All safe and sound for Mahit uh, Pereira. Yeah, getting back to what uh, we were discussing, it's the intent, uh, you know, especially two wickets down at 115. Now, as a batter, especially as a right hand batter, target that boundary for an over. You've got to take some sort of risk. Yeah, and also. In modern day cricket, the coaches look for your work rate, the efficiency, to minimize dot balls as much as possible. Boundaries will come, but you need to you have the presence of mind where the fielders are. So you need to use all gears, you know, weigh your shots, drop it in front, keep the fielders guessing. So your work rate comes into play. Uh, that's how you. Uh, build totals and that, that's how you chase good uh, big totals so yeah these two so far doing a good job 32 of 38 it's not too shabby at all is it um, Perer has taken a bit of time hell you guys like I said playing a magnificent innings and that has been a feature placement there we go Garmini they got the boundary for the over once again they've already got six of the over now they should target seven or eight, which means continuously they are getting a good run rate every over. So this is the intent. This is the requirement of modern one-day cricket. I'm, I'm glad that Thisen Ahalia Goda has understood that and is looking forward to accelerating this Thormian score. And also what I'm impressed uh, about him, uh, Shastrika, he plays the ball the way it comes. There are not, all, not a lot of premeditated stuff. He knows that he's got skills right around the pitch, both sides of the wicket. So he's... He's executing his options pretty well. That's very good batting. After pressing forward the previous delivery, bowler was trying to uh, adjust his line and drifted towards leg stump. He, he was very aware of what, what the bowler was trying to do to him and uh, just dropped the ball on the onside for a single. So it's smart batting. Exactly what the Thomian camp requires. It will be interesting also to see the, uh, the dot ball percentage as of now, uh, 28 overs complete. I'm pretty sure it will be quite high as well. So 28 done, 122 for 2, St. Thompson's. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to one twenty two for two. Mahit Pereira on twelve, while Tisen Ahalia Goda has been going at almost actually more than a run about twenty six of twenty three balls. As we see a change in the bowling, Ramiro Pereira, the leg spinner being brought on, which means Garmini, the scoring opportunities will still be there for the Thomians and also vice versa if um, if Ramiro Pereira manages to get his lines and lengths. That means a couple of wickets are also around the corner. So it's about who will 
take that initiative to dominate. Yeah, it's always, there's always something happening when the wrist spinner is on. Most of the cricket teams in the world, when it comes to white ball cricket, they do have a wrist spinner. But starts very poorly, doesn't it? Yeah, two, on, two deliveries on either side of the wicket, drag this length. Even in the three-day encounter, it took a bit of time. But uh, he is a vital cog in this uh, Royal lineup, and uh, as the figures will show, eight matches. And when it comes to limited over, if you can average a wicket per match, it's uh, considered really par. But uh, he's a lot better than that, uh, Ramiru. This is why it's very important for the Thomians. They're in a bit of a, a stroll here. They've got a decent partnership going as well. Make sure you, you attack uh, this bowler. Don't let him settle down because they're already in as batters. Much better delivery by Ramiru. He starts it off stump. Flighted delivery. He's in quite watchful. Three fielders in the boundary for a hell good on the leg side. Again, very good batting. You spoke about the work rate, uh, Shastrika. That was a very good example. It wasn't the worst ball. It was on in line with the stumps, but used the crease and just worked it to the right of that fielder at mid-wicket. And... Um, There's a nice little partnership brewing for St. Thomas at the moment. Mike Pereira, 13 off 28 balls. That's uh, decently tapped, but uh, no damage done to the score. 29 completed, 126 for the loss of two wickets, St. Thomas's. Yet car radials, the road is yours. Ravello, the official chocolate partner of the Battle of the Blues. Heels crest nine sausage, the bite. So St. Albus is consolidating their position, well placed at 126 for two. Ehelia Goda and uh, the skipper Mahit. Ehelia Goda has uh, looked very impressive. A very good morning to you, Danushka. Good afternoon, fellas. Just past 12. Another well played uh, cover drive by this and Ehelia Goda. He has played that shot really well. Uh, even though Sinet is bowling with a packed uh, offside field, he has been ma he has managed to get the ball through that gap, and he has got a couple of boundaries in that uh, area. And the previous delivery, another couple of runs, take him, moving him on to 30 in just 27 deliveries. Absolutely, he's been the best batsman in on display uh, so far. From a St. Thomas's perspective, they'd expect him to bat long and score big. So far every single delivery he has milled it and uh, looking quite comfortable out there that's exactly uh, he has done really well and uh, as you can see the partnership 43 runs already in just 49 deliveries and all credit to Ahalia Godu who has been the more aggressive of the two batsmen while Mahit Parada has supported him well as well and you can see just 44 runs, a uh, partnership of 50 deliveries. Uh, Mahit Pereira has contributed 13. Helia Goda has uh, done the bulk of the scoring. And the left and right hand combination also helps. Uh, doesn't love the bowling to settle. Jawadana has uh, toiled valiantly, but these two batsmen. I think that has been the story of the day so far. All four batsmen have got starts. Uh, they found batting comfortable. Except uh, maybe Dinet Gunavardana, 
who struggled a little bit but uh, these two on the other hand working out the singles as well I think at the end of the day using those uh, gaps getting the singles really contribute towards building a partnership exactly you have to play the field feroz and uh, like the previous delivery what my head did there was no short third man and he used the pace and just played it towards short third for an easy couple of runs and uh, also if you see the field set by sinet it's a packed uh, outside uh, outside field once again and there's no short fine leg uh, so maybe mahit has an option of moving towards the off and just doing a small paddle and easy two runs there first. yes and you can see even the mid wicket is lot straighter so there's ample gap a steep square leg a deep mid uh, and long on and a straightish mid wicket but uh, mahit perera he's uh, happy to play the percentage uh, end of 30 overs 131 for two as we can see st thomas's college the main gate and that's the preschool the newly done buildings uh, takes you back down memory lane to where uh, the best days uh, of our childhood were spent the college bell and the big uh, the big club grounds recently last week they opened the new uh, sports uh, the pavilion as well and it's a state of the art uh, facility for us i'm sure i'm sure you're jealous of not uh, getting a chance to play again wonderful facilities i think it's uh, amazing that a uh, uh, school especially by the sea has uh, those facilities uh, the scorecards and thomasers have dominated play unfortunate for zoisa he looked good for his 22 fernando batted well for 37 gunawardena managed 13 and these two have put on a 46 run partnership with tisen helia goda uh, looking very comfortable out there at 31 and uh, ably supported by the skipper mahit who's on 15 30 overs completed 131 for two they've got batting to come some big hitters kalder and akash fernando in particular will look to use the long handle and uh, the two wickets to fall malavi arachi on both occasions get in the wicket a big inside edge and this was a, a beautiful delivery beat for pace tinet gunawardhan didn't have answers for that the bowling the pick of the bowlers has been malavi arachi bowled within himself generated a bit of pace unsettled the batsman he bowled six overs gave away 27 runs captured the wicket the skipper bowled tight for six overs uh, the rest of the bowling hasn't been successful so far 13 extras all together the first wicket at 75 second wicket at 85 and these two have consolidated and put on a partnership these 20 overs will decide the outcome of the game st thomas's danushka what will be the total that they'll be eyeing for initially i think uh, they were on course for, in, uh, towards getting close to 300 but however the royals came back really well got those two quick wickets but these two have done well again to uh, lay a foundation and i believe anything above 250 from now on would be a tough uh, score for royal to chase the vice captain uh, ramiru will continue the right arm leg spin leg spinners will also go for some runs just been brought into the attack especially with the left hand right hand combination and uh, they say looking quite impressive out there i'm sure st thomas's will be eyeing for that 250 run mark as a minimum and maybe the 275 which will put them on the driving seat so i think it all depends on uh, these two who are at the middle mahit and tisen eligoda and uh, i believe they should look at batting till maybe the 40th over 
gradually increasing the run rate going at try to go at six seven runs per over from now on and that would be a really ideal foundation for the likes of Caldera and Akash Fernand to, to come in and like you said to go beyond that 250 mark Hila Goda uh, using the depth of the crease went on the back foot working the angle he's looked good I think his front foot play was very impressive but on that occasion went on to the back foot loved the ball to come in and uh, play towards uh, deep scar leg partnership on 47 and uh, the main thing the, uh, here is Ferros they have not taken uh, any chances in getting these runs however they have kept the scoreboard ticking and rotating the strike the singles the couples and that has been the difference beautifully played uh, using the pace that should trickle towards the boundary the ball beats the valiant effort of uh, Ranuka and Netwin Ranuka got a hand uh, to the delivery but again smart batting Mahit Pereira saw the ball on the shorter side used the pace guided towards that vacant shot third man region seems to favor that shot uh, Danushka plays that shot very well uh, very delicately played using the pace of Ramiro and the sh uh, short third fielder was very much inside the 30 yard circle that was why he could not cut it off yes uh, that delivery fortunate that it wasn't called a wide uh, batsman shows his displeasure with a wink Again. this time it should be a wide for sure yes, yes. thing not great bowling by Ramiro you're right I think uh, Ranuka seems to be charging in He's better off being in that 30 yard circle and the cover point fielder again beautifully played uh, in the gap not good bowling by Ramiro Pereira on the shorter side way outside off stump and Mahit Pereira just obliges uses the pace and taps it on the offside lovely shot lovely very, shot very well uh, placed for us uh, so Mahit joining the party now he was quite slow previously but now he's got two boundaries in uh, two deliveries again he's some adjustment uh, again uh, the wicket keeper has uh, brought in uh, Ranuka that should be called a wide uh, no lucky to get away from, uh, on that occasion end of 31 overs 141 for two Heels crest nine sausage, the bite that bites back. Nikam boru ata risk ekak ganne ai. NDB Neos theer di risk ekak nathuwa. Kick ekak fund transfers karanna wagema chill ekak bills pay karanna. Kiri athera supiri rasa. Third wicket partnership uh, between Tisse Nehelia Goda Mahit Pereira stands at 56 or 59 deliveries and uh, Tisse has contributed 32 runs. Mahit 23. I think these two will look to consolidate and uh, push the run rate further. And uh, the Royal Captain bringing in the changes, uh, bringing in Dinura into the attack. Uh, pulls wicket to wicket and has a lot better control than the rest of the fast bowlers uh, been brought in first time uh, at the 47th Mustangs trophy I'd also like to see uh, Netwing be brought into the attack bowls with a slower pace and uh, the rest of the bowlers have been a lot quicker for my liking starts off well Senaratna outside off stump the wicket keeper has come close in Cutting the angles and allowing the batsman to remain within the, within the crease. It's good delivery there by uh, Dinura. Good line. So, this is the seventh bowler used by uh, 
the Royale. So they are making the changes, trying to get that all important uh, breakthrough here. Good bit of fielding by Shane, uh, another fresher who's uh, walked into this side uh, for the 47th Mustangs Trophy. Three freshers brought in. Shane, uh, Khalid, Rahim Deen and uh, Anush Polono Vita. Dinur Senaratna has played five matches, uh, given away 39 runs. Not great economy rate. Bowled only three overs. Feroso has not done much bowling in the 50 over game for the Royalists. However, let's see how it goes today. It's done quite well so far. A few uh, dot deliveries. Keep keeping it uh, on good lines, good lengths. Also, he's bowling with uh, mid on and mid off up inside the circle so maybe they are trying to get the batsman to go over the top try try to create that chance again uh, right on the money good bit of bowling uh, dinura started off strongly inviting the batsman to uh, take the chance and also since uh, this is a new bowler. I'm sure the Thomian ba batsman would want to have a look at him as well. So maybe they will assess this over by Dinura and then try to take those chances. Again, uh, right on the channel, but this time Mahit Pereira using the pace, guiding it towards third man for a single. You're right, uh, the old school of thought 20 years back when we played was look at the bowler first before you take a chance. Modern day game has changed a bit, I think. Nowadays, you try to be attacking the first few deliveries, unsettle the bowler and then work the singles and uh, automatically you have 7-8 runs scored. Again, uh, good bit of bowling uh, straight towards Netwin. Good start by Sena Ratna, just two runs in that over, 32 completed, 143 for two. Sen uh, started very well, a couple of boundaries uh, to kick start things, uh, looked strong on the pads, equally adept at playing uh, on the front foot. We saw some scintillating cover drives uh, by Helia Goda. Whenever the ball was pitched, waiting to be hit, he obliged with some scintillating boundaries. 58 runs uh, for the third wicket. Still going strong, these two. Ramiru will continue. Surprised that he's been given another over. Starts off from where he uh, stopped outside of stump way outside of stump i don't think this is good bowling it's exactly already uh, i think they have bowled more than 10 uh, wide deliveries ferros which when it comes to the modern day limited over cricket that's a big number cardinal sin uh, you've got to limit 13 wides and a no ball 15 extras doesn't look good you've got to be a lot more disciplined uh, Ramiru continues, uh, two mid-wicket fielders, a deep mid, a long on and a deep square leg. Oh, poor delivery, but equally very well played uh, by Tisane. Just pierced the gap, it was full toss, there to be hit. But Tisane used the loose delivery to good effect, didn't just bash it. Didn't play it up in the air, was more focused in hitting the gap and the gap he did. Very well played, another boundary. Exactly, just what the Thomians uh, wanted, Feroz and Ramiro. Still not getting his uh, rhythm, he's in his third over. And, and we saw even at the three-day game, he did not start off that well. He bowled about 
three or four full tosses in his first over. And here, next delivery. Ahalia Goda uses his feet, plays it towards the middle of the field, and quick single. Yes, uh, the start has been uh, again on the poorer side, uh, not getting the body behind the delivery. It's not easy bowling leg spin, but uh, at this level, uh, especially school boys should start off better. Again, uh, on the shorter side, uh, well played uh, by Mahit. He's been on the expensive side. I think it's better if Royal opt for another bowler from the far end, the Vidya mouth end. It's like you said, uh, you'd like to see Netwin brought into the attack uh, because uh, Ramiru is giving away too many runs from his end. That was a better delivery to end the 33rd over, 151 for two. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Heels Crest Naimere Sausage. The bite that bites back. Rasi Tiran Mix Mirla Sain Anil Bari Badagi Nittabonna Anchor Drink in Yogurt. So the run rate keeps moving up 4.58 I'm sure the Tomians must be eyeing that five run uh, per over mark 100 more partnership 66 Sena Ratna has started off well is not giving pace gentle medium pace but hitting the right line and length I think uh, when the wicket is dead I think this is what is required just keep it on that good length region I love the batsman ask them to take the chance and be brave exactly and a good uh, field set for him as well next delivery once again uh, played straight uh, by Mahit Pereira did well to get down the other end he moves on to 27 uh, Yes, Ferro, like you said, you have to keep it tight and le let the batsman take those chances. That's how you can get wickets on this wicket by building the pressure and bowling those uh, dot balls one after another. So, five fielders within the 30 yard circle. A good delivery again. Uh, Tisen admonishes himself. Outside of stump. Uh, a half-hearted uh, prod looking to uh, work the ball towards that short third man region luckily he didn't get an edge Just moving the ball slightly away from the left hander with this angle bowling right arm over the wicket the run rate currently at 4.54 when this at this time thick outside edge only a single when these two uh, got together, the run rate was more or less at 4. They have done really well to bring it up to 4.54 now. And I think they will be looking at pushing on from now on. You need to have a set batter batting those uh, 50 overs. Uh, and uh, I suppose Mahit Pereira faced 44 deliveries can look to press on the accelerator Heli Agoda has looked good for his 39 he's going at a good clip he's comprehensively bold uh, beautiful delivery by Sena Ratna just a slight in swing completely uh, misread uh, by Mahit Pereira comprehensively bold wonderful delivery I think he was bowling very well against the right hander that came in a yawning gap left by Mahit Pereira. Vinura Serra hits the timber just as a partnership was building. Mahit Pereira departs for 27 or 45 deliveries and uh, 
St. Thomas's, three down for 153. A lazy shot, Danushka. I'm sure you have played on a dead wicket like this, SSC. You have fond memories of scoring a half century. I still remember that game. St. Thomas's were reeling at 65 for 5. We played with a lot of purpose on that occasion. This time, Mahit Pereira, a lazy shot. I don't think he covered the line at all. He left a big gap between him between uh, bat and uh, pad. He didn't expect the ball to come in, uh, Ferros, and that's where he made the mistake. Dinora did really well to just move it in from the pitch, and it went through that gap and hit the wickets. So uh, that has brought in Soisa, the opening batsman, who retired hurt. He's walked in. Uh, that's the end of 34 overs, uh, 153 for three. I'm going to go to the house. 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 So the skipper bringing himself on uh, two left-handers out there and uh, Jawardana opting for the off-spin brings himself on starts off well uh, seventh over is bold two left-handers at the crease for the Thomians Elia Gouda and uh, Soiza, lucky that the Thomians have him back at the crease. Uh, next delivery shot, heads straight uh, to the field. Sine Jawadhan surprisingly no wicket so far for us. Yes, he's uh, looked to just bowl tight, to beautiful delivery. Dinura getting the ball to come in. Comprehensively bold, and all three wickets to fall so far have been uh, bold. At least that discipline, the bowlers have uh, realized that the wicket is dead, kept it straight at the batsman, especially Ranur Kamalaviarachi and uh, Dinura, who've been the pick of the bowlers so far. Uh, coming back to Jawardana, I think he's happy to bowl in the tight overs. And if he can complete the 10 over quota for 30 to 35 runs, I think he's done his job. So I believe uh, his job is to create the pressure from one end and the wickets to fall from the other. So far this over, four dot, de uh, four dot deliveries, I believe. Yes, so far, good bit of bowling. Uh, he's got the field in as well final delivery he can afford to push in one fielder back better delivery gave it some air very good over comes to an end uh, 35 overs gone 153 for three i study not just to change myself but to make a change Everyone's end point is my starting point. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Rasi tirana mix mirla sem kanna beri badagi nita bonna anchor drink in yogurt. So Dinura will continue. Uh, Zoisa plays that shot very well. The guide or the glide towards uh, third man. Soisa did extremely well at the three-day game. Uh, Ferro Zatomia, wicket keeper. 
quite an aggressive player and that's what the Thomians need at this stage. Uh, I also felt that in the second innings, uh, Tishe Nihele Agoda looked good. He did get an opportunity to show his uh, talent and potential. This time, beautiful shot. That's been his signature shot so far. The cover drive pierces that cover region. Beautiful shot. Especially when left-handers play, it looks extremely elegant. Exactly, elegant shot by Helia Godia and he has been hitting that gap continuously uh, fairer than this time Dinora slightly away from the stumps and Helia Godia was up to it. Well it wasn't too full but the width was uh, what worked against him. Dinura now opted to come round the wicket again that cover drive but uh, got enough protection. Dinura bowls a bit like uh, Ashen uh, Ferreira who got five wickets for the Thomians in the three-day game. Not much of pace, but gets that slight movement off the track, which makes that difference. I think Ashen has a very unique uh, action. Um, I wouldn't say he's wrong-footed completely. It's just that he plants his foot across uh, towards the side crease, and then he's got a lot more shoulder behind his uh, bowling which gets that ball to move into the right-hander and also he's a bit nippy, uh, creates that extra yard with his unique action. But again, that last delivery, Helia Goda, showcasing good balance when he plays that cover drive. His shoulder is right on top of that uh, delivery. Good bit of technique uh, on display by uh, Helia Goda. Next delivery once again driven down the ground but straight to the mid-off fielder. So the run rate slightly dipping with that wicket. But Suiza batted, uh, came in as an opener for the Thomian so he knows how the track is going to behave so I don't think he'll take much time to settle down. Oh, that ball kept low. End of 36 overs, 159 for three. Seat Car Radials. The road is yours. Nikam Boru at a risk of a gun, eh? NDB Neos Theatre, risk a gun, Nadu, kick a gay fund transfers, Karana, a game, a chill, a bill, speaker, and chill it, chill it, a sacramento mix, a hit a casanova, chill it, a rossing and cool, a cool, a spice of Venava, but the other party savory rossi, a chill it, a whiskers. Hundred and fifty nine for three, thirty six overs uh, completed. Tisen Halia Goda has uh, played a very impressive knock 44 of 48. And uh, Sadev Soiza, who retired earlier on due to a, a twist or, or some sort of a pain in his uh, shoulder area, is back on. Uh, he's made a 23 now. Very important partnership here. Two senior players, you may call it. That's uh, officially played but over the field at that extra cover ridge and another good shot uh, by Ali Agoda. He's been a uh, good through the offside so far. Four runs, 163 for three. They deliberately went up and over. If you see his wagon wheel, uh, Ricky, extra cover area has been his most productive area. Had no intention to play it along the ground. Used the bottom hand to get the elevation. He's been a very fluent uh, so far today, Helio uh, Goda. And uh, this is how he likes to play. He's almost going at a runner ball. 16 fours in this innings. 
They have the likes of Akash Fernando, Nathan Caldera, Diago to follow. So there's a bit of a batting left, definitely, in this Atomian lineup. Yeah, 13 overs to go after this. You mentioned those two names, Akash and uh, Caldera. They can use the long handle, obviously. And uh, so these two will look to uh, up the ante. I think the idea is to bat till around that 40th over. Maybe from one end, one will have to do the heavy lifting. Can you get someone like Akash or Nathan Caldera? The last 10 overs, and uh, certainly you are going to have very uh, sizable total. I think anything over 250 is going to be a challenge at this level for the schoolboys. Anything over five runs is a challenge. 166 for three. Heels crest nine sausage. The bite that bites back. Just uh, with that single as well, Tisena Heliogoda has uh, completed a superb half century. That's 53 balls, 7 fours, a strike rate of 94. You can't ask for more. He's been a very impressive, the left hander. He's one of the experienced players. He's come to the party at the right time. And uh, he's uh, controlled his uh, middle overs uh, really well in a good partnership with uh, skipper Mahit Pereira. And uh, it's his uh, second one day half century this season as well. He needs to go on though. 13 overs uh, remaining, like you said, uh, Gamni. One of these players here has to bat uh, till the end. Take it deep. Try to get uh, a bigger score. And then know that uh, St. Thomas has uh, reached that 250-260 uh, mark. Current run rate of 4.49. They look to get go at at least uh, six runs uh, per over from here onwards. And uh, that will uh, take you to that uh, 250 mark. Yeah, even to defend a total like 250, 250 plus. On a placid track like this, uh, Ricky, you need to come up with a very good performance with the ball in hand because this picket is not going to deteriorate much it's rock hard really not a lot of grass on it dry as anything there's enough bounce and carry so batters will enjoy this surface it's hard work for the spinners they're not a lot of turn you got to be really smart have your variations uh, Accurate as well. Senaratna has bowled well to his fourth over. What he has done uh, compared to some opportunity, but comfortable in. What Senaratna and uh, Malavarachi, the wicket takers so far, what they've done is that uh, they've they bowled straight. They've um, they've been at the stumps. on the stumps is bowling wicket to wicket uh, Sena Ratna at the moment Gamini you're enjoying the Nymeris how is it I haven't had uh, anything uh, so far today I'll tell you what on a steaming day you can't beat this look really good isn't it my only worry is when you start you can't stop it's delicious and and that's what St. Thomas is want Elia go to do as well once you start do not stop go on isn't it same as uh, the uh, kills Chris the nightmare is uh, pasta cup it is a uh, really good I mean uh, on in the tents uh, on this hot and humid day you're consuming a lot of liquid and uh, this is uh, what you need uh, as well in uh, between so go ahead go to those uh, kills uh, outlets at the grounds and uh, taste uh, the nightmares
38 completed. It's 170 for three. These are some of the shots from uh, Heliogoda. There were some beautiful drives. There's a half chance there. He's used his wrist as well. Extra cover area has been very productive for him. Very good hand there. Just under the runner ball. That kind of performance in the middle of the innings uh, in a one day format uh, can be very, very effective and uh, very easily. He came in when uh, Tomians uh, lost two wickets. Um, but at 75, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so from the time he walked in, he has been very busy. He has put a lot of pressure on the Royal Bowlers and fielders. Yes, if you remember in the big match in the first innings, he got out to a full toss. He uh, hit one straight to a mid-wicket. And uh, a poor shot that was a loose delivery. And he would have been disappointed because he was batting well at that stage. But uh, he's made amends uh, here in this uh, Mustangs Trophy. And like I mentioned, he needs to uh, go on now. Make it count. That 50 has to go on to 80, 100. He certainly has uh, plenty of overs remaining to do so. He has uh, the inform uh, Sadev Soiza at the other end. There is a batting to come. So it's uh, the ball is uh, in the Tomian uh, court for them uh, to, to really take the initiative and uh, try to get as uh, much as possible. Into his ninth over, Sinead Jayawardana. So he'll be bowling out uh, pretty quickly. One of uh, something went in his, uh, into his eye. Was that a fly? Maybe some dust? Stopping in his uh, run up. The royal captain needing a bit of help. Uh, Anush Polnavida doing the assistance. His bowler uh, pretty impressively, though he hasn't picked up the wicket. He's been miserly, he hasn't given any runs away. Just 31 in 8.3 overs. Once again, a warm welcome to all those viewers watching on the uh, Papari TV, on Dialogue TV channel 126, wherever you are, whichever part of the world you are. Warm welcome to the uh, 47 Mustangs Trophy. Just a one. Yeah, all bowlers have lack penetration, have they? But, uh, I mean, having said that, these are perfect conditions for a batter. Very quick outfield. Looking to work his race. So he's a. So he's a will have to come to the party very soon. We need to keep his end busy. 173 for three. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking, crazy. Education loans and salary advances, amazing. amazing. Introducing the digital youth account, NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Sadev Soiza, he got, he had this uh, sort of a shoulder injury in the start of the season, and uh, in the last ball of the sixth over, there was a free hit uh, for a no ball. 
he, he sort of uh, went for it, just swung while swing, uh, if you remember uh, Garmini Vivam commentary. And then he sort of uh, aggravated that uh, injury during that shot. And then after a while he, he had to go off the field. Now he's back, we just hope he's okay. And uh, there isn't any pain as such. Yeah, that's just, that shot shows that he's not in any discomfort. He had to wait for the ball. Use his bottom hand. Looking to open towards that gully area. Yeah, this is the last tour before the uh, final power play begins. Rollins will be allowed to have five fielders outside the circle. Again, just a short arm jab. Dropping the ball in front. Seno Ratna has bowled well. Into his fifth over, just giving away 14 runs. He's been very accurate. He's picked up the wicket. He's uh, bowled in these uh, middle overs. So he's done a good job. Like you say, now one fielder will go out after this 40th over. That's going to be very crucial. We had uh, three hours of uh, play. And uh, we're almost uh, 40 overs in. You slightly feel that uh, maybe uh, Garmini Royal are slightly behind uh, their run rate uh, of bowling? Yeah, they are. Uh, I think that was discussed after like the first hour. They have a few overs behind and they haven't caught up. So, yeah, these are very, very experienced umpires. These two Chamar, Sorisa and Ruchirapalli Guru, along with the other officials. Graham Lebroy, the match referee. They'll and be having a very close eye on the uh, and, uh, over rate. And if I'm right, I think the uh, ICC match conditions are used as well. So if you're behind the rate uh, when it comes to the final few overs, then you cannot have that extra field outside the circle. So that is going to be very crucial, especially if uh, St. Thomas's have uh, a couple of uh, set players in the center. But one field uh, makes a huge difference. They have a couple of stoppages, so they'll take that into consideration as well. How much has, has it affected is another question. Quick single once again. So runs are coming in singles at the moment. 176 for 3. Yes, it has been a good first 40 overs. No doubt about it. St. Thomas is winning the toss, selecting to bat first. The final 10 overs now. They will be looking to get going. They need at least uh, another 60 to 70 runs minimum with seven wickets in hand. Yeah, the happy hour begins. All oh, these batters are set. So run a ball from here will get them what? 236. That will not be enough, I reckon. They need to get around that 250, 260 mark. So there you go, final over for Sinead Jawadana. Rujira Palyaguru signals uh, the final power play. Maximum of five fielders allowed outside the 30 yard uh, circle. And this is Jawadana's last over, too, uh, Ricky. Although he hasn't picked up a wicket, he's bowled pretty economically. In contrast to the pitch conditions, it's not easy for being a spinner. So you need uh, now one of these players to get going. Good running between the wickets, no doubt. The boundaries have sort of dried out. But they have managed to pick up uh, those singles uh, regularly. Soft hands, push and run. There are three fielders in front of that line on the offside. One needs to come in a little create some doubt on the batter's mind. And the other thing, Ricky, you need to become a very good fielder is not only to watch the bat, but you need to read the game. You need to be aware of what, is, what the bat, batters are trying to do. Just a single. 
but they managed to pick up a four singles in the over quite comfortably two men won't mind that and if they can get the out boundary that will certainly help but what i would like to see is now one of these players to sort of get on with the game and try to a bit be a bit more aggressive one bat uh, till the end the other take the initiative because like we mentioned there is uh, Caldera Fernando to follow so they have a bit uh, certainly a bit of power behind those two Third ball 41 completed 179 for 3 School from Columbus 7 that mommy, mommy uh, this, uh, was built for to commemorate the war heroes. There are plenty of them. This is the building from the Raj Gima of the side, the oldest building. And that's a significant building uh, too, uh, Ricky, the wooden building, the grade 6 building. It has stood the same for so many years. You know, sometimes you wonder that some of those architects back in the day you know how clever and how um, how good they were good they were it? i mean a brilliant yes sir, certainly a lot of history a lot of heritage i mean uh, olden days architecture you don't find that quite often now you find it at royal college you see it at st thomas's college those old buildings and you just can't imagine uh, how and uh, how they were done really it's uh, scooped in the air but uh, right between those two fielders, and they'll get a couple of runs. So he's, uh, he's going at a decent rate, 33 now of uh, 47. Yeah, ideally, uh, this, this time of the innings, uh, Ricky, you're, you're looking to score a boundary in the first couple of deliveries every over. And then a uh, few singles to follow, so that, you know, seven, eight runs mark, that's, that's, what, that's what you need to aim at. Straight away, Midon goes back. Opportunity. Rehan Pires, who was feeling at um, short mid wicket, has he picked that up cleanly? He certainly would have had a good sight having a throw at the stumps, but um, for the batter's sake, he did not pick it up cleanly. As you can see from the bottom of the screen, there, there's still a significant amount of dot balls. That's not what you need after the 40th over. Very well bowled. He's bowled with a lot of control, Sena Ratna. And his direction has been immaculate as well. And, and I also feel that uh, he's uh, cut down on pace in this game than uh, what he did at the 3D game, rightly so. I think he's uh, concentrated on those uh, lines, lanes, bowling accurately. Uh, uh, Garmini in the 3-day game I thought he, we saw him running much faster trying to bowl much quicker and uh, he's done a brilliant job as you say I mean into your 6th over 1 for 20 he's mixed up his pace really well he's bowled a slow delivery he's tried to bowl that uh, foolish Yorker he's mixed things up he's changed his angle at every opportunity and uh, he's kept the uh, batters uh, thinking he's not been predictable uh, throughout this spell, uh, Senaratna, and credit to the young uh, man. And also, I've, I've realized that batters' back lifts are getting higher and higher, so they, they are looking to force it. Yes, uh, Sadev Soiza in particular, I feel now you can see the expression on his face. He's uh, disappointed there. I think he's uh, thinking, I need to get going. 34 49. Our cameraman, we, photographers, credit to them. Our good colleague Varun out there with the rest of the team. I mean, in the hot and humid conditions, it's a tough job. And that's the Royal uh, Dugout, uh, Manchanayaka. Rather relaxed face out there. The winning captain of uh, last year for Royal. They have a couple of centurions uh, sitting together. Charit Fernando, he's also in the coaching staff. 
a brilliant hundred here, and uh, so did Manchanaga. We, as we all know, last year, 183 for three after 42. I'm body gale sarungalya ke van gii, no holin beeru ne. Ne, win ne be. That was under my pumman gii. Ne, win ne be. Poa mona desi ye, apni langati ye na wa, kanna pula bi ma koi, bonna pula kya ma koi. Ne, win ne be. Ne, win ne pula. Langka ve pala ve ni mata ve na kanna ibo na ite kama ekama yoga te gii. Anchor new deal shake shake, kanna pula bi ma, bonna pula kya ma. So Tom says you'll have to do a lot of work over the next uh, few overs to uh, get to a challenging total. It's not easy at this rate. 183 for three. The score says that they are comfortable. But what is going to be the end result is the story. Warm welcome to uh, distinguished uh, past pupil, Banu Karajapak, sir. Thanks, thanks, Arit. Um, I think St. Thomas have made a good foundation up until now. And uh, we'd like to see some swings now because they just got like, what, 47 balls left. Ideally, if they could put up at least 250 on the board, that would be a very competitive total. Well struck, well struck, brilliant. All along the ground, this has been his trademark shot. Banuko, it's not easy getting it uh, in that fashion. No, not easy at all, but I've seen him back from the morning and he has been piercing that gap beautifully. It's nice to see the schoolboy playing those shots rather than trying to slog all the balls, especially given the fact that it's a white ball game now. Brilliant cricket. This is the Tisse Nahalia Goda, we know. When he first burst into the uh, scene at uh, the big club grounds, playing a gem of an innings. Good thinking. It's intelligent cricket by St. Thomas says. They need to, they need to bat uh, sensibly. They have uh, some uh, big hitters in the form of uh, Vice Captain Nathan Caldera and all rounder Akash Fernando. To an extent, uh, Yatendra Sirivodana could uh, use the long handle. Oh, once again, hit the gap. Beauty. Credit should go to St. Thomas's Harith, but I think the way that the Royals have bowling towards these two left handers, knowing that they are very good through the covers, they should have that protection over there and try to maybe. Tighten the line. That's what I would have suggested to the Royalties. Yeah, I know what you're, you're hinting at. Short uh, room for him to free his arms. He's trying to angle the ball across the batter. See. See the difference. Never mind. I think he did his part. Uh, the um, news from the dressing room is uh, go after the bowling. Nevertheless, uh, it's another wicket uh, for Royal coming at a time when uh, the batter was absolutely on a roll. This is the line that I was talking about, Harida. If they can just keep bowling straight and uh, expect the batsman to go above the uh, bowler's head, that is the most difficult shot in the book. So it's just not giving room. And that's how they got the wicket off to send. But nevertheless, again, it's a wonderful inning, 61 of 69. And uh, so he has already laid the foundation, so it's just for the next batters to come and they got they got the free hand now. 193 for four, St. Thomas's. Love never felt this good until right now with you. With one more bite of revel for love. Taking guard is uh, Akash Fernando. Well, he can clear the boundary, no doubt about that. He's uh, been sent uh, ahead of uh, Nathan Caldera. 
see the strike rate almost 80 average is good almost 25 best score of 65 I don't think he'll uh, take time to settle down. Good first delivery from uh, Polonoita, but uh, you must give pressure. Malviarachi giving the batter the chance to get off the mark to end the 43rd over. St. Thomas's uh, elected batter 194 for 4 against Royal. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Banuka, how many one-day big matches have you played? Five, six? I've been fortunate to play six big matches. What's the best uh, memory? Uh, I think the year that I captained in 2010, we, as I, I think I mentioned in the big match as well, we scored 209, as we got close to 300 runs, and we had a deficit of almost 130 runs when we won the match. <laughs> Good memories, though. It's always a uh, great uh, opportunity to represent your school. This is a big contest. Sena Ratna has been economical. This is Nehalia Goda. Played very well until this happened. Yoked himself. But it was very well bowled by Polonovita. Banuka mentioned bowling wicket to wicket. That's exactly what he did. Instant success for him. It's nice to see Chef learning quickly. You know, he has got on to a 60, but still, if you can just make the best man make a mistake and get a wicket on this track. But this track is so good, Arita. Like, it's very difficult to like, get the best man out unless he makes a mistake. So just bowlers have to be very disciplined on these sort of tracks. And this is these are learning curves for all the boys. He's been good. He now has to contain Sadev Soiza and uh, Avinash Fernando put on 44 runs before he retired. So there have been partnerships going on for the Thomians. Oh, another misfield. The thought was uh, Shane Averatna. Pressure. I think you should see Shane Averat in the bat. Uh, he had uh, three very good scores. He had done extremely well at uh, second eleven matches. It should be a very exciting prospect, uh, Banuka. It's always very exciting when it comes to big games and when you see them on screen. And uh, if they could, you know, keep performing in these big games, that's what everyone wants to see in the future. They took a chance with him. Oh, that is six runs to the total. Somebody should have covered it. The good thing happened when uh, the batters ran that second, calling for that second run very quickly. Yeah, the intent was shown by the Tommy, and that's how you build pressure on fielders. And that's a big mistake by the Rollies, but nevertheless, St. Thomas would just grab it by thanking. Oh, it's a misfree from the field as well. The cover-up uh, was not perfect. You can't really blame the fielder for taking aim. No, that's true. He can't blame the fielder. Anyway, six to the total. St. Thomas wouldn't mind it. They are so on to 200 now. It's a very important phase for the Thomians because I, what I feel like, so it's a has to bat till the 50 overs and everyone else has like chip in with quick 20s and 30s that's how they're going to build the total at up to 260. I'll tell you they would want Akash Fernando to bat uh, right through to the end and take uh, the lion's share of the strike. 
He's one player who could do make uh, very well. Uh, Akash and Nathan Caldera had a century plus partnership in the 2020 tournament, uh, celebrating the cent uh, centenary of the big club uh, grounds in uh, Mount Lavinia. Change of gloves and a quick message quick from message. Dinesh Kumar Singh. This is how it happened. They pushed for two. I thought this was Shane Averatna picked up and took aim at the non striker's wicket. And somewhere around mid wicket uh, field was not able to pick it up. Yeah, they've not uh, really got it. Uh, so. They're checking with uh, the third umpire. <coughs> Slight hold up. Now. These fours and fives and sixes are very important when you get to the last end of the score. I think if you remember the World Cup finals against England and New Zealand, that one or two runs made a big difference. I'm sure it's in all of our heads. Banuka, I was fortunate to watch that match uh, at the venue. I was covering it for the national television. You couldn't believe it. I'll tell you, you couldn't believe it. Waka was sitting next to me and he mentioned at the start of the over, you wait and see, this will be an extended game. It happened. So that's why it's, it's, it's so important. Now we got the technology provided by the best. We need to like check on everything and get the right result. There you go, that's five runs. That one run could make a big difference. Big difference. That's why you got... Uh, all these match referees and the match referee is a former test player and ICC match referee Graham Lebroy. Yeah, why why the technology is so important? A lot of people try to think why the technology uh, is it uh, too much technology? This is why it should be. Of course it is. This is good batting by St. Thomas as they got five runs in the last ball and Rotating strike by Switzerland. So I'm pretty sure Zoiz has a plan to bat until the 50 over. It's important that they both, if they both could keep on batting until the 50th over. But uh, yeah, let's see how Zoiz plans it out after the next over. I think uh, the main um, focus would be to give uh, Fernando the lion share of the strike. Whether he would uh, respond uh, the way his team wants is another story. This is good. He's middling. So far, he has been responding well. Eight runs of four balls, striking at 200. I'll take it on any day. <laughs> where you where you try to work yourself up uh, is uh, the fact that uh, you play the bowling on merit, and then you use your skill to improve on that uh, aspect. That's good batting by Soisa. He, he just wants to keep rotating, and as you said, he just wants to keep more strike to defend. Uh. Better throw would have put him in trouble. Almost selfless running on that occasion on the part of Soisa. That will complete uh, yet another over 44 completed at the moment. Heels crest nine meters sausage. The bite that bites back. Nikam borua te risk ka ganne hai. NDB niyostiye the risk ka ganne tuwa. Kik kik fund transfers karan na magi ma chille ke bills pay karan. Fun, 
Six overs remaining. Six wickets in hand. You have been a belligerent striker of the ball, Banuka. What would be the target for the Tomian batters? For me, at least I would target at 250 because that will be a competitive score. As I said before again, the wicket is so flat on a day so with so much of humid. It's not going to be easy bowling in the second inning because it's just going to get much better. So St. Thomas is really, really have to like target the fast bowlers now and get up to 250. So every dot ball matters from now on. Of course, every dot ball matters, but in my perspective, if it's fine to get a dot ball as long as he has the capability to like get two off the line. So if they can get two boundaries or a six and a four, that'll make a big difference. Even if they keep on building those dot balls from Royal side. I wish he heard you. He can't. Slapped it to uh, Squaleg. This is good bowling from Royalists as well because they know the importance of giving away boundaries and they're very happy to just get the single away and keep them not too aggressive. Didn't start off that well. Mm. Getting close to that uh, very warm afternoon, end of the innings. Run rate 4.65. They want to keep it ahead of uh, five and over in the end. Fair crowd watching the cricket. It's a decent crowd because usually we are very famous for the Royto, the three days. It's crowded and uh, pretty crowded? much. Crowded? Packed? Yeah, you can't call it crowded, it's just packed. This is good cricket on the part of Soiza. He's enjoying. Uh, Wonderful uh, outing as a fresher against uh, arch rivals. 83-33, now 44. I'm pretty impressed with Malavarachi as well. Figures of 2, uh, two for 29 and 6.3 overs. Not concerning many boundaries. That's what the Royals want at this stage. With this is the part, this is the latter part of the overs in the inning. They would try to get on with the bowlers. So pretty happy with Malwarachi's plan as well at the moment. Hmm, will they look for two? No. Well done Malwarachi. The intensity. I know it's a hot and humid but it's a very hot contest out in the middle. Yeah, definitely. When it becomes uh, royal facing Tomians, it's always hot and hot. See, only three dot balls over the last three overs. That's what we were talking about. Rotate the strike. It's as well as the rotating strike. I think, as I said before, like credit should go to Royal as well. They are very happy to just keep the strike. I mean, singles away and not conceding the boundaries. The heady over from uh, Kamalwarachi. Malavarachi is uh, not trying to bowl very quickly. Bowling well within himself. As a captain, when you hand over the ball and he delivers what you absolutely want, bowling to your field, I mean, it's a it's a very satisfying feeling for Sinead Jawad. Oh, definitely. It's, we always say it's, uh, it's uh, so pleasing when the bowler does what the captain wants you to do. It's... It's not everyone wants what everyone wants to do. Some bowlers they prefer going to their own plan, but this is something that we have seen nice and good with Malavarachi. 45 completed, 210 for four St. Thomas's. Gold hair and body wash shaker. Nikam Boru at a risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos the risk a gun to a kick a fund transfers karana game, a chill like a bill speaker.
the second time in consecutive overs oh. that uh, he could field uh, off his own bowling. That uh, is an opportunity. Polonovita couldn't pick it up either. First attempt. This is the time that Royal has to concentrate really hard and not just give away AC singles because St. Thomas are struggling to get the boundaries and they are dealing with singles. So Royal should be happy just to give the single away and not try many, too many things. Shot. That's what he's capable of. Akash Fernando. See that extra run. I was just about to mention about it. It's a funny game. That extra run made him score a boundary. You never know, so he would have done the same, but that extra run cost him that boundary. You give him a free rein, Akash Fernando could be very destructive. So he picked the, the spot very well. Wide of Sinet Jawadana, who's at uh, long off. What do you call that shot? A flat bat straight drive? Right? You're not asking tennis. <laughs> That's a dot ball. That's well bowled. Senaratna has been mixing up his deliveries. Okay, he has gone for something like uh, almost five and over. But not only the wicket, but he's bowled uh, with uh, intelligence. It's always. Uh Good to have some sort of uh, weapons in your armory when you're especially playing the white ball uh, game. Shot. We can see the intent from Fernando now. He's just going for it. Now it's the time for the Tomians and they have targeted Senaratta because he's not express. And I'm pretty sure that he has like what probably a slow ball and the length ball. So it's intelligent cutting from Akash. Okay, dropped it short. See, he's bisected the fielders on the onside. Abhay Ratna was uh, closest to it, but he couldn't reach it. Oh, it's hit with power. Akash Fernando, well played. Full extension of his arms. It reminds me of Sachin the Jayati, like a uh, captain Thomas a few years back. Oh, he's uh, one of the adjudicators oh. for this match. Yes, yes, he and Kavindu Madara Singh. Eh? Oh, okay. It's a heavy over. So Thomas is uh, showing uh, an intensity to uh, see anything over 250 would be a bonus. Those lands, if they get 10, 15 more to get to 265, that's what uh, Thomas would probably want. Definitely, that's what they must be looking for now. I'm sure the message from the uh, reserves last over was to. Akash to get some runs and just flog it as much as possible because he's got the power to clear their boundaries easily. The crossover, the total on a double Nelson for the loss of four wickets with four overs remaining, St. Thomas's. Oh. This is what they call it. Why choose between eating and drinking yogurt when you can have both? Anchor New Deal Shake Shake is here to redefine your yogurt experience and provide the ultimate two-in-one yogurt solution for the first time in Sri Lanka. Anytime it's a, a thirst quencher, it's nutrition, it's all for you. lot of talking you must have the right sort of resource and you could use the right sort of use uh, resource too definitely you need the right weapon to attack the most wanted at this situation Haritha well he's been relatively on the expensive side one would think but if you can pick up a wicket here that's what is important I, I can see the thinking behind bringing Rahim Deem back to strike because we all know that Akash is going to be the one who is going to strike and bring a left arm spinner since Sohisa doesn't want to take much of uh, that's close but I think he's well in yeah, Sohisa doesn't want to take much risk it's a good move from Royal Captain Sinath yeah I know 
So today, Hemant Abotejo is in business. He didn't have uh, much to report uh, during the three-day game. Chamar Sohisa sending it upstairs. Plenty happening, a lot of uh, action. Thomian batters. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Okay, I'm satisfied. Into the gloves. Just focus the lights, please. My vision is not out, not out, not out. Very precise. Very, precise. Very correct. Yeah. I'd like to see how Suicide is going to take Ramdin on. He definitely has identified that, I mean, coming from Sinet, that Soiza will not take him on. So, I would like to see how Akash is going to handle Rahim Din now. Got your wish. It's another partnership that's building up. The waiting game for Royal, waiting in hope. Spare a thought for the fresher who's bowling. Oh, he got the gap again. He won't read the boundary, but it's another couple. This is a relatively quiet over. It, it, I mean, from St. Thomas' point, I think. They should not try to take much risk against Brian Thin because Akash is the one who could take them up to 255, 60 runs. So if he could be, you know, if he could be more smarter and just nudge it down the ground, uh, yeah, that's that's brilliant. But that's what I want to see from St. Thomas's. If they There's can another couple. Because the next over, the when fast bowler comes, Akash could definitely take him on. The other side is uh, so he's completing a, a single and getting a half century out of the way. Do you think that he might score? Try to just increase his intent after the half century. I think so. That's a dot ball. That's good. Well bowled, Rahim Dean. Well, he tied over 47 completed. St. Thomas is elected to bat 229 for four. Gold Wild. Unleash the wild in you. Love never felt this good until right now with you. With one more bite of Revelon for love. Eighteen balls. How many runs uh, is the matter? The top wicket taker. From uh, the tennis court's end. It's a risky run, but a well deserved half century for Soiza. It's always nice, Harry, uh, like when you get a 50 in the big match and coming to Mustang's roof, lifting your, raising your bat towards the pavilion again. It's always a nice feeling. Yeah, it would have ended in uh, tragedy too. There was nobody at the wicket. He didn't have, but well played, Sadev. So he's a 4 4s only. Street has strike rate 80 plus. That's good. Now, the fireworks. We saw a few uh, fireworks uh, after the uh, athletic uh, meet yesterday at uh, Big Club Grounds. Part of the celebrations, Stonehouse uh, overall champions. Now, fireworks during the afternoon at the SSC. So, 
This is William Banning from Akash. This is what I was talking from last over. He has to wait till the fast bowler comes because he's got the ability to just get the runs on the board. So this is William Banning, but it's a bit of a bad bowling. Even the fact that the final catch calling both were up, not the ideal ball to bowl. That's the way you would have played anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's the right way to play. It's, uh, it's risk a, free. It's an entertaining way to play, yeah, which is what the spectators are there for. They yeah. want their money's worth. Yeah, I know. That's why this uh, live coverage from uh, the um, best in the business, as far as sports is concerned, the Papare. Thank you, Team Papare. Oh no. Oh. Brilliant. brilliant! Really brilliant! Was that Shane Averatna? Was that a no ball? Absolutely marvelous effort on the field, whatever the final outcome is. We were talking about his batting. There's no way that could be yeah. the winner no ball. One frame back, one frame back. Yeah, it's a fair delivery, it's a fair delivery. This is the importance of technology, Haritha. Okay. See, they could at least refer you to the third umpire and get a proper feedback from upstairs. So, a quick fire 30 for Akash Fernando. A brilliant catch by Shane Aberatna. He's gone for 30 in terms of 234 for 5. Body wash shaker. Cheer up, Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tiaraka. So the um, vice captain Nathan Caldera joins Sadev Soiza. He can clear the boundary too. Three for Malwa Rachi. Technology, yes, whether it was uh, above waist height. No, it wasn't. 69 top score. Average above 35. Strike rate over 50. He can uh, hit uh, harder than that. St. Thomas is fighting to get uh, to 250, I'll tell you that much. Even if they score run a ball, they'll go to 250 Sharada. Just need to like accelerate it now. Okay, another dot ball. So two including the wicket dot ball. Royal. Hmm. Inform better. See how important it is to send a the real striker back to the pavilion? It is, of course. But credit to Malabarachi again. That was a bouncer, but it was a slow ball bouncer. So, no matter how long have you been on the track, but it's not going to always be easy. Like, that's a nice shot from So That's what we want to see. He just need to like, keep attacking now. Get bat on ball and try to just rotate the strike as much as possible. He has done his role playing the 50 overs now. Bulan Virutunga, just a misfield. 237 for 5 after 48. Two more was remaining. Sadev so is a, a good half century. He played uh, shots uh, from a very early stage. He opened batting with uh, Avinash Fernando. And uh, he was the aggressor. He was uh, 
in some discomfort he had to retire but when he came back he was still continuing in that same good fashion great half century for him he you looks remember? so much good through the offside yeah, he's also the keeper so he's good in front of the stumps he's good uh, behind the stumps too Ryan Dean he could be the difference between another 30 runs or maybe 15 Either they got five wickets in hand 11 balls remaining It's a free hit or every ball that they face now Now well, that's a good place to pick up I'll go for two Yeah, you don't you don't have to hit boundaries all all the time this is a vast uh, ground plenty of uh, open spaces to pick up couples i definitely agree with you but now we just ten, come down 10 balls they need to like hit couple of them out of the park royal will be very happy if they can just get a single or two of every other ball this is the contest i want to see the left arm leg spinner to the right handed batter who is uh, not at the crease for long the intention was good don't pick it right up to his pads Rahim Din is bowling probably the toughest over in the game now. <laughs> he's been doing well. Though yes. He has not been the greatest with the economy, but still he has been doing well. That's good. If he didn't fall, he would have probably looked for two. Malvi Arachi doing the fielding. Yeah, they've done well. Not concede a boundary. You must give credit to Khalid Rahim Dean because uh, these are extremely difficult conditions. Yes, straight into the fielder's hands. He's taken the wicket, he's taken the right hand. St. Thomas's have lost their sixth wicket. Straight down uh, Long On's throat. Well ball, Rahim Dean. I won't blame Caldera because he had to go for every ball. As I said, it's, it's a free hit for Stomians now. They need to at least look for 260. Looking at the wicket, 255 won't be good enough. Royal captain holding on to the catch. 49 completed. 243 for 6 St. Thomas's. Yatindra Sirivardhana is the new batter. He replaced Kavidu Dias in this side. One of three changes for the Athomians. Fresher. Is that uh, decent success for the college at uh, second level cricket? Cleared the infield, not the boundary. Sadev Soiza. Malivya Rachi can pick up another one. He can definitely pick up another one, but I would like to see if Malivya Rachi can bowl more towards Soiza's legs. Because he had not scored many runs off the pads. Fine leg is inside the 30 yard circle, so he better be smart uh, in where he's trying to pitch up. There's a uh, Deep back of square leg on the friends. But he's got good defense uh, at the lines in on his legs. Oh, that was too short. That was hit huge. Uh, that's uh, proved me wrong, Haritha. What do you mean, proved me wrong? That's what you would have done if you <laughs> got a ball like that. <laughs> no, no, I would have liked to see him bowl more <laughs> towards his leg, but yeah, but that's definitely what we want to see from here upstairs. Who was going to hit the six? Sadev Sorisa was that's the, the one to hit the six. Brilliant hit. 
Oh, I like it. Brilliant. Into the uh, Royal uh, Boys Tent area, was it? Yeah. 250 <laughs> up, yeah. Four more balls. Can they get another 10 runs? They have to get 10 more runs. Couple more big blows. So he's at 64. Oh, he got uh, the meat of the bat on that one too. Will they look for two? Sirvodhana is quick. The throw is to the... Oh, oh he's hit the stumps directed. That looks very much out to me from upstairs. He's very tired, Raditha. You can see the legs tiring up now. But uh, that was a good return from the boundary. I wonder what he, who was uh, doing that. Was it Sena Ratna? Threw in? One shot from your side, right? Yeah, one shot from uh, G's side also. Yeah. Put Just give it. me the front on on this, please. One frame back, one frame back. Yeah, happy, it's confirmed. Uh, can we check the one shot, please? First time. On Ruchi's side. Previous run, previous. First run, we need to check the first run. So you're happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Happy with the run out. Happy with the run out. We are checking the from one shot. Ruchi, uh, run out is confirmed. I'm checking the one shot. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Yeah, the other side. Other side, we want to see the other side. Yeah. One frame back, one frame back. I want to see the proper creasing. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Go back, go back. It's okay, na? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruchi, there is no one shot, no one shot. My decision is run out. Just confirm the lights, please, director. It said uh, a red light to go and a green light to keep going. <laughs> Anyway, if it was one shot, it would have been a dot ball. It wasn't the case. So is a marathon innings from him. Run out 65. I wonder who sent in the throw. That was a direct hit. I thought it may have been Sena Ratna. We'll have to confirm that. So there so is a oh, Dharma Ratna. Twin. Two fifty-two for seven with three balls remaining. Nashwin Pereira is the new batter. He was best bowler, best fielder in the three-day affair. Lissula missed it. I know the throw wasn't that bad. But yeah, Lissula missed it definitely. Okay, Isula. Ooh. 
probably didn't play a lot of rugby. <laughs> so very eventful last to Haritha. I know. Another full toss. That was slow. It's uh, uh, a misfielded uh, by Bolan. If they get a boundary, they'll get to 260. Even otherwise, it's another story. Plenty of running. Oh. One handed pickup. It didn't work. It India, Bulan. No mistake with this. Four wickets for Ranuk Malabar Ritchie. Deserving performance from him. 256 for eight. St. Thomas has winning the toss and elected to bat after 50 overs. Aritha, would you be happy with the total that the Thomians put on the board? Uh, for me, of course, I think it's quite competitive getting 250 on this track, but uh, Royalies definitely have the upper hand of chasing down the score. Especially given the fact that the Royal is batting lineup. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a flurry of activity in that last over. Run out, a near run out. A couple of uh, misfields. misfields and a good catch in the end. 256 for 8. I thought maybe. 10 12 runs lesser than what I initially thought. 275, I thought, would have been possible on this wicket, so that means it's a uh, 17 short. Runs uh, at the top of the order. Sadev Soiza, um, Tisen Aliogoda, skipper Mahit Pereira, Akash Fernando, a little cameo. I thought uh, Gunawadana was a little bit uh, slow in his approach. 16 extras, it's a bit of a problem, 13 wides, one no ball, it's 14 balls extra. Definitely 14 balls extra and if you count the 4 runs that they gave away on the 43rd over, that counts as 20 extras. Good observation. <laughs> uh, pretty impressed with the bowling effort by the Royalies. Poland Noveta 9 overs, 43 for 1 wicket, and Viratunga helping him out with the new ball, 5 overs, 22 runs. But pick up the bowlers, Malabarachi 9 overs, 53 for 4 wickets. It was quite impressive because the way that he was variation, like with his variations, the batsman they never picked him properly. But all in all, I think Royalists have done well to keep uh, the Thomians under 256. Uh, skipper Jayabodana bowled uh, the quota of overs, 2 maidens, very economical, 3.6. Probably one of the reasons why uh, it was a little bit okay. The opening uh, partnership, uh, including that uh, retirement, 75 runs. Then there was uh, another good partnership for the third wicket, uh, which added uh, 68 runs and uh, 40 for the fourth wicket. From there onwards, uh, it was a situation of uh, trying to be big. And Akash Fernando and Sadev Soisa gave them a little bit of hope. But uh, in the end, I think uh, both teams will take it. Uh, Royal came back, uh, picked the Thomians. Uh, who nevertheless uh, managed uh, 258. Thompson just won the toss. They had no hesitation to uh, bat first. Uh, both sides came in with three changes to the side that played in the three-day game. Uh, Avinash Fernando and uh, Sadiv Soisa gave the Thomians a decent start. Yeah, that's a decent. That's the exact start the Thomians would have wanted after winning the toss and batting first. That's that's the exact opposite that the, the Royalies wanted. We all know that SSC is not the easiest to bat the first first hour, but critics should go to Thomians the way that they batted in the first first few overs. There was uh, runs uh, for um, Tisay Nahalia Goda from the moment uh, he came into bat um, with uh, Mahit Parera. There was uh, good cricket. Avinash was uh, especially uh, particularly good with uh, his uh, cricket. This was clean ball, the, the first three because that was Dinit Gunawadha, no? Yeah, this is Ahalia Goda. Really, um, keep it going. Oh, oh, that was a misfield. 
That's two missed deals. But he was uh, picking the gaps very well. He was hitting the ball with power and uh, placing the ball very well too. Mahit Pereira joined him in this partnership and they looked very uh, efficient. Two of the fastest uh, runners between wickets. They are top athletes at uh, college. So no problem as far as the running between wickets were concerned. They had played together long enough before this happened. Mahit Pereira was surprised by Sena Ratna. Then uh, Sadev Soisa came back uh, after retiring and uh, they were good. Taking the area route, uh, two left-handers. Ahalya got a first two half century. Really wonderful innings from him, Banuka. Uh, definitely, it's always nice to see a left-hander uh, driving through the covers and they did it specifically well. You're uh, biased left-hander? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a story where... It, it, then was, it's left handers I'm only going to watch. Yeah, Akash Fernando came in when uh, Polonovita had dislodged the, the hard hitting batter, Alia Goda, and he looked uh, very effective. Soiza completing that run with uh, mixed uh, fortunes to complete a half century. Well played. He's been in prolific form against Royal this year. But it was Akash Fernando who was uh, looking dangerous with some wonderful cricket right throughout. You want uh, him to play well, but this catch brought him uh, into a situation of uh, leaving. Then Jawadana held on to a catch. Sadev Soiza hit this massive six of uh, Malviarachi. Oh, brilliant. Uh, throw direct hit at the stumps. Then uh, Yatindra went aerial. Bulan was there to take the catch. Last ball to end uh, the innings after 50 overs. 256 for 8. Uh, 259 is the winning target and uh, will uh, join Luxus de Silva with this discussion. Good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to the uh, mid-match talk show of the uh, 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter between Royal College and St. Thomas's College. St. Thomas's College, who uh, won the toss and decided to bat first, made 256 runs in their 50 overs, giving Royal College a target of 257. So we have a lot to talk about and to talk about that, I have with me Garmini Ferra. Welcome to the show Garmini. Yeah, so uh, Garmini. 256 runs on the board. When you're doing the pitch report, you suggested that 240, 250 will be a very good score. So, St. Thomas College, they have managed to get there. Yeah, look, it's, you know, when I had a look at this morning, it, it's an absolute belt. It's, it's a placid batting track and it's a no-brainer. Whoever is going to win the toss is going to bat first. And uh, yet, you still have to uh, do it physically. And uh, you know, their top order, St. Thomas's top order, did the hard work. and. Uh, as you could see, there's no, not a lot of turn, there's not a lot of movement, so it's just... When you see all those batting highlights, it's the guys who scored runs earlier, good, uh, so he's... Uh, uh, they hit through the line, in the V, in front. So more, uh, extra cover is a productive area, so... It's an easy track to bat, it's an easy track to get used to, and... Uh, yeah, I would say 240, 250 uh, was like par, so... Like, uh, like I said, uh, because their top order was, were willing to... Um, uh, Play straight, and um, it's, it's 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 a good score. For, you know, at this level, you know, anything over five runs per over, uh, although the conditions are going to remain the same for the second innings, it's not going to deteriorate much. The pitch will stay the same, and uh, you still need to put up a good bowling performance collectively. But batting is so much easier. But it just just that the scoreboard pressure is going to uh, play a vital part. Yes, indeed. The uh, psychological advantage is with St. Thomas's College in Garmini because they have managed to get that uh, 250 run mark. And uh, talking about their batting, there was a very good opening uh, wicket partnership for St. Thomas's College. Their first wicket fell when it was 75. And then uh, they lost uh, two quick wickets. And it was uh, Tisa and Ali who managed to come out there and uh, steadied the ship with a brilliant half century. Yeah, you can see from the highlights. Have a look at some of the shots. It's, it's, he's playing through the line. You know, uh, that, that was half a chance. That, that, that was an opportunity for the Royals to come back into the game. 
but uh, he was willing to present the full face of the bat and uh, on a track like this when you do that it's it's you know it's pretty much one way traffic so uh, there not there was not a lot of bowlers could do when you uh, play in that manner and uh, Ali Goda and uh, Soisa scored most of their runs in that way and uh, talking about Ali Goda we can't forget Sandeep Soisa he opened the batting game mini then he got injured he had to go out but he came back in managed to managed to uh, give a very good end to his team he scored a 50 as well uh, got out in the final low as well Sandeep Soisa so uh, let's talk about Sandeep Soisa he uh, scored a half century in the big man, in the three day count as well yeah from the time he walked in this morning i mean he, he scored runs in the uh, main game as well so you know he he when you do that it, it builds you that much of confidence when you coming and batting on the same track that was a terrific shot at the end so he was um, in the bulk of the scoring at the end as well so he he's a guy who likes the ball to come on and um, so one of you get like this like i said when you bat in that manner there's not a lot you can do Yes, and uh, talking further about uh, St Thomas's College, uh, other than the 250s, they had three 25 plus scores. Uh, Gamini, so uh, most of that top order they managed to contribute. And uh, Agash Fernando was very good. Uh, he provided that um, very good uh, big hitting uh, at the end uh, for St Thomas's College. Scored 30 of 18. And uh, Malavi Arachi for Royal College, he was superb. He took four wickets, two wickets in the first half, and then two wickets in the uh, latter half of the innings. Uh, Malvi Arachi, it was a very good spell. Yeah, you know, he bowled the correct length and the main reason was he was at the stumps. You know, on a track like this, it's you, uh, you miss, I hit. So, he bowled straight and uh, he showed that uh, Malvi Arachi, that he could be a, um, he could be a weapon with the um, older ball as well. So, uh, you know, that was a terrific catch. One thing that Royalists will be disappointed with uh, is their fielding. It wasn't up to the mark. There were so many fumbles, there were so many misfields. And on top of that, 16 extras, I reckon they considered at least 15 runs. So they could have done with 30 runs less, but uh, they could only blame themselves. Indeed, uh, St. Thomas's College at the end uh, lost some quick wickets because they were trying to up the run rate. And uh, that was the wicket in the uh, last delivery. So uh, now, uh, Talking further about the St. Thomas's College innings, uh, they made 131 runs in the first 30 overs and then they made 125 in the last 20 overs. So almost double their score in the last 20 overs. Uh, Garmini scored 80 runs in the last 10. So uh, Royal College, they need 257 runs at a rate of uh, 5.14. Garmini, 257, your prediction? Well, I think it's even Stevens. Like I said, the conditions still very much suitable for batting. Like, you know, under 19 level, scoreboard can do wonders in your uh, scoreboard pressure. So, if, if Royal batters, particularly that top half, uh, Jawar, Dana Pires, you know, Pereira, if they get a good start, they'll be in it for a very long time. And, uh, you know, you've got to be very smart to bowl uh, on a track like this. So, I think. Uh, if Royal can get a good start, if, if a couple of their top quarter batters out of the first four, if they get a um, get going, you know, it will not be defending. Uh, it will not be easy to defend this. Uh, although there's a lot of runs and it still needs a lot of getting. So uh, that's the uh, that those are the thoughts from Garmini Pereira. 257 to get for Royal College. It's uh, even Stevens at the moment, but Royal College, if they can get the runs uh, in, from the top order, they will definitely have a very good chance. And Thomas's College. They're bowling, they need to make sure that they deliver on what the uh, batters manage to do. So, uh, thank you very much for joining with our mid match uh, talk show, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to a commercial break and we will be back with the second innings action of the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter. Make sure to stay tuned to Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV.
Thurston vs Isipatana. 44th Limited Overs Encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. First and exclusive. I've been here two days and I've been almost murdered twice. That's one per day. What is going on? I train you to become warriors, but you have never faced anything like this. If you can give me the location, I can get him out of the country. It's too dangerous. Where is everyone? We're gonna have to figure this out. Who the hell are they? I work for Dracula. What? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. That's it. First and exclusive. All new on Saturdays. Maraga, Tamadi Maragana. Karanadin Amade Mugarini, number one hit up team made a T20 world ranking. Well, so not a bindu gave away the series. Fastball Kara, and the bad other coach Q and Lisagua. Fastballing and a spinning of the Amade. Tata, three wheel read the rate. Amma gather it. तो नमाली पड़ी, त्रिविल का दोनों क्या वक्करन मनुष्य किधी अपने में सेलो कुए, माली में यानों उन चिल्लाए पैन ना, पैन वो पारा तक आडू ना, ये बिले, मैं भी डिन्नी की बोल ला, हमारे ऐसे ही नौ ब्रांडू ही नौ आना मालंग है, ये अरे इतने दी रुसाल सादीर काफी काटती है मैं, हमारे यालू टेक मामू Entah macam apa ni, apa itu nanti untuk dia tipu ni, apa itu tipu dia laba kan ni tera. Apa itu ni dia laba kan tera pasai ini sunto orang dia, kamu kian apa lagi sama orang dia ni, ada orang macam Facebook ni, macam page juga tera dia ni. Macam cerita pasai, pasai macam bodha kat ready, macam kian orang bodha. Macam ayah, ibu itu ada tayi, satu hari kita taruna kali kat apa kerana mangen ni. Macam mana tera ini mang ini istikar ni. Hi Bowen, Nodu to Minisa. Oh Sri Lanka cricket tu la inna daksha kadul rakin nek, daksha piti karu ek. Ita ma kuda kali kin, wisal jana priyatya klanga keragatu krede ek. Adh apen Nodu to Minisa, Minod Bhanu ka. Hi Bowen Minod. Hi Bowen. Iting meida asal mona dewi min tini kelis selama ahagi na api wedi tam. Aye meida asal deng domestic tu nama nte perangan tienna. Three day tournament deh. Eke matches deng hatrak kira ay. Ila hehe me hehe tau matches perangan no. E matches tiga tau me dasen. Oh, minod dan nai dan nai ting daksha kadul lagi nek daksha peti karu ek kewa game. Kalak Sri Lanka cricket tika palleh tatkik ti edi. Ita tika jawek di bu kadulu rakin nek. Muli nu mati itu no ayega nahan. Then nobe khanda me tena kota khanda me tika kweti lati bu ni. Mereka nak kuasai anak kusalan jaga granik kalau tiada orang di Sri Lanka kan dah. Itu in ekal lewat di. Mono agi tatkah yang ditipu ni kerja gara itu le oba kan dah mat alu tengen ni mono agi pide ni yang ditipu ni. Oh, terima ini me ekal le kan dah me hitapu dasuna captain. Yang agi mana kuasai anak kusalan jaga granik kerbau kan dah me segi tanu aku agi me ekan dah me titiya. Ting mata itu yang club level lekai selang kalau tiba katiti mana mah hiti, kerisah itu yang ada. Laku yang sesat terun nih, eh, eh, eh. Podi pidne ati tiba muka dah jati kanda yang ni, ojine kan lebi lebu no paling yang wasta. Itu yang, eh, kalau mat matau muna une, magge upori ma siye da siye nih siye da desi ak magge kanda yang ni endi la. Jagra nih kan nih, eh, siri se. Oh, eh, jawa nih wata kanda yang betapa. Kredit kau, gina pun kredit kau ada ringan. Obat kene, itu ni mana itu ni ahan na minud kurunaya gel, tamai yoh gigi gama kiel api hamu. Mungkin hitang hiti, namut mang hitan ni ekat abenas pelisur rakti na minud gab. Api hamu minud gigi gama kohid, minud gigi podi kali kohom bade geuni kiel. Eh mage podi kali, mulima patangan na mulima mage gama singak kuliya, sandalang gab. Jadi, mama mula mula sekolah lagi, kami pergi sekolah dah India lagi lah, dia nak pergi sekolah tu. Eking sisa tte pas sila, tapi mama joshua seri aja tu semula. Joshua seri gihil lah, itu pas se joshua seri das ate di, di rusuri se dekala mali di dah tu nempal pun koru. Dekala apa joshua seri itu pun koru, anil se ekka kata kala, mama hilu ah, kita tol de. Itu as sama mama mali di itu gie, ni think. Malaysia itu gila empat sedaya orang tu gana hitian. 
ఇంతకోట మమ్మ ఉదయ ఉదయవాయ ఉదయవసి అనవాయినవా ఇంక ఏ వత్త ఎక్కిది అమ్మలట ఏ బలంగ ఇందువే మేము నిసా అమ్మల అమ్మాయి తాత ఒక్క మీ గేవాల్ విక్కునలా మీ అగల్ల పదించి మారు బరా గురునే అగల్ కుడా కాలి ఒబ కడులు రకిన్నెక్ నోవే కుడా కాలి మొనాద కరే క్రికెట్ లింకిల అపి ఓగెన్ మహము టికక్ వినస్ దేక్ కరపు క్రీడకి కుడా కాలి మే వినస్ దేక్ కన్నే మే బోల్ కరా ఫాస్ట్ బౌలింగ్ ఫాస్ట్ బౌల్ కరా బ్యాడ బో దాన్న బ్యాడ అదే కోచ్ కి వాన్లి సగువ ఫాస్ట్ బౌలింగ్ అన్న స్పిన్ ఎక దాము స్పిన్ ఎక దమ్మ బ్యాడ అన్న దమల గాన్ తసే సగువ హరి దెన్ ఓయ బెరి మదన వికెట్ కీప్ కన్న ఏ గుదరే తుల అది ఏ కరన్న గె నో వాంతి మరి తమంట కెలపిన మదన హంబ ఓ ఏ కదా జాంతి మరి తుల ఇచ్చ దే వాంతి జాతిక కండాయ మరి ఇన్న తరం దస్ కంపెన్ అన్న హకి ఉన కడులు రకిమిన్ ఇదిన్ පෞලේ පසුබිම ගැන පොඩ්ඩක් ඇහුවොත් කොහොමද gedar තිබුණු පසුබිම ආර්ථික තත්ත්වය ඒ වෙනකොට තිබුණු බාධක මොනවාද ක්‍රීඩාවට ආර්ථික තත්ත්වයයි බාධක කියන්නේ අයි අම්මයි තාත්තයි මල්ලි මමයි පෞල තාත්තා ත්‍රී වීල් රිදුරෙක් අම්මා gedar හිටියේ ඒතර මල්ලි පොඩි කොහොමත් ඉස්සරිඳම්ම මේ තාත්තා තාත්තා තමයි මාර ක්‍රිකට් වලට මාර ආසයි කියන්නේ මාර ආස කියන්නේ මැච් එකක් අත අරින්නේ නැහැ එන මාර ආසයි ආදරේ ක්‍රිකට් වල ඉතින් ඒවත් එක්ක බලලා ඉතින් අපි කිසි අඩුවක් කරේ නැහැ ක්‍රිකට් ගහන්න දැම්මා පොඩි කාලෙම දාද්දි ඉතින් ක්‍රිකට් බඩු වල ඉඳන් හැමදේ මරන් දීලා ඒ අර 3 වීල් එකක් දුවන 3 වීල් එකක් දුවන රැකියාවක් කරන මිනිස්සෙක් විදියට නෙමෙයි සලකුවේ හැබැයි ඊට වැඩි දෙයක් එහෙම අම තාත්තා අම්මයි මට කරා ඉතින් ඒවත් එක තමයි බාධකයක් කියලා එහෙම ආර්ථික අපවස්ථාවක් ඒ දෙන්න අපිට පෙන්වුවේ නැහැ ආර්ථික අපවස්ථාවක අනිවාර්යෙන් තියෙන්නේ නැති ලොකු අපවස්ථාවක් තියෙන දෙබෙයි මට පෙන්වුවේ නැහැ පොඩි කාලෙදී මෙහෙම අපවස්ථාවක් තිබ්බා කියලා ඔව් ඉතාම වැදගත් ඔබේ දෙමව්පිය ඔබට කොච්චර ආදරේද ඔවුන් ඔබට නොපෙන්වා කෙතරම් පීඩනයක් දරාගෙන ඉන්නවද කියන දේ ඉතින් දරුවන්ට තේරෙන කාලයක් එනවා විනෝද ඒක තමයි මේ කියන්නේ කුඩා කාලේ මොන වගේ දරුවෙක්ද මල්ලි කෙනෙකුත් හිටියා ඉතින් ටිකක් දඟත් ඇති දෙන්නම එකතු වුණාම අපි දන්න ඔහොත් ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩකෙක් මේ වෙනකොට ඉතින් පොඩි කාලේ තාත්තට අම්මට දීපු වද මොනවද දරුවෝ දෙන්න කැටියට වද කියන්නේ මේ හොඳම එක සිද්ධියක් තියෙන එක සිද්ධියක් නෙමෙයි සිද්ධි පොඩක් තියෙනවා එක සිද්ධියක් තියෙනවා දැන් ගියා මේ වෙඩින්න එකට එතකොට මාත් පොඩි මල්ලිත් පොඩි වෙඩින්න එක වෙලා දැන් තාත්තා යම්මයි ආවා එන්න එතකොට ඔන්චිල්ලාව තිබ ගාඩන් එකේ ඔන්චිලි පැද පැද දිනේ මල්ලි පැද පැද දිනේ මම තල්ලු කර කර හිටියේ අම්මයි තාත්තයි පාකින් ඒක ගිල්ල කෑ කෑව යන්නේ නැද්ද එන්න යන්නේ එන්න එන්න කියලා ඊට පස්සේ මං එන මල්ලි මල්ලිය මම තල්ලු කර ගින්නලේ මං එනවා මල්ලි ඔක එන්න යන්න පැනලා එන්න කියලා මල්ලි මේ යන ඔන්චිල්ලාව පැන්න පැනෝ පාර අත කැඩුණා හෙවිලේ ඊට පස්සේ එහෙම මී ගමුට මී ගම මාස් විතාලට රන් ඇවිල්ලා මේ විඩින්න ගිවරලා හෙවිල්ලා එහෙම මල්ලි ගේ අතට මේ වගලා ප්ලාස්ටික් මේ ප්ලාස්ටික් අල් තියෙන බැන්ඩේජ් අනම එක කරා ඒකල අදරත් චූටි අදයක් තියෙනවා මල්ලි ගේ කියන්නේ මේ හරි කරපු එක ඩොක්ටර් යා හරියට කරලා නැහැ ඒක තාම චූටි අදයක් තියෙනවා ඒක ඒක අවස්ථාවක් විතරයි ඔව් ඉතින් කිරිමි දරුවෝ දෙන්නේ කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඔය වගේ තමයි පවුල් වල මටත් ඒ වගේ අද්දකින් තියෙනවා ඉතින් අපිට ඒකත් මතක් වෙනවා මේ වෙලාවේ ඉතින් ඔබ ඉන් පස්සේ ජෝසෙෆ් පාස් විද්‍යාලයෙන් මලිද විද්‍යාලයට ඇවිල්ලා එතනින් ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩාවේ ටිකක් ටිකක් හොඳට කරන්න වඩා හොඳට කරන්න පටන් ගත්තා කියලා මට හිතෙනවා මොකද ඔබට පාසල් කාලෙදිම ලොකු ප්‍රේක්ෂක ආකර්ෂණයක් තිබුණා ඔබේ ගම් පළාති දිස්ත්‍රික්කයේ වගේම ලංකාව පුරාම සමහර විට පාසල් ක්‍රිකට් බලන ප්‍රේක්ෂකයන් අතර ඉතින් දහන මෙන් පහල් ලෝක කුසලාන තරංගාවලියට එන්න තරම් ඔබේ දස්කම් දිනුනේ කොහොමද කවුද උදව් කරපු පුහුණු කරුවන් ඒ කාලේ පාසල් කාලේ දහන මෙන් පහල කණ්ඩායමේ අයි බල මම මුලින්ම දහන මෙන් පහල කණ්ඩායමට ඇතුලේ දිස්කෝලේ හිටියේ බුද්ධි කැල්ල පොල ඇල්ල ඇල්ලේ අපි කියන්නේ ඇල්ලේ කියලා අදටත් කියන්නේ මේ ඉතින් ඇල්ලේ අයිය කතා කරලා දැන් මම එතකොට යන්න ඉන්නේ එක මැච් එකක් ගාලා තිබෙන ස්කෝලේ එතකොට මට කතා කරලා ඇහුවා ඕපන් කරන්න පුළුවන් කියලා මොකෝ දැන් කොහොමද මැච් මැච් ගන්න ඕනේ මං කොහොම පුළුවන් අයිය ඉතින් ඕම ගහලා මං ඒ අවුරුද්දේ 900ක් 960ක් ගෙවලා කොහොම ඒ සීසන් එකේ එහෙම මම අන්ඩර් 19 ට්‍රයල්ස් කතා කරා ඒ වගේම මේ ඊට පස්සේ මැච් වල ප්‍රැක්ටිස් මැච් වල හොඳට කරලා අන්ඩර් 19 සිලෙක්ට් කළා ආවෙන් පස්සේ තමයි මේ විනෝද් බහුණු කවුද කියලා මේ මැච් එකේ ස්කෝලෙත් මාර පිළි ගැනීමක් තිබ්බා යාළුවෝ අතරයි බිග් මැච් වල නම් මම ඒ මැච් වල 
सेंट एंड्स एक आठ मगे साउदर पास रहे सांतान इधर दिंग ए स्कूल देखे ये मापिल गया नहीं मत्ती बे एक ए गाबु सीजन नहीं है पासी स्कूल है ओह ये पासे उधाव एन नो ने क्या ने गुड़ाक में थैंक यू का नो ने एल ले यार यार तो हम मेरे को दूं नहीं ओ इन पास से बट अवस्था वाले बिना दाहन में इन पाल क्रिकेट कांडे मत देख के लोक कुसला ने करा यार ना मैं कहती का कालू दत्ते इन अंधे की मार कोई नहीं थी पास अर्क्रीड के खेती ये टा मुको दालू संचार एक पीटर आटा के आने लगी ना ये वाके मालू क्रीड के आने लगी ना विदेश क्रीड के आने का क्रीड करने लगी ना मैं को कोम दत्ते की मार खेती तो इन तुम हाथरा पास दिन एक क्या रहने लोगों को टापी मैडिये देना तुम लोगों ने तीव्र बन है है बे ही काले लेते के अन्य अन्य आप इट में लंका वे तीव्र प्रैक्टिस ट्रेनिंग अन्न मन अंगला गिल्ले इट पसे अभी टूर टूर्स कराए के टूर गिल्ले का सांतीम लोग वेल कप पे यान्ने सिलेक्ट होने पस क्रीड़ के इतने मतलब बे एक मम्मे आएगा लंका वाटे श्रीलंका वाटे लोगों को सुलाने आ गये नहीं के इतने ए वाटे के बाद दी मुकदे एक टीम में किकने में नहीं मैच देखा तूने कहाँ मैच चेकेंगे के एक एक टीम में क्या कहाँ नहीं एक मार कंपटीशन नहीं आके के आरे अमुतो अद्दे की मार कितने के ओ ये मेरे को श्रीलंका Kau muda me, kadulu rakim me, atta orang na bedagat te, hotek sata nak tip badan itu, kusal lo betamuna adi. Kau ye, obat mangi tan ne kadulu rakim na wasta le, buna tanang kabeli adi. Oh, well cup pe batangat di mai me, mama kere, wicket keep kere. Ite wasse, anti mama me cildi, kusal kere. Hem tarang kari te ak tip bi na. Everyone to the uh, single sports club period grounds as we are all set to begin the uh, second half action, the second innings action of the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter between Royal College and St. Thomas's College. St. Thomas's College won the toss and decided to bat first, made 256 runs in their 50 overs to give Royal College a target of 257. I have with me Ricky Sims. Good afternoon, Ricky. A target of 257. Your thoughts on the total made by uh, St. Thomas's College? Uh, good afternoon, Lakshasi. Good afternoon uh, to all our viewers once again joining us. Yes, it was a good uh, score, I feel, after winning the toss. Soisa retired, came back, made a good uh, 65. Fernando took his uh, time, but he was the fresher playing his uh, first uh, big game, 37. Gunavadana, 13. Uh, Mahit Parar, once again, after well settled innings, gave his wicket away, a bit of uh, a loose shot. Elio Goda played brilliantly for his uh, 61 of uh, 69. And uh, Fernando, he's as always uh, blasting his way through to uh, 30. Caldera, 3 towards the end. City Wardena and Ashen Pereira, 4. 16 at runs, uh, yes, uh, 256 at the start of the game. I thought 250 to 260 would be a good total for the Thomians uh, to set because always this scoreboard pressure comes in uh, to school games. And uh, in the start of the 50 overs, if you gave them this total, I think they would have taken it. Uh, uh, Laksisi and uh, Royal will be the team that is uh, now under pressure because it's a uh, never easy chasing. Yes indeed and also the psychological advantage is with St. Thomas's College because they managed to get over that 250 run mark. These are the uh, wickets. Malavi Arachi was uh, really good uh, in the first half. He took two wickets and then in the latter parts of the uh, St. Thomas's innings he took two wickets. It's a lot of clean balls, isn't it? Four of them. The first four are clean bowled. And uh, that one, Akash Fernando. But that was a good catch. Very good catch. That could have gone either way. That would have uh, been a game changer. And uh, these are the wickets uh, to the latter part of the innings. If Akash Fernando was uh, still there, probably St. Thomas would have got uh, maybe another 10 to 15 runs uh, if that catch was not taken. 
So they always say uh, captures uh, game changers, they win matches as well. And uh, credit to the uh, Royalists uh, for holding on to their catchers uh, at the right moments because everything really g uh, matters at the end of the day. I agree with you, uh, Ricky. That's what I thought as well. If Akash's uh, catch was not taken, the target would have been easy 270. The bowling for Royal College, Paul Novita, 1 for 43. Nali Viraj, as we mentioned, 4 for 53. Rahim Deen, 1 for 36. And Sena Ratna, 1 for 44. When it comes to partnerships, the uh, first wicket partnership of 75. Then the uh, 68 run partnership for the third wicket. Yeah, a lot of uh, good partnerships and Sinej Jayavardhana. That was a very economical spell as the skipper. He didn't take wickets, but he made sure that he dried up the runs. Yes, he bowled well and he bowled in that middle part. You know, he, he sort of uh, contained uh, the batters, uh, didn't let uh, Mahit Parra and uh, Ehelia go to get away, uh, really. And uh, he bowled till the 39th over, so he, he did a very impressive uh, uh, job and uh, covering up uh, some of the bowlers. So that was a good spell as well. Yeah, and talking about the acceleration of St. Thomas's College, Ricky, they made 131 in the first 30 and then they managed to score 125 in the last 20. So they managed to almost double their score in the last 20 overs, which includes 80 runs in the last 10. So 80 in the last 10, it's a very good effort. I think that was the wickets in hand. When they came into the last 10, they had, uh, I think, uh, six wickets in hand, seven to uh, six wickets in hand. And uh, that was uh, matters. And then they had the, the likes of Akash Fernando and Nathan Caldera to follow, so they could uh, throw their bats a, uh, a bats a bit. But I thought they should have probably started to really get on to push for it at the 40th over. They really did probably 43rd, 44th over. So there was about a three-over gap there. Maybe at the 40th over, Tisen Elia Good and Sadev Service were going good. They were really settled in, and it needed one player to uh, get going and uh, accelerate but still they ended up at 256 and that's a decent score i mean uh, school cricket uh, you would say that um, that's a defendable score especially with the scoreboard pressure a couple of early wickets st thomas's uh, will be uh, in the driving seat and to royal a lot depends now on their top three i think uh, uh, their skipper sinaj award and he's the key to this uh, uh, rehan uh, he has to get going as well uh, he failed in the big match and uh, Ramiro Pereira, to me, they are the three key, key players that could score runs quickly. You know, they have batters, but the others are pretty pretty slow. So those three, they, they could go at a runner baller even better. So they are three three important uh, components in this uh, Royal Chase. Yeah, absolutely. Especially Sinej Javadana's wicket. It's going to be like gold for St. Thomas's College. If they can remove Sinej Javadana early in this uh, chase, that means uh, Royal College, they'll be in the back foot straight away and they'll feel the pressure quite a lot. So um, let's see what the St. Thomas's opening bowlers can do, whether they can uh, get some early wickets and derail this uh, chase from the word go of Royal College. Now joining with the uh, live action on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papri TV. Here's the first delivery of the chase in the 47th Mustangs Trophy. Some movement away from the uh, left-handed batter for Yatindra. Yes, uh, Yatindra Sirivadana. He was unfortunate to miss out uh, Luxisi on the big match. Uh, he got a 5 for versus Trinity a couple of games before the big match ball brilliantly. And uh, so he'll be uh, raring to go in this game. Isulu Ginanage, the wicket keeper, young player. Hasn't played many uh, limited over matches. The left-hander didn't get going in the uh, two-day encounter. Two failed with the bat. So this is an opportunity for him. Both these are players are young players. And the Siri Wardana, he'll be looking to uh, impress. He's a good bowler. We saw him that uh, T20 triangular recently. He bowled really well and uh, can swing the ball both ways. So he's going to play a crucial role. And Ashen Pereira, now the best bowler of that uh, three-day encounter. He'll bowl from one end and he'll be looking uh, to contain uh, the batters. The delivery of the first over once again. Getting some movement away from the left-handed batter, Sirivardhana. Giganage just taking out a bit whether that was a wide delivery. Now they need to score at a rate of 5.14 Royal College if they are to get to this target. As Rehan Peer is 8 games, 168 runs, average of 24, strike rate 68.50, best score of 64. And uh, still very, very young Rehan Peer is uh, still 15 years old. 
a lot of uh, time left for him in his uh, school cricket career. A good start so far from uh, Yatin the Srivadana. Not giving any room uh, to Isulagi and Gay to free his arms. It's again, 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 he will uh, take his uh, time. He's uh, a bit slow to get off uh, the blocks. And I think this is a new experience. He's played a bit more two-day cricket, as you saw in the records, uh, not much one-day encounters. So it's an opportunity for him. And uh, the Thomians will be looking to uh, contain in this uh, power play. And if they could uh, get an early wicket or two, Piris. No, Rayan Piris, uh, Laksisi, we know what a talent he is. He's uh, a very good player, a very young and a very good player. He scored a lot of runs in the season. But when it has come to this uh, Royal Thomians, he hasn't uh, delivered. He, he didn't get going last year as well in the two-day game, uh, this year in the two-day game. So he hasn't uh, really stamped his mark. So St. Thomas will be looking to press the advantage. A player on there. Cutting the city the net. With a maiden no to begin this uh, chase of Royal College. Royal College yet to get off the mark after the end of the first over. Gold Wild. Unleash the wild in you. He's gonna pop an event in the bar. That's what it is sicker than ever. Six so udin at the never. Hot and spicy cup in cinema. Prima cut to me. Falta my. Cheer up, put a mother in Prima cut to me. Big match fun. Prima cut to me. Tiana Khan. So Gigan again very watchful in that first story. I think the Sivadana of course not giving him any room. Ryan Piris, uh, as Ricky mentioned, someone with a lot of potential, still 15 years old. Now those failures in the uh, two uh, three-day games are uh, the big three-day games of the uh, two years he has played. Probably the big occasion uh, getting into the uh, youngster. So let's see whether he can uh, make a contribution in this 50-over game and uh, St. Thomas' College, an interesting choice. The left arm spinner allowed appeal and that has been given. Devanara and a strike straight away and Rehan Piris unfortunately departs his very first delivery. The quicker one from Devanara and to start his spell. And this move of bringing in the left arm spinner against the right handed batter by Mahit Perra works straight away for the Thomians. Another failure for young Rehan Piris. Now this is uh, what matters, this is the temperament, was that an inside edge on to a pad? Umpire Soiza gave that out straight away, we'll have to take a look at that one. Anuk uh, Devana Raina was very very happy, Rayan Pires departs uh, for one. Nevertheless, Royal have lost their first wicket uh, with the score on one. <laughs> Body wash shaker. So, skipper Sine Javardana coming into the crease uh, and Royal College are not even on the scoreboard yet. A lot to do for the skipper. Stylish left handed batter, Sri Lanka under 19 uh, skipper. Early wicket for St. Thomas says, yes, it's a surprise move. Even I'm taken by surprise to see Devon Ryan uh, into the attack. But he's been the leading wicket taker in the second 11 for St. Thomas. Says, unfortunately, he, he didn't get an opportunity in the first 11 in the big match because of uh, Parna Vidana was uh, the uh, left arm spinner selected. But uh, he's been uh, a very, very uh, impressive uh, performer. We saw again uh, in him in the triangular T20 tournament was uh, very impressive with the ball. St. Thomas is trying a different tactic here against the Rayan Pires and uh, they have been uh, successful. Sinet Jawadana hasn't uh, played uh, much uh, limited over cricket this season. Just uh, one match, you'll wonder why, because he was the Sri Lanka under-19 captain. He was involved with national duties, so he was not available for that uh, limited oh, over uh, tournament. But uh, so much experience, played in a World Cup. I mean, you can't ask for more at this level and uh, he will have to stand up.
Uh, yes, indeed, Ricky. Needs to make sure that he uh, steadies, steadies the ship here for his team. Gigan again. Trying to have a little poke at that uh, delivery by the left arm spinner Devanarayana. So, uh, Ricky, it will be interesting to see the uh, replay of that uh, first wicket once again. Whether it was an inside edge, it looked really close, isn't it? Close to the bat, definitely. At the first glance, uh, we thought it was out, but uh, maybe after a few replays, we think maybe there will be an uh, inside edge. If he was, he was uh, very unlucky. The Tomians went up uh, straight away. And uh, we would love to see uh, the dismissal of uh, Ryan Pires. Skivajayavardhana. Two runs uh, from the two deliveries that he faced. So, uh, trying to uh, rotate the strike straight away. End of the second over, Royal College, 3 for 1. I'm going to get a drink. 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 Ravello, the official chocolate partner of the Battle of the Blues. Sivadana, into his second over, make he must make sure that he continues the good work from that first over. Two uh, left-handed batters. In the middle for Royal College. Skibajaradana facing uh, almost a shot on. Very, very close. So we'll take a look at that uh, last wicket or the first wicket to fall of uh, Rayan Pires against the uh, left arm uh, spinner. He was coming around the wicket. Very close to the bat. Maybe there was a bit of an inside edge. The players went up straight away. And the youngster Rehan Piris uh, straight away showed his bat as well, Ricky. Looked like a huge inside edge uh, for me. Very unfortunate for the youngster. Zambai Chamar, so he's missing that one. I thought he probably because the players went up straight away. He thought that was a plum in front. Yes, sir. Rehan Piris. Disappointing, isn't it? He's uh, such a, a good player want to see much more of him at this stage but unfortunately two years success he has missed out on this uh, Royal Thormian performance isn't it whether it's the three-day game or the one-day format yeah, but luckily for him he actually has a lot more time to uh, make sure that he turns things around uh, he will Ricky. he will no doubt about it in the years to come I'm sure he's going to stamp his authority in at this uh, Royal Thormian at the SSC such a bright future ahead of him at a very young age. Sometimes luck goes your way, sometimes it doesn't, and especially when you're not uh, scoring, it <laughs> tends to be that trend, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't go your way at all. And uh, we hope uh, sooner than later that uh, Rayan Pires, that luck will go his way. And uh, we will hear a lot from him uh, for Royal College. Sivadana. Well defended by Giganagay, straight to the field. So, uh, Sula Giganagay, 1 of 10 at the moment. Uh, he's just uh, sticking to his defense, uh, Ricky. Not uh, really trying to uh, rotate the strike at the moment, Giganagay. Royal College, 4 for 1 of 2.4 was They are chasing a target of 257. Said by St. Thomas's College, who decided to bat first after winning the toss. We had uh, two half centurions, Pisen uh, Nahalia Guda and Sandeep Soisa. Agash Fernando with a very good cameo, 30 of uh, 18. Oh, almost another one. Lovely bowling from Yatin the Sirivardhana. Yes, sir, certainly Sirivardhana is doing a great job. He's uh, been given the new ball ahead of Anid and Caldera and Akash Fernando. And he's uh, using it really well. 
In fact, uh, three of the bowlers uh, who played in that uh, big match uh, have, haven't have uh, got the new ball. That's uh, Pereira, Caldera and Fernando and they're going to Siri Wardena because he can move that ball around. He's a genuine uh, swing bowler. Goes in good areas and he has a lot of confidence uh, from his uh, captain as well. Three overs completed. Four on the board for the loss of one wicket. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Devanara, another left arm spinner will continue against the uh, skipper Chavardana, drives it away for a single. So, since uh, Chavardana playing the single as well, is going to must uh, try to uh, rotate the strike here, Ricky. He's a uh, Getting into a little corn here, 1 of 12, 11 dot deliveries. That was my concern. But uh, what we have seen of him so far, he takes his time to get off the mark. And I think uh, with the spinners bowling, that would have been uh, a real tactic for St. Thomas as well. To take him by surprise, to see how he's going, because he doesn't really have that experience. Uh, much of experience opening the batting though he opened in the big match before that uh, he had just opened in a couple of games and i'll tell you from what i saw him he played a very good hundred against uh st peters in a match winning performance at reed avenue he uh, batted well but he was not the most fluent with the sweep shot right he was uh, he wasn't the best he, he's uh, good when the ball is pitched up he likes to just drive through the line he's a player that uh, was that a rough chance did he get the outside edge? Close to the bat. I thought I heard a little noise, Ricky. Now who is behind the stumps? Is it Fernando? Yes, it's Avinash Fernando. Because Sadev Soiza uh, was uh, injured. He got a bit of a shoulder injury. Had to retire when he was batting. But that's a good shot. Well, he's executed the sweep well this time. He's taken it from outside off stump. And uh, he's placed it well. He knew there was a gap. Uh, nobody protecting the boundary. He'll have to play a lot of these uh, sweep shots. That's four. Nice. Look, going to get. Scoring that boundary. And Ricky, as you mentioned, he's not that good of a sweep, sweep or off the ball. But because he's struggling at the moment, he had to bring that out. You could see he took it from outside off stump. If he missed that. I feel he would have been a bowl around his pads because his enter all three stumps were exposed as well. Uh, Laksis is going for it again. Now he has to be very careful. I think the Athomians know that he's, uh, they are playing around with him. Four was completed, nine without loss. Gold Wild, unleash the wild in you. Yet car radials, the road is yours. Nikam Borota risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos the risk a gunnatu, kick a fund transfers karanava game, a chill like a bill speaker. I think the Sivadana will continue. Sivadana. Taking the strike very easily this time, manages to uh, take the uh, second run as well. Now, uh, Sejardana looking uh, good at the moment, Ricky. So that's why it's very important that Gigan again doesn't uh, struggle to rotate the strike. He must make sure that he supports his skipper because uh, if he wastes too much uh, deliveries here, that will put a lot of pressure on Sejardana. So certainly he has to keep uh, rotating the strike. Silvodan is bowling an impressive uh, spell. 
surprised that they have a sweep a cover there but maybe the tactic is to give Sinet that single and get Keegan again on strike and uh, bowl a lot of dot deliveries at him dry up one end so they opened up that cover region uh, Luxisi generally you will see the sweeper cover in maybe you'll have a fine leg a third man those are the two fielders outside the 30 yard circle but the Thomians are thinking differently probably they like you mentioned they want to keep uh, Jayawardhana at the non-strikers and frustrate him exactly and uh, that's very close and uh, is that the second wicket a loud appeal umpire Roger Apalya Guruge says uh, not out it was uh, close to the bat close to the pads probably clipped the pad on the way to the wicket keeper there was certainly some noise it's all happening here at the SSE at the moment I think there was uh, a gap between uh, I think they clipped the pad isn't it uh, Lux is you think there was an inside edge onto pad and into the wicket keeper that looked really really close Ricky uh, I think it uh, did brush the pad as well but uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, if it uh, had any contact with the bat whatsoever but it was really really close once oh. again a player and a miss Gigan again a lot of close calls yes he's uh, really struggling at the moment to get bat on ball and uh, Siri Vardhana is bowling a good line a good length He's uh, not letting the uh, batter onto the front foot. Like I mentioned, Gigan Age is good when the ball is pitched up to him. Because he's not one of those powerful players. But if it's pitched up to him, he just drives through the line and he's very good at that. But uh, he doesn't get forward much. You could see his uh, front foot really doesn't go full. And uh, he sort of uh, plays from the crease, plays uh, on the up. That's how he uh, got trapped LBW in the big match as well. The Thomians know that they're not going to give him anything in his zone to drive. So he'll have to create uh, those uh, shots. He'll have to probably, you know, come a, a foot or so outside the crease, trying to take it on the full. He, he'll have to do something different, and uh, that's what the Thomians are working at at the moment. I know it's all about adapting the situation for Gigan again. He needs to uh, make sure that he uh, does something different, and uh, just that without losing his wicket. That's the thing uh, for Gigan again, and uh, that's a misfield. St. Thomas's College. They're building up the pressure, but. Uh, those kind of efforts in the field will uh, loosen the pressure a bit on uh, Royal College. So uh, that's the end of the uh, fifth over Royal College, 13 for 1. Arm spinner Devanarayana will continue to overs one for eight. Took a wicket of his very first delivery. Had another close call in his second over as well. Uh, as Gigan again, will he try to go for the sweep again? This time drives it away. Now that's where I, what I was uh, saying about. If it's pitched up to him, he, he will drive it to you. But you need him to make him come and reach the ball. He's very uh, hesitant to leave the crease. But now uh, first ball uh, run gives uh, Jai Wardhana the strike. Now this is where the Thomians have to be careful because he's a very aggressive player of Sinead Jai Wardhana. Once he gets going, he's uh, difficult to stop. He gets the runs quickly. He's one of those players I mentioned uh, along with Piris who is out and uh, Ramiro Pereira who can get runs quickly. So his wicket, his uh, stay in the middle is very crucial for Royal. Yes, that will be the most important wicket for St. Thomas's College. He's at the moment no boundaries but 7 of 9. As I mentioned earlier, this time St. Jayadana goes for the uh, big hit, goes for the aggressive stroke and he gets a boundary straight away. That's excellent batting luck, Sissi. Just before that ball, what they did was they brought the deep swallow up into the circle and they pushed the sweeper cover down to the boundary. And you see Jayadana saw that. He picked it from just outside off-stump, off-stump line 
and he knew there was nobody on the boundary deep and he picked his spot because at another time he probably would have driven that towards sweeper cover but he knew there was protection he, it was uh, a bit risky across the line but uh, safe at the end and well executed oh has he taken it i thought that was on the bounce i think i won't be surprised if they go to the third umpire they will they will go to the third umpire i thought he took it on the bounce that was my initial reaction luxisi i say me ricky say me let's see we will have to uh, take the assistance of the tv umpire as it seems that was a good take brilliant take good anticipation no doubt about okay, it it's a fair delivery can we move to the best side on angles for catch please Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Uh, can you freeze the when the field uh, collects the ball? Yeah, and okay. Move forward, okay. Fingers under the ball. Yes, I'm satisfied. Just freeze it there, freeze it there, okay. Focus the lights, please, director. My vision is out, out, out. And that's the big figure, Sine Jaiwa, the depart there in our arena. He strikes for the second time inside the power play. And the uh, dangerous Sine Jaiwa, the, the skipper of Royal College, departs for Levan. Absolutely brilliant. Dinat Gunawa, the net slip. I thought that was on the bounce, but he got his fingers under it one handed. He just stuck his left hand out, got his fingers under it. That was a brilliant catch. They say catchers uh, win matches, and uh, Dinesh Gunawardena has uh, produced the gem. Royal 18 for two. So Ricky. This uh, move of bringing in the uh, left arm spinner to bowl with the new ball, paying dividends brilliantly for St. Thomas's College. And uh, Mahit Perai was not hesitant to bowl him even against the two left-handed batters as well. Well, uh, he's uh, known as a jovial character as well. Uh, they want to run around the team. If you keep him and Ashen Pereira together, you can't recognize who is to do. And I'll tell you, they are not brothers. Similar in features, and I've been told many a people mistake each other. Uh, and uh, he's uh, delivered. He has uh, come into this game. He's produced a good uh, Polnavita. Eight games, uh, 108 runs, uh, nothing much. A base score of 64. He has a lot to, to do here. And uh, with that dot delivery, that's the end of the sixth over. Royal College 18 for two, chasing a target of 257. Royal College under a lot of pressure. back to this let's see the next delivery is driven comfortably by gigan again that's a welcome boundary royal in a spit of bother 6.1 overs 22 for two two big wickets danushka as far as dream start for the thomians and uh, the decision to start with the left arm spinner paying them dividend uh, feroz i think bold very good lines first wicket He was a bit lucky, I believe. However, the second wicket, that catch, they say catches win matches, and that was a super catch by Dinesh Gunawardena. Royal 22 for the loss of two wickets at the moment. Well, smart move to bring in the left arm spinner. Sirivardena will continue. He's bowled well too, creating that pressure from one end. I think. especially when you have ashen 
got five wickets. You'll be tempted to use him with the new ball. But uh, the Tomians have read the wicket, were brave enough to use the left arm spin. And I'm told that uh, he has, Anuk has 90 wickets in the second level. Yes, you can uh, see uh, by the way he's bowling, uh, Feroz. He looks very confident and uh, mind you, both these uh, bowlers did not play the three-day game. And the Thomians have decided to s start the one-day bowling with two freshers. Brave move, but it has given dividends. Uh, two quick wickets and two big fish. Uh, especially Rehan and uh, the skipper. Plenty of experience and quality. Unfortunately for Royal, didn't trouble the scorers much. But having said that, uh, Polo Novita favours St. Thomas Hers, has had some luck in the past. He's performed well against St. Thomas Hers, coming in at number four under pressure. Hopefully, he'll prove a point. Anush Polonavita, son of the famous Anushka Polonavita. And uh, the Thomians do know that name very well. And uh, Anush also, I believe, last year, the one day, he did quite well, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken. Yes, and he followed it up with, uh, with a good uh, four-wicket haul. Uh, and if I recall, a half-century um, in the quarter-finals. Some swing, that shot should give some confidence. Well fielded by Thysen, creating that pressure. I think good pressure from both ends. Uh, Sirivadana bowling a good line and length, getting the ball to slightly deviate. And on the other hand, the left-armer, Anuk. Both freshers are uh, doing the job uh, quite well. Exactly. Very impressed with uh, Yatin, the Siri Warder. He's got a bit of movement off this track and uh, started off really well. And that's the end of the seventh over St. Thomas. Uh, sorry, Royal College 23, 23 for the loss of two wickets. I made a sausage, the bite that bites back. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi. Anuk will continue straight, played off the pads. Uh, had he missed, it would have been an interesting shout. Giganage favors the leg side, he's very good on the sweep and. Uh, Palio uh, Anuk has decided to come around the wicket for the left-hander. I think he's got success bowling this particular line. His uh, arm delivery is the one that has accounted for two wickets. The left-hander, two, misreading. And the ball went on with the arm again. You see the inside part of the bat. Polonavita is off the mark. Royal, eighth over in progress. 25 for 2. They require a further 232 runs in 42.4 overs. The required run rate inching towards that 6 run per over mark. I think what's worrying for the Royalists would be that uh, they have lost both the, uh, both uh, batsmen who have got out. Uh, guys who have been known, known to be quite aggressive. And uh, while Sinet was there, he looked very confident, rotating the strike, getting those twos. And Rehan Pires, as we all know, is a very aggressive player. Unfortunate today. But the Thomians would be happy again. Giganage going for the sweep. Not connecting it this time. I think the shot is on. Uh, pitching outside off stump. And uh, I think vacant leg side region. The bowler getting the ball to move away from the left-hander. But on that occasion, a little too full to play the sweep. Again, looks to play on the leg. 
His intention is right, but he needs to pick the right deliveries. Uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't have any premeditation. He should play the ball on merit. But the intention is right. He knows where the gap is, and he's just got to pick the right delivery and play that shot. She tries to play the sweep very fine. The Tomians have made that uh, change in the field. They have uh, moved the deep square leg very fine, and uh, that's the end of the eighth over. Royal 26 for two. Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games, plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Forty seventh Mustangs Trophy in progress. You can watch this match live on the Dialogue View app. View brings you the best of cricket, including IPL, PSL, WPL, Dialogue Big Match Season, and many more. Back to the proceedings, and uh, Yatindra will continue from the Vidyamata end. Bowling is fifth over. Just give it away 10 runs. Uh, Way outside off stump, uh, wide given. Yes, Sirvardhan has been very economical for the Tomians. Four, four was bold, just 11 runs given. But this delivery, way outside the off stump. Bit of shape, but uh, started off outside off stump. He's got to bowl a lot straighter and get that in swing working for him. I believe he started off bowling uh, right arm round to the left hander where he brought the ball in and moved it away slightly from the left hander. However, he has changed sides. And Isula, on the other hand, uh, Gigan Age seems to be comfortable playing on the front foot, but his uh, stroke play on the back foot isn't as convincing. On the pads, nicely played, ran across, worked it towards uh, the vacant fine leg region. Another boundary for Gigan again. He's working the gaps. This is what's needed, I think. Uh, the stroke makers uh, are back in the hut, but uh, you can still accumulate runs by just piercing this uh, vast outfield. There's ample opportunity for you to uh, score runs. He's very uh, strong off his uh, legs. Ferro is not a big guy, so he's doing very well to use the pace of the ball and get the ball in those gaps. So Royal College, they have to go at 5.45 runs per hour, so they should be careful not to be too lethargic and. Uh, which will result in the run rate going going up. Once it goes above six, it would be hard to control. Yes, I think what's needed is a partnership and both batsmen looking for the quick single and the occasional loose delivery needs to be dispatched. Nicely played on the back foot. Uh, but there is cover, a sweeper cover. Region is well manned. Uh, yes, they, these two need to put on a partnership ensure that that required run rate doesn't cross the six run mark but most importantly look for a partnership and once the partnership is established with two set batters run making becomes easy on this wicket it's exactly what the Thomians uh, did in the morning Pharaoh. they lost two quick wickets after quite a good start and then Mahit Pereira and uh, Heliogor did well they took their time that helped the Thomians get to that total of 260. On the shorter side, uh, I believe that hit him on the ribcage. 
looks to be in some sort of discomfort. Anush. From a bowling perspective, I think good change in length by Atindra. Saw that Polonovita is banking on the front foot. Good shot deliver again, a good follow up, but not kept cleanly by the wicket keeper. A wide called, a couple of runs, uh, maybe a bit of tiredness creeping in. A typical fast bowler's response you get hit they will 9 out of 10 times follow it up with another bouncer yes but this time way down the leg side gave away two runs one wide one by it's bowling uh, with some space uh, pace uh, at in the city another wide delivery it was an attempt at slower delivery which slipped out of his hand well he's trying uh, he tried the bouncer he's getting the ball to move but uh, fifth over in this heat, I'm sure some tiredness creeping in. And the right hand, left hand combination also is not working in his favor. Not make, made that adjustment this over. But nevertheless, a good start. Much better delivery to complete his fifth. And nine overs gone. Royal, 35 for two. CF Car Radios, the road is yours. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Devanarayana will continue. Again, right on the money. Bowling his fifth. Given away 16 runs, but most importantly, captured two big wickets. The Royal Skipper. On the shorter side, but came on with his arm. That's the secret weapon. Not much of a secret now for the batsman out there, but still. Very effective, encountered for two of those wickets to fall. That arm delivery. Very well bowled once again. Yeah, the left armers are known for their straight delivery. Reminds us of Rangana Herat. Doesn't get much turn, but the one that goes in with the arm is the one you have to look out for. Creating a lot of pressure, Devanarayana. He's found his length to the right hander. Very difficult for Polonovita to break the shackles. Uh, keeps on coming on with the arm and he's found a good line and length. The Royal is in a spot of bother. They need to take their time, get their eye in. And at the same time, they have to keep the scoreboard ticking as well. They cannot let the required run rate go higher than uh, what it might be hard for them at the end of the innings. They currently need 222 in 40 overs. Certainly they can't play catch up uh, again. Uh, very well fielded but uh, fortunately the commitment for the run was on. 10 overs completed 36 for 2. And body wash shaker. You're absolutely right, Danushka. I think uh, you can't play catch up cricket. You see the umpire signaling the second power play. 10 overs completed. Anush will be on strike and uh, 
Do we have a bowling change? Uh, Ashen Pereira, the best bowler at the three day encounter between these two teams, being brought into the attack. The temptation was there to bring him in early, but the Tomians have worked out the wicket and the opposition and have decided to bring him late. Shane Pereira, the hero with the ball for the Tomians in the three day game, got sick uh, five wickets and uh, he looks wise, he looks almost the same as uh, Anuk. Well, uh, Ashen Pereira has a non conventional action. Here we see 10 matches played, 20 wickets during the one day season uh, with a best of 4 for 18. Part of the reason why St. Thomas has came into the quarterfinals, very effective bowler, will operate from the Vidya end. Starts off full and powerfully driven, but there is ample cover, the sweeper cover region. The Tomians have worked out the angles. Uh, Field placement has been spot on so far. Bowling change even better. So whatever the Thomians have uh, planned has worked out for them. And uh, Ashen Pereira, we saw him at the three-day game. Nothing much to talk about. He just keeps it simple. Good lines, good length. And gets that slight movement of the wicket which troubles the bats. Oh, that was very close. Almost bowled around his legs. Well, uh, Gigan again is happy to shuffle. Got out LBW in the three day game. There you see covering the stumps. Needs to be watchful. The reason being, I think Ashen Pereira is a predominantly an in swing bowler to a right hander. So for a left hander, you program yourself to think that the ball will move away and if it holds on and keeps coming on with the arm and if you're especially covering the stumps then you're in trouble if you miss it exactly and Giga, Giga Nage is uh, we have seen him move across his stumps and trying to play it down the leg side so he has to be careful not to miss it again right on the money Especially when, when the bowling is tight, bowling into a good line and length. I think one important aspect, especially with maximum of four fielders, I think the Tomians have opted for five. Um, you need to be on the toes. You can't get into a shell. And the occasional loose deliveries need to be uh, played to the gap. That was a good looking shot, but good protection out in the deep. And you also need to look for the quick singles. Play it with soft hands. You can't be keeping on attacking and hitting the fielders. Work the gap. And sometimes a calculated risk is also required, especially when you're chasing 250 plus. Exactly. And uh, since mid on mid off both are inside the circle. Oh, that's a, and that's a big appeal. I believe that was going down the leg side. Umpire Ruchira Palyaguru saying no, and that's the end of the 11th over Royal College 38 for 2. Though I've never felt this good until right now with you, with one more bite of revel for Royal required 219 runs in 39 overs and we've got a double bowling change. Uh, Diego being brought into the attack. I've been very impressed with Mahit's captaincy. Uh, he's got Nathan Caldera. He's got... Uh, the left arm swing of uh, Akash, but he's opted for uh, a different bowling uh, combination. 
And right now he's brought in uh, De uh, Darian Diego, who also had a good uh, three-day encounter. So he's using his resources quite well. Um, a stark contrast to what uh, the Royal Captain did. Royal College, when they were bowling, always had a fast bowler bowling from one end. I think one reason why the Thomians managed to keep the scoreboard ticking. X delivery flighted out that outside the O stump, uh, nicely driven down to the deep extra. And Diego bowls with the right pace uh, on a dead SSC track. He varies his pace quite well, and he is getting that nice loop. We saw it with the red ball. Not afraid to slow his pace down, and on this wicket, I felt. That was the way to go. Here we see 10 matches played, 7 wickets. Economy rate of 4 for 11, but most importantly, that best 5 for 27. Which also means that in the other games, he hasn't uh, got that many wickets. Lovely bit of bowling. Uh, fielded as well off his own bowling. Some football skills on display. Polo Novita. He's on three. Giganage has moved along nicely to 21. But he needs to bat in long. He's got set there. This time dab towards a short third man. Not much of pace. Therefore, the batsman can only take a single. Played away from his body, but uh, a, an easy single on that occasion. 12th over in progress. I think that's what the Thomians uh, want, Pharaoh, is they're not providing uh, the batsman with any sort of pace to work with. The batsman has to take those chances and get those runs. So that's the plan which Thomians are working on to and uh, they're trying to keep it very tight and create that pressure. Absolutely. I think they found the right pace to bowl on this wicket. Again, nicely bowled, uh, a good bit of uh, play there, quick single, end of uh, 12 overs, 42 for 2. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Vibe account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. It's the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter here at the SSC. Uh, Royal College versus St. Thomas's. Royal need another 215 runs in 38 overs. On the surface, it looks gettable. But an uphill task with two of their main batters already back in the pavilion. A dominant po bowling performance thus far by the Thomians. Not so for the Royalists. Uh, like I mentioned, their two main batters are in the pavilion as the next delivery. There is protection in that deep third man region. Uh, proceedings have been uh, very slow. Runs have been hard to come by for the Royalists. Been very tight bowling. Uh, exceptional start for young uh, Anuk Devarna, who has bowled a fantastic spell as I'm joined by Shashri Kapusegor. Shash, your take on the game thus far in terms of this chase? Massive setback for the Royal is purely because there are two main batters, Sinead Jawad, the captain, and Rehan Pires, who's also a very aggressive batter. Both are in the shed now, which means it's a rebuilding process for Royal. Uh, there are two batters out there not renowned for their extravagant stroke play, so they'll take their time. The most important thing for Royal right now is to rebuild and have the wickets in hand till the say after about the 20th over they could assess where they're going with the inning. Absolutely, I think it's very important they break this chase into phases and you know accumulate the runs. That's one of the ways to do it. There's ample spaces in this uh, real estate here at Kalambu 7 massive gaps to milk the singles and you really can bat and bat long uh, it's very crucial that the royalists don't 
become one dimensional or just have the two gears we always talk about the shifting of gears when it comes to betting shash in how you progress from gear one to all the way to gear five and i think you can probably elaborate more on it especially when you are playing a 50 over it's a longer game than you think when you look at the current context of things it definitely is and the key would be with the approach that these batters would have is to ensure that they minimize the dot balls or the moment you minimize the dot balls the moment you are busy between the wickets the moment your intent is to get the runs you find the odd boundary coming as well so the intent is very important right now and ensuring that they reduce the dot balls is of paramount importance Harun. that's down the next side rightfully called wide wide by umpire pali guruge yeah very valid point and also from a bowler's point of view what i can say is there's nothing more frustrating than a batsman rotating strike you don't mind the boundary being hit if it's a loose ball you know it's your own fault but the boundary always creates a chance for you to get the wicket but when the batsman starts accumulating singles that creates a lot of frustration to the bowler he's not sure what field he wants and then naturally like you mentioned the odd loose ball is then presented to you fantastic stop at uh, cow point that was diego the thomen fielding also has been pretty impressive so far and let's not forget it's a right left combination here so the moment you cross over pretty frequently it's harder for the uh, bowler then to adjust as we saw a couple of balls ago a pereira bowling a wide down leg so these are the little things that people don't really follow people don't really catch in a game of cricket but it goes a very long way yeah valid point so gigane gay has found some flow or rhythm into his innings as he will face the last ball is over noham dan to the score 46 for 2 royal after 13 Introducing Sri Lanka's biggest Google TV collection from Singa. Endless entertainment is now at your fingertips with many more options to explore. Millions of shows, movies and games plus all your favorite streaming apps in one place. Choose from global brands and experience tomorrow's entertainment today with Google TV from Singa. Asi tirana mix mirla same kanna bari balagi innata bonna anchor drink in yogurt so You can see on your screens 211 more 37 overs very gettable no doubt or oh, nothing short polnometer has not been able to you know get out those shackles 7 of 21 that's been the worrying concern too many dot deliveries for royal we didn't see the same for the thomin I, th- i thought their approach at the start was quite brilliant uh, having actually uh, taking first lease of the wicket the way they rotated the strike and got the boundaries uh, very frequently uh, was was an imp- impressive batting performance yeah, especially sadev soisa who was uh, fined during the big match he continued his flow unfortunately got injured midway through somehow uh, managing to get a 50 eventually he said the trend and uh, the others even though they were a bit slow initially they had a good finish most importantly so that's how the thomins managed to get that score of around 260 much better from uh, anush polonovita think uh, comparing the conditions uh, in which he batted in that quarter final which was played not too long ago between the two schools there was much tougher conditions uh, a damp pitch ball uh, you know bouncing unevenly i don't think he can ask for in terms of uh, resource he can't ask for anything better in terms of what's offered here the ssc super batting track it's as placid as it can get no assist, assist, assistance for either the paces or the spinners it's just been some tight bowling from the thomians that's created pressure thus far so is lo gigana ge another centurion in during the season harun uh, it's very capable with the bat as polonomita scampers through for a, a quick single 
Very good running between the wickets. That brings an end to over number 14. 49 for 2 Royal. एक खाली के टीवी बाल ना मिनी सुन्टा हरी हरी खारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड बोल तो पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आह कब लग गया मिनी सु टीवी के ना दाह साथ है रिया इतनी मेरे घर आने ना द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएचडी स्मार्ट इस तरह इंदा पानस पाने में हैटा बहाने का अंगल मेरे घर आने ना यामु ඕනෑ මම මාදිල එක ඕනෑම ටීවි එකක් ටික ටික ගෙවන්න මේ දැන් අරගන්න තිබෙන පුරා සිංහ ශාකාවේ දෙන්න ජියරක් කරමාද තින් ප්‍රීමා කොත්මි කිං මැක්ස් ෆන් ප්‍රීමා කොත්මි තියනකන් ඔය කම් බැක් අනුෂ් පොලොන විට ඔන් ස්ට්‍රයික් ඉස් 9 ඔෆ් 26 බෝල්ස් අ රිච් හෙරිටේජ් හිස් ඩැඩ් අනුෂ්ක පොලොන විට කැප්ටනින් ඉන් 1996 සෝ He's got the backing of having a good pedigree. Yeah, don't and forget uh, his grandfather as well, Anuru the Polnomita. Yes. Oh. Very similar names, but uh, sometimes can be a bit confusing as well. Anush, Anushka, Anuru the Sir. But anyway, a rich history of royalists. Grandfather is <coughs> a yeoman service to Sri Lanka cricket. No doubt about that. Interesting tactic by Ashen Perera. He's coming around the wicket with that action. He's got to put in a lot of effort to get that outside the off stump. So slowly but steadily, Royal going at two to three runs per over over the last uh, four overs since the second power play. It's only been singles. They've not been able to find the boundary. That's more on account of. Very tight bowling by the Thomians. The key would uh, the most spectators or most people tuned into the puppery would want to know how long from your end as you see the next ball pushed towards deep point by Geegan Agase. How's the depth of the Royal uh, team? How's the batting depth? Uh, so if I put it this way. They, they can bat, but it's this experience that they lack. Uh, playing white ball cricket, and most of these guys are young. And the two of your most experienced batters, Sineja Wardena and uh, Rehan Piris, are already back in the hut. So you just have Ramiru Perna in terms of someone who's had some solid experience playing uh, this encounter. Uh, that's yet to come. So although you <coughs> indeed do have capable batsmen, it's about handling the situation in the middle. And if you've not been exposed, <coughs> you can imagine as a schoolboy, you have your heart in your mouth when you come to the centre. And already we can see the required rate slowly but surely creeping up to about six runs per over. Well, you're right, especially as freshers, not the easiest task to, uh, you know, walk down to that uh, pitch and you know expect to go at six runs per over, especially when the the chips are down. It takes a lot of Character to do achieve something like that. So it's really tight bowling. Nothing free given here by the Thomians. 15 gone, 51 for two Royal. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Seat Car Radios. The road is yours. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Nikam boru ata risk ekak ganne ai. NDB Neos Therdi risk ekak nathuwa. Kick ekak fund transfers karanna wageema chill ekak bills pay karanna. 
Yeah, so as the players take drinks, we'll take a look at the batting scorecard. 25 not out, Gigan again. 10 not out, uh, Polnomita has consumed a bit more deliveries than you would like. I would have liked to see that strike rate going up. Unfortunate dismissal for Rehan Piris. Uh, Shash, I think we all saw the replay. There was clearly some inside edge. But Jawardhan, what a great catch that was uh, to dismiss uh, Sine Jawardhan, the, ca the captain for 11. So 51 for two Royal, 15 overs. A lot more hard work to be put in by the Royal batsmen if they are to uh, see through the total. So here we go. The first wicket quite unfortunate. Rehan Peer is given out LBW. Many say there was a massive inside edge and here we go. What a beauty that was. That was an outstanding catch. I think the technique there was perfect. He didn't grab the ball. He allowed the ball to come in and gathered it so beautifully. He made it look so, so easy that catch. Excellent take by Gunawardhan at slip. Not easy. Left armer bowling around the wicket with the angle. So you have to keep stay low. All in all, it's been a very tidy bowling performance so far by the Thomians. Starting off with uh, Sirvadana and Devana Rayana. Uh, just gone under four runs for over both of them, but they've been very tight. Devana Rayana been rewarded with the two wickets. And subsequently, it's been Ashen Pereira. Uh, the main uh, trouble uh, the, that the Royalists have to put up with, uh, even at the big match. So match summary uh, thus far, 256 for 8 St. Thomas's after having won the toss, uh, batting their full allowed at 50 overs which has been impressive. Soisa Ahalia got the two, the two half centurions, the two elegant left-handed batsmen whom I thought really put the foot down and uh, was batting very positively. That was uh, very impressive to see. And in terms of the bowling, Malabi Arachi slightly a tad bit expensive but getting those crew, uh, four crucial wickets supported by Rahim Dean and uh, Polo Novita. Diego to continue after the drinks break. The ball worked down towards short mid because they pushed through for a single. We are yet to see the main two fast bowlers uh, in action. Caldera and uh, Akash Senaratna. I'm just wondering because you can see the pitch slightly slowing down, Shashik. And if you look at what I thought the Royalists didn't do well was they bowled too many fast bowlers. They didn't deploy uh, Netwin Dharmaratna. Uh, the, in, the spinners didn't bowl their full allotted overs except for Sinead Jayavadana. But you can see it's been quite contrary for the Thomins. They've bowled spinners as much as possible. So you're seeing Diego now. You saw the Narana uh, bowling six or seven, five overs from his end. I'm wondering whether it's just a bit too easy for the batsman uh, with the pace he's on. Oh, this one. Using his feet for the first time. But I thought he played the wrong shot because Diego is not turning the ball. The ball is coming on with the arm. He should have gone through the line. He was looking for spin. But spin which does not exist right now. This time beautifully driven. There's ample space there. They should comfortably cross over for two. If they run hard, they can get three, but no. From up here, we can see the batsmen are satisfied with the two runs. Anush Polonovit understanding that there's no spin here by Diego, so going through the offside is a much safer option. I think it's a no-brainer. The, bat the two batsmen can comfortably hit through the line uh, and play against the spin because there isn't any turn. This is much better batting by Paul Lovita. We'll have to start getting the skates on and bringing those singles, twos, get the odd boundary to give some uh, you know, momentum into this royal inning. As you can see on the screen, 202 runs, 34.1 overs left. So it is on the surface gettable. But at schoolboy level, we know that anything above 220, 230 has always been a challenging score because the art of chasing is still an art that's being learned at this level, uh, Shash. Your thoughts? Uh, we'll come back to that after this. 16 gone, 55 for 2 Royal. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 
වෙන්න බෑ කොහොම මොනවද සීයේ අපි ළඟ තියෙනවා කන්න පුළුවන් බීම කොයි පොන්න පුළුවන් කෑම කොයි වෙන්න බෑ නෑ වෙන්න පුළුවන් ලංකාවේ පළවෙනි වතාවට කන්නයි බොන්නයි දෙකම එකම යෝකට් එකකින් anchor new deal shake shake කන්න පුළුවන් බීමක් පොන්න පුළුවන් කෑමක් Oh, beautiful shot. There's no one stopping that. Excellent stroke by Paul Lomita. There's a huge gap between Swipakawa and Extra. With uh, Pereira coming around the wicket. So he's spotted that gap perfectly and executed even better. One wonders the thinking behind his angle coming around the wicket. He was such a potent threat during the big match bowling over the wicket. And as we speak, I think he's changing the angle once again. But I wonder what he was really trying to achieve by doing that initially. It makes much more sense him coming over the wicket and angling it into the right-handed batsman. You then take away the free flow uh, or to use that arc to hit the ball through that extra cover region. So just coming back to that point uh, in the previous over, Shash, as a schoolboy cricketer, well, I think you having being involved with the game even at the highest level how do you think a school boy cricketer should learn the art of chasing a limited over game i think the most important thing is identifying isolating each format and understanding the requirement in each format now that is a key component if you really want to be successful in all three formats and then applying what the demand is for example if the the demand is to go at six runs per over you do understand that most times you will have to get the odd boundary every over now what do you do after you get the odd boundary you look to work the singles as well and understanding that there could be only a maximum number of fielders of four in the second power play is very important as well which means at any given point there will be vacant areas to target for a boundary so these are the things that you need to fathom and these are the things that you need to train on as well now whether they've done that as of now is questionable but that's the direction that they have to go I think a uh, very very point uh, Shashen I think considering the fact that these school boys play a lot of two day cricket and they don't get much exposure exposure to limited over the execution or that practicing element I believe doesn't come into the equation as much as they would like to so when it comes to a game an isolated game like this uh, they find it a bit difficult to you know get things going and keep the scoreboard ticking or the half volley which was uh, not executed to perfection 17 gone 59 for 2 royal big match fun prima kotmi tiyana ka gold hair and body wash shaker They go to ball to Gigan again around the wicket. Gigan again deploying the sweep, uh, a shot which he seems to be very confident with. But like you were saying, uh, Shash, I think very important to understand the uh, format that you're playing and then working to the demand. Better batting by Gigan again, and so in terms of execution, I think that is where they'll have to kind of practice. Where you get into your practice session, centre wicket, get the run in between the wickets, because like I said, shifting of gears is very crucial when you play limited over cricket from the start and how you end up an inning. Uh, maybe not so important in a two-day or three-day encounter where you play four innings. You can you know play according to the situation, but here you just have to keep the scoreboard ticking, understand the ways in which you can make the dots into ones, ones into twos, and you know capitalize on the loose ball yes uh, indeed harun that's well bowled once again by diego he's on that channel just outside of stump there and there about asking the batsman to take a chance he's looked impressive even at the big uh, match uh, the 145th battle of the blues 
he has continued uh, his good work here at the one day encounter as well I think what's been impressive is the pace number one the flight and the dip he gets uh, when he bowls he's not a, he doesn't spin the ball but he gets that ball above the batsman's eye level. Oh, Very optimistic appeal. Way outside off. They cross through for a single. And that is the end of the 18th over. 62 for 2, Royal College. If you have a TV, you can see the TV. If you have a TV, you can see the TV. The TV is a good thing. TV is a good thing. You can see the TV. You can TV. You can see the TV. You can I am not LED, Full HD, UHD Smart. This is the first time I have to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. I am not going to go to the house. The last wicket fell at 18, so approaching a 50 partnership, uh, Isula and uh, Anush. They have a good partnerships uh, for St. Thomas's right through their inning. There it is, 44 runs, 74 balls. Now they need to get it uh, going a little bit earlier. This was uh, last delivery. They appeal more in uh, hope than with conviction. There you go. Totally committed. The consolidation after the loss of uh, Skipper Sinet uh, Jawadhan has now achieved, has been achieved. So building up on this would be the story. The immediate area around uh, the arena. But I'm um, Inside edge. Anuk uh, Devanarayana has picked up both wickets. Just the surprise package. Ashwin Pereira trying to work from uh, wicket to wicket. See on the background the high rises. Over the next five years, many more will be observed. One of the best uh, sporting facilities in the country. Well, Haritha, these two have put on a partnership, but right now, I think these two, someone needs to take the mantle and get going. Especially Gigan again, he's faced 57 deliveries for his 28. Both these batsmen needs to up their sort of run scoring because if this continues, if that run rate inches towards that seven run mark, there's no catching up uh, later on in the day. Yeah, I know what you are hinting at. Uh, there are some uh, good strikers of the ball later on in the innings. But they need to get a move on here. Kavindu Dias is substituting for Sadev Soiza. End of 19. Royal in reply, 65 for 2. The Papare production team uh, totally committed, absolute planning, decision making into detail. They know what they are trying to do, they know what is expected as uh, the leading uh, sports uh, hub in the country and uh, it's a superb team effort, totally committed, big investment. All of them have been uh, with the, the setup for long enough to understand the demands and uh, the execution has been perfect. Well done. 
Diego will continue on the shorter side but played towards deep scar leg. I think both these bat batsmen needs to have intent as well. The previous over, the final delivery was powerfully driven uh, towards uh, the deep point region but the batsmen did not commit to that first run. Had they pushed on, put some pressure, they could have converted it into a two. They heard you. I mean, uh, they know that uh, runs at this stage is uh, a premium uh, commodity. They need to get it on. They're approaching uh, that 50 partnership, already 49. Because if you look at the game, the Tomian captain has opted for four bowlers and each one has bowled five overs. So they're comfortable where they are and the next delivery is beautifully picked. Some aggression finally, Harita, they've got the message. Yes, um, Isula Giganage took on the off spinner in a brilliant shot uh, to bring up the 50 partnership. He's provided uh, the initiative. That's well played. A few calculated risks like that will make the captain think, bring in the changers, make a change in bowling and uh, because right now if these two are batting the way they were, things can get predictable and then that last shot shows some intent and for all's perspective they need to let it continue. See, for most, for the entire duration of the day, Isula Giganage has been in the middle, first uh, behind the stumps, now in front of the stumps, opening the batting. He's been somewhat tired, taxing uh, weather conditions this, hot and humid. But he's batted on gamely, he's provided his team with uh, the start they needed. Stiff breeze across the ground. Well bowled, uh, gave it some air. End of 20 overs, 71 for 2. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Heels crest nine sausage. The bite that bites back. Kiri Atira Supiri Rasa. Both wicket keepers have done well. Avinash opened batting, scored 37. Isula kept wickets. Now he's opened batting for Royal. He's uh, on 34. So good uh, freshers. Uh, Contributions from uh, the two wicket keepers. Yes, and uh, you can extend that and say that all the freshers so far have done their part. You had uh, Sadev, he played the big match, but when it comes to the Mustangs, he's still a fresher, did well. Uh, and then you've got Anuk, the left arm spinner, got a couple of wickets. So the freshers have done their part, including Gigan Age and to an extent Polonovita as well. Bowling change uh, with five overs quota completed. They brought in Caldera. The vice captain uh, is by far the quickest of the lot. Two for five uh, best figures. He's played nine matches. He's uh, a much better commodity than uh, what those st stats reveal. This two are well settled. So it's a question of just uh, providing that uh, little bit of aggression. See, the required run rate is steadily rising. Well, one area, Harita, whenever they've scored a boundary, they followed up with four or five dot deliveries. I think the moment you score that boundary, take a chance, you need to follow it up with a single. That way you can get that run rate going 
and uh, get the right hand left hand combination work to your favor as well handling uh, caldera is a different proposition altogether for these two at least uh, his first three overs will be fiery. He's one bowler who would um, want to uh, give them the um, shin music. At least who would try to do that. Well, he has the pace to do that as well. Again, on the shorter side. Poorly directed. Tries the typical fast bowler's bluff with an appeal. But the umpire knows too well. Ruchira Paliaguru is a fast bowler himself, so he knows all the tricks of the trade. If you ask me, Chamara de Souza also bowled with the new ball, so. You've got to be economical too, Caldera. This time, beautifully played off the hips. That extra pace working in his favour. Good that looking shot for a couple of runs. And equally well fielder too, he had to cover a lot of ground. That too has been a marked difference. Uh, the fielding of St. Thomas's has been on par. They've uh, put in the hard yards. The ground fielding has been immense. Backed by a wonderful catch in the slip region. This time again, uh, tries to play it on to the leg side. He's going to get shuffles across, uh, favours that leg side region. There's ample space out there. Just a deep square leg and a mid-on. And they brought in a mid-wicket also. Yeah, so, 3-6 field. The deep square leg is Mahit Pereira, the home and captain field in there. Is he waiting for um, advice? You've got the reserve with a towel hovering around that region as well. Or maybe he's decided just one person manning that region. You've got to be the quickest out there. So he's taken on that responsibility himself. He's quick all right. 21 completed. Royal in reply 76 for 2. Third we get part to 58. Good one. Rehydration for the batters out in the middle. Isula Giganage and Anish Polonovita. And uh, Akash Fernando from uh, the tennis court end. The five over quota for the bowlers to probably try to manage them too. Very predictable. They brought in uh, the two opening fast bowlers. Uh, Akash has yep. had a good one day season, 10 matches, 17 wickets, very good economy rate and a best bowling of 4 for 27, good average. Overall, very impressive stats. Yeah, he was a uh, player of uh, the tournament in the uh, Invitation T20 Triangular, celebrating uh, the um, centenary of the big club grounds. Starts off with the white. Had a good knock with the bat too. A quick fire 30. He's usually successful in his first three overs. Usually he bowls with the new ball as well. So there'll be less swing. I'm sure he'll try to roll his fingers and get those cutters going on. Gone. Played across the line. Chamara Soiza thought it would hit the wickets. Isula Giganage. I wonder whether he shuffled too much. Whether he, he was beaten on the line. Anyway, the bowling change has worked for Mike Pereira and for St. Thomas's. 
Interesting to see that uh, replay. Wide of the crease. Oh, that looked out. It didn't probably rise as much as he wanted. He would have wanted it to play somewhere around his knee. It went uh, below than that. LBW for 37. 77 for 3 Royal. And that brings uh, Shane Aberatna, the fresher, onto the middle. A procession of freshers uh, with uh, Shane walking in at number five. But he looked very impressive. I thought he should have come in at number four. But uh, here he is, uh, looks determined. Good batsman. Yeah, he, he batted very well, scored runs in all three innings in that uh, T20 Invitation Tournament uh, midweek at Mount Lavinia, celebrating the centenary of the big club uh, grounds, St. Thomas's College. He was voted uh, the best batter in that tournament, but he had done very well with the bat in the mini battle too. He had scored a half century. And uh, he looked a uh, busy body. He was nimble on his feet, played shots all round off the front foot, off the back foot. He seemed to have a lot of time to play his shots too. I thought uh, he was just getting into his groove. Yes, uh, very opportune time for all to lose a wicket. Uh, two set batsmen, just when they were just about to press on the accelerator, they lost that wicket. And I told Akash Fernandez, is usually a partnership breaker. Struck in his first over. This was that last dismissal. See, he played across the line. It didn't rise as much as he wanted, probably. It does not express pace too, so. He seemed to have played earlier than actually what was required. And planting his feet across, shuffling also didn't help the cause. So two right-handers, um, Akash would uh, prefer it uh, that way. Polonovita is the senior partner now. Whenever the Mahit Pereira would be tempted to bring in uh, Anukka Devanarayana again. I was about to say the same, whether he'll be brave enough to bring him. But I think he'll go on with the way he is. Uh, he's got the wicket. And uh, Nathan Caldera is also a very attacking bowler. So... Uh, I feel he'll opt to go with what he's been doing so far. And with Ramiru back in the hut, I'm sure he will bring in the left arm spinner when Ramiru walks in. That was Mahit Pereira. He have been annoyed with himself. I think good intent uh, so far in this over. The quick single has been taken. End of 22 overs, 80 for 3. Isula Giganage and uh, Anush Polunovita got together when the total was 18 for 2 with the dismissal of uh, Sene Jayavadana. And um, a slow start, but uh, they were able to punish the loose deliveries. Yes, and uh, when they were just about to press on the accelerator, Isula Giganage was out LBW. Unfortunately, from a royal perspective, they would have wanted him to score a half century and then kick on from that point onwards but again very crucial passage of play 
Abey Ratna is new to the crease. Polonovita is well set. I think right now, where all stands, one of these batsmen needs to take a chance. And uh, with Polonovita having spent time on this wicket, I'm sure that message from the from the camp will be for him to take the chances because they can't let this go on for long. See, what uh, Abhiratna needs now is a little bit of guidance and uh, the vice captain Nathan Caldera with his pace will want to put uh, an intimidating spell on uh, the right hander. Just like that, when you play and miss and uh, you get into a shell, you're going to get into a situation where you, you, you get into a situation where you don't have to uh, play too many shots. I think that's what Anush is trying to tell. Don't rush too much. Yes, uh, what was good to see is that he's not afraid to play the shots. Abe Ratna, that was there to be hit. Maybe he tried a little too hard. He's still new to the crease. And Abe Ratna needs to get his eye in the pace of the wicket. Get a few singles get a feel for the wicket and then he's a good stroke maker and he can go on playing his natural instinctive play but for the time being get that single and get Polonovita on strike who's spent time let him look for the big hits yeah if he takes time in trying to settle in that'll help uh, the Tomian cause he'll get as many overs in between Oh, close enough, close enough. He went for the shot, it was short. Beaten for pace, but what I like is Abe Ratna is not afraid to play the shots. It would have been a second brilliant catch for Dinet Gunor. Take a look at this. Oh, yes. Just short of the tall man. Good effort, Gunor. And looking at batting, I think Royal needs to break it into passages. The first target should be at the end of 25 overs. Get to 100, that, that is beautifully played. Devanarayana patrolling the cover boundary. Yeah, if, if, if you start feeding Abe Ratna with the shorter delivery, you will then see the square cut, the pull and even the hook shot. I think more the pull and the square cut. Not that he can't play off the front foot on either side of the wicket. It looks a complete package for the little bit we have seen. On the shorter side, uh, Nathan Caldera, as long as the boundaries are not conceded, uh, he wouldn't mind it. End of 23, 82 for 3 Royal. So Akash will continue on the pads. Fortunate that the batsman didn't make contact. I'm sure Polonito will be disappointed that he didn't dispatch it towards that vacant uh, leg side region. See the required run rate is six and a half at the moment another five overs with this sort of pace you push it uh, another quarter up well struck well struck he came out took it on the full not as well as he probably wanted on that occasion took the pace off he saw it very difficult to call it a half chance oh, no. but uh, Akasha's perspective is saved a certain boundary 
See, this is a tussle that uh, I'm looking forward to. How he would manage Akash Fana and Shane Averatna. Oh, beauty. What a shot. Oh, this is exactly what I was trying to hint at. How he would manage Akash Fernando. Well, the little what I've seen, Aberatna looks to be a very good batsman. Got enough time and uh, he looks to be a complete batsman. Wonderful swing. Just timed it, but most importantly, he, he found the gap. Very quickly into position, he, he picked the line very early. The length was short too. Perfectly balanced when he made contact. I told you, he's a good stroke player. On either side of the wicket too. He's quick for a couple. Ah, Anush, Polonovita. Is he limping? Is he in trouble? Well, if he's hurt himself, I think Shane needs to just play the way he is doing. And Anush should be the batsman looking to play or take the risk. Because right now, Royal is playing catch-up cricket at the moment. But a partnership with a few lusty blows can turn the tide. It's very quickly into position too. It's technique. What I like about uh, Shane Abhayaratna is his technique seems to have enough time to play his shots that will come with sound technique good hand eye coordination attributes for a good top order bat good right. comeback end of 24 overs 89 for 3 Royal College then 168 more runs in 26 overs to uh, win the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter. 89 for 3 after 24 and uh, joining with the commentary for the next 6 overs. Harun Majud, Harun, thoughts on the uh, portion Royal College is at at the moment? Uh, slightly bit better than where they would, there were, there where they were uh, a few overs ago, but I presume that they would want to step in, step on the gas and you know, get the runs coming in minimum four to five runs per over if they can get that odd boundary every over that will really uh, help their cause because as we approach the 30 over phase that they have their bowlers Ashin Perra, uh, Deva, Devanara and you know who have actually put the peg into the Royal scoring to come and bowl those remaining overs so it's very important they capitalize and I think it's relatively easier to face the fast bowlers than the, the slower medium or the spinners but one thing is for sure this young man looks pretty impressive uh, Laksisi as he's come to the crease he's already got 9 out of 12 and looks a very busy player and looks to be someone who wants to rotate the strike and there you go once again it's very free flowing uh, does, does not seem to be in his shell and uh, Actually, I'm seeing him bat for the first time, so really nice to uh, watch young Abhayaratna bat for the little that I've seen thus far. Yes, indeed, uh, Harun. Looks like a player with a lot of potential. Saw him at the Andrew Gindagoon Challenge Trophy uh, three days ago, and uh, he batted really well there as well in the T20 game. In that final, he was the lone warrior for Royal College. Uh, made uh, around 30, I believe. Batted brilliantly, Shane Abhayaratna. Oh, good take. Good take and wide call by... Umpire Pali Guru, that was way above the head. A vicious bouncer that took off, but not well directed. As you can see, the replay, yeah, it's clearly a wide. But full marks to uh, Fernando for hanging on, hanging on to that one, or else it would have been four additional runs to the score. 
Again on the easy stakes there. Ten extras in these innings. Eight wides and uh, leg wise as well in that, in that uh, extras list for... Uh, This is what I'm talking. You can see the fact that it's very free flowing, and he's not afraid to play the shots, and that's what we didn't see uh, in Giganagi, uh, or even for uh, in the term of Jayawardana for that matter, because they looked very tentative. It was, or even Paul Navita, they looked very tentative in their stroke play. It doesn't matter whether you get out or not, but you have to be convinced that conviction when you play the stroke is very important, so that you send the message to the opposition. Man, at the moment the required run rate is over six as well, so they need to be a bit proactive here, Royal College batters. They need to make sure that they uh, keep the scoreboard moving. Polo Novita, 24-53. Yes, he had to absorb a lot of uh, pressure. And uh, this is the March Madness Island-wide coverage by the Papare TV, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel for today. This is for today only, Harun. In the north, we have the uh, Jaffna versus um, Jaffna Hindu versus Kalambu Hindu game happening. And then... Uh, the uh, Trinity versus St. Anthony's game happening today as well and we have the uh, Mustangs trophy encounter as well so a lot of cricket and uh, all those action brought to you by Sri Lanka's number one sports channel the Papare TV end of the 25th over Royal College 91 for 3 Heels crest, nine is sausage. The bite that bites back. Rasi tiran mix me rasin, honey berry butter gin to bun na. Drink a drink in yogurt. Coming back to that point, Tharun uh, Aldi Polano with a 24-53. I think he needs to up the pace a bit now because uh, they can't afford to fall back too much behind the uh, required run rate. Spot on. I think one thing that's going to be a limiting factor for him for sure is the leg that's giving trouble for him seems to be cramping up obviously it's really hot there it's very humid perspiration levels are very high and it's uh, the main wicket taker Devanara and who has been brought back very smartly by Perra but the first ball is neatly dabbed to short third single so interesting phase I think at the halfway mark Royal 91 for three St. Thomas was at the same stage were 101 runs so basically a 10 run uh, gap between the two schools at the halfway mark not too far for the Royalists but I think the cause for concern is the wickets they have lost three of them two being their main batsmen in Piris and Jawadana but oh the rest I think the Thomians would have a slightly uh, upper hand in terms of how they kept their wickets and went about the yes, indeed, Harun. They scored 125 runs in the last 20 overs. 80 of them coming in the last 10. So uh, they had Akash Fernando, who uh, managed to uh, put together a very nice cameo just at the end, 30 of 18. So uh, Royal College, I think uh, this pair they need to uh, keep batting and they need to make sure that they keep the scoreboard ticking. It's good tight bowling by Devanarayana, who is bowling wicket to wicket, not giving anything loose no room for the batsman to play a stroke there's a huge gap between short mid wicket and deep square leg a gap that is probably risky to for the batsman to take on oh that's close oh i thought there was a nick there definitely there definitely was a sound and umpire de Zoiza did not his head oh boy oh boy and continuing to ask questions from the batters here is that replay is a clear clear deflection of the bat unfortunate almost the third we got for him oh frustrated Devanara and can clearly see on the screen and I think for the second time no this time no deflection no edge umpire De Zoiza calms everyone down 26 gone 92 for 3 Royal
Dah sampai rumah pun mana lagi? Wenna be. Kau mana ada sih? Apa langit ini nama? Kanan pulau, bi mau kui, bot nak pulau, kaya mau kui. Wenna be. Nae, wenna pulau. Langkah we paling ini mata mata kanan, bot naik dek mana? Ikan mau yogurt dekat ini. Anchor New Deal Shake Shake. Kanan pulau, bi mak, bot nak pulau, kaya mak. So Abiratna lives to fight another day after that drop chance. I think technically we saw Fernando trying to grab that ball, not trying to collect it clean. We can say a lot of things from here, but I think intuitively, if we look at that replay again, yeah, intuitively, naturally your hands tend to close up. But it was two very similar deliveries. And the second one kept low as low. well. It was a very good take, to be honest, in that second one, especially. So a move that we expected because what I said uh, in my previous stint also that the slower bowlers are harder to get by and uh, Pereira has brought in Devanarayana and Ashen Pereira from both ends to once again put the brakes because we saw the scoreboard ticking quite free, uh, quite freely uh, when the pace is on. Interesting to see how Polnavita will approach Pereira. Hit that hard on the surface, there is protection in the deep. Now we talked a lot about how Ashen Abiratna is very impressive, but uh, Abiratna is playing a lot of shots. He's timing the ball really well, but uh, just failed to find the gaps. Arun, that has been the problem. He's on 8 of 20 as well. To be honest, uh, he uh, really should have been somewhere on 15 of 20 because he played a lot of good sh uh, shots in the 20 deliveries that he faced. This time, beautifully cut. There is protection. A tough bit of work there by the fielder at uh, sweeper cover. It was Anuk Devanara and. Uh, so once again, good batting by Abe Ratna, showing a lot of positivity. Equally running well between the cuts, but his problem is the fact that his partner is struggling with a weak leg, cramping up Anush Polnamita. Like we mentioned, conditions very tough. That has to be called a wide. Aaron but Royal College uh, doesn't need here is. Shane Abirat the losing is we were trying to attack a bit too much because Polonovita is struggling as you mentioned. So Polonovita must try to get the single at least and uh, be there for Shane Abiratna. This is good batting by Abiratna. He is getting the scoreboard to motor along. He's not looking for the big strokes. He has understood that there is plenty of gaps vis-a-vis -vis playing in school uh, grounds you take the grounds at uh, the college the two respective colleges the gaps are much more narrow because the size of the grounds is relatively small but you come to a ground like this there is so much so many singles for the taking beautiful shot magnificent stroke by Paul Novita He's pretty much batting on one leg but that didn't seem to be a problem for him yeah Paul Novita getting that boundary a much needed boundary the first one of the last three overs, last 18 deliveries for Royal College. Timed it to perfection and placed it to perfection as well. So the Tomian captain bringing Pereira in to kind of curb or pick the scoring, not working in his favour. Already, I think the nine runs of this over, a fruitful, fruitful one for Royal thus far, and also demanding the change in field as well so I think an excellent over for Royal yeah, 10 runs from the over and uh, Polo Novita once again he's down with cramps that's very unfortunate on Harun isn't it because uh, just when it looks like that he's building up some momentum this happens which can uh, certainly derail the momentum that he's trying to create absolutely I think really unfortunate to be honest, you can't ask for a lot. It's not easy at all. These are school boys who are still growing, they're still getting conditioned. <laughs> you just, it, it looks funny from up here, no doubt, but you really got to feel for the player. I can, I can promise you that I've been in that position many a time, especially playing cricket at this age. A little bit of Division 3 and Mercantile that you play, it's very hard to sustain even playing 25 overs. Yeah, these conditions are really, really hard, especially for these schoolboys who are still teenagers. So, uh, 
Well, kudos to all the boys out here performing as well, Harun, because as, as we mentioned, it's really, really tough, the conditions out there. Sura so College 102 for 3, and uh, these are the upcoming live big match, big, big match fixtures on uh, the Papri TV. Tomorrow we have Thurston College versus Isipatna College, the 44th Limited Doors Encounter at Pisa Raoul, and then we have a Trinity College versus St. Anthony's College Limited Doors Encounter, the 42nd one coming away on the 23rd of March and then 22nd and 23rd of March we have the 90th battle of the Saints between St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College at SSC and then the weekend after that we have the 18th battle of the goals between DSN and I College and Mahanama College and uh, on the same two dates we have uh, the uh, 72nd second battle of the goals happening at Moro Tour and then now uh, we have uh, the 31st limited doors encounter of uh, the uh, same big match encounter at more two the day after and then on the 6th of april we have the st joseph's versus st peter's 50th one day encounter happening here at ssc and then on 7th of april we have uh, the uh, 20, 26 one day encounter happening at velagadar stadium and then uh, to end things off we have the 18th limited doors encounter happening between dsnri college and Mahanam College here at SSC on the 21st April. So a lot of action coming your way on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV. So uh, all we can say is to make sure that you stay with the Papare TV to catch all the live action and uh, also you can catch all the highlights from the previous games as well because uh, we have it all when it comes to the uh, school's big match encounters. The March Madness, it's in uh, full flow, Harun. Absolutely. Kudos to the Papari team. I think they've done a fantastic job. Oh, this time takes the edge. There is protection in the deep. Yeah, to you know, bring these pictures to all parts of the globe live has been a feat, a special feat. 27 gone, 103 for 3 Royal. Our radios, the road is yours. Talking about the game of uh, one-day cricket, I think it has evolved into a white ball format and talking about the white balls that we are using for this match. Oh, this one was full, taken on the full, He's spotted the gap and that deserved to go to the boundary, no doubt, no doubt. But Devanarayana seems to have injured himself in the process. I wonder whether he's cramping up on his fingers. Maybe, probably, uh, that's the issue here. And uh, that's also no ball as well. Over oh, the waist height delivery. Probably uh, the cramping up is the reason why he lost control of that delivery. So, double whammy for the Thermians. A boundary, a no ball, a free hit for Royal. But in the meantime, an injury as well for Devanarayana. As, the, as Devanarayana is attended to, coming back to my point, I said we are playing with the white balls sponsored by uh, two great uh, old boy chapters from Melbourne from the two great institutions Royal and St. Thomas's so a huge shout out to the old boys associations of the Melbourne chapter for both Royal and St. Thomas's uh, this has been an initiative that has uh, uh, started since the, over the last three years and they've been very generous and very magnanimous in their offer and uh, from obviously a royal royalist's point of view a big thank you uh, to both the uh, old boy chapters uh, from melbourne representing both schools so great initiative i think that's what this game is all about you know how you contribute in whatever way possible to uh, keep the spirits live keep the match going and give everyone involved a good time Yes, indeed, Harun. Especially when it comes to the uh, school's big match fixtures, the March Madness, you know, uh, B schools, it's always uh, about the all boys, uh, all boys, the support of the all boys. That's that plays a huge part in keeping uh, these traditions alive, in keeping these big measures alive. 
and also uh, for two schools like Royal College and St Thomas's, who, uh, who they, which have a really really uh, big culture when it comes, a rich culture when it comes to schools cricket and the history as well. I think uh, it's uh, really really great to hear that as well. And uh, once again, this weekend our live coverage is from all around Sri Lanka. Here in the Western Province, we have uh, the Mustangs Trophy happening today. Tomorrow, we have the Thurston versus Sisibatan encounter. And in the Southern Province, we have uh, the Lovers Quarrel happening, Richmond versus uh, Mahinda College. And then the Hill Country Battle of the Blues between Trinity College and St. Anthony's College happening today as well. And then up in North, we have the 13th Battle of the Hindu, Stephna Hindu versus Kalandu Hindu. And then this on today as well, we have the 21st One Day Encounter between Jaffna Central College and St. John's College, Jaffna. So, a lot of action coming your way on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV. The West, the Central, the South, the North, we cover everywhere. My heavens, covering all over the country. How fortunate are these young lads, Laksisi? Decade and a half ago when I played, it was just paper cuttings, mind you, and a bit of radio commentary recordings uh, courtesy my parents. So, that's what we have as memorabilia but you take uh, the pictures that are shown to you by Papare uh, powered by dialogue I think it's a uh, fantastic teamwork and a huge kudos to the production team Malaysia and his team have done tremendously well and improved year on year I think the picture quality the infrastructure that's brought in the angles you name it uh, it's just been top-notch international level as we see the highlight uh, or the replay, beg your pardon, replay of that previous delivery, which is a waist high, above waist high full toss, rightfully called a no ball. Uh, there is a change where Devara, Devara, Devanarayana has gone to nurse that injury. It's going to be Gunavardhana, Dinit Gunavardhana. So it's a free hit to start off. Must be a very unique situation, I suppose. Another bowler bowling a free hit on behalf of uh, the main culprit, I would say. Yeah. The first time that I have seen this happening, to be honest, Arun. I've never seen this happening even in an international game or even in a franchise league. I have not seen this happening. Yeah, it sure has to be a first. I can't recall anything happening like this in the past. This one's hit high up straight. Not getting any timing whatsoever. I'm sure Abhay Ratna would have uh, favoured uh, facing Anuk rather than Gunawardhana. Not knowing how Gunawardhana bowls because this is the first ball that he's bowling. So this has to be a first. Ball one, start off with a free hit. Twenty-seven point one, no is gone, and that's allowed a bill. Gunavardana that's and out. he takes a wicket. Out, that's clean out. Played across the line. What a move, and what a blessing in disguise that injury was. Yeah, Mahit Pereira. You know, looks like uh, all the uh, moves that he's uh, performing today, all of them seems to be working out, uh, Harun, because uh, he brought in the left-arm spinner early in the uh, innings of Royal College. He took two wickets in the power play. And here, Gunavardhana, who came in as a replacement for Devan Arayana, he took a wicket in his second delivery. Absolutely, a real, I, I wouldn't say a comedy of errors, but how the fortunes have changed. Changed. A no ball, full toss, injured left arm spinner. They are checking for something. I'm wondering whether it's for a no ball. Has to be a no ball because it was adjudged LBW. Oh, that's very close to the popping crease. You want to check the field section? That's fine. It's a fair delivery, director. I want to check the field restriction. Field restrictions. So they want to check the field restrictions oh. uh, after the front foot. Very interesting here, very interesting development because a field restriction violation can result in a no ball. So, a lot of first that we are seeing here uh, whilst we are in commentary, Laksisi. Yes, indeed, Arun. 
that was the uh, shout from the bowler. It was given out. So what's important is, it's the second power play, so you can only have four fielders out. So if they have a fifth fielder, then it will be classified as a no ball. So I think that's what the third umpire has to check, whether there are five fielders outside the ring. Still waiting for the official edition. Still waiting for the pictures. Uh, These are unique uh, scenes that we are seeing. Don't think you can get any view uh, from this. I don't know how the umpire can get a view of the entire ground just by looking at this view. pictures on that so it has to be out okay uh Yeah, so out is the final decision because there was no way uh, that the umpires could uh, get those pictures to check the field restriction so Paul Novita gone for 31 58 deliveries 109 for 4 royal And nine for four, and in comes Royals vice captain Ramiro Pereira. An uphill task on his hand to see Royal through this chase 257 to be precise. Uh, and a wicket falling at a not so good time for Royal. Yeah, Ramiro Pereira needs to play a blind here to be honest. Uh, if he is to save Royal College from this position, it's not impossible, Harun, not impossible by any means, but uh, these two. Need to make sure that they uh, switch a partnership. Eight games, 171 runs, average of 28.50, strike rate over 80. So we all know he's a very capable batter. These are his stats. Uh, pretty modest uh, performance in the one day encounter. Great start by uh, Gunawardana. He's given nothing away, just a single uh, in this over. And kept it tight and also getting a bit of purchase and some turn. Interesting. As at Namjus College, although Devanara and had to be removed from the attack, Kunavardana making sure that he uh, doesn't let the skipper miss Devanara and with this great over. Two runs and a wicket. Royal College, 110 for four after 28. Heels crest nine meter sausage. The bite that bites back. Oh. 
නිකම් බොරුවට රිස්ක් එකක් ගන්නේ ඇයි? NDB NEOS තියෙද්දී රිස්ක් එකක් නැතුව කික් එකේ ෆන් ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆර්ස් කරන්න වගේම ජෙල් එකේ බිල්ස් පේ කරන්න. So 110 for four Royal, 28 gone. Oh, crucial wicket that they lost in the previous over of Polnavita, who was getting into a group who seemed to have got his uh, you know power hitting on. He went for his shots, got a couple of boundaries, but unfortunately, courtesy an injury initially, bringing in a bowling change, uh, which subsequently got the wicket of Polnavita. So Pereira will be facing Caldera. Interesting, another bowling change uh, from this end. Was Ashen Perra who was bowling from the Vidya Mountain? Excellent batting by Ramiro. This is what they'll have to keep doing continuously until they reach that 40-over mark. Rotate the strike as much as possible because you can see the fielders on the circle, right at the edge of the circle. So there's always a drop and run opportunity here at uh, the SSC. Required run rate 6.69. So these two, uh, they should try to uh, get to that 40 over mark uh, as Harun mentioned. The hand ran 11 for 4. Nelson is up. Loud appeal by uh, Caldera, but uh, nothing from the umpire. Now, Harun, what do you reckon would be a good total at the end of the 40th over for Royal College? Ideally, if they can have a runner ball situation where they have to get 60 of the last 10, that would be the ideal situation. So that's very much gettable. So you are looking at them being at 195, 200 runs. Uh, they'd be happy if they can get there. So it's an uphill task. Uh, another 80 runs to get in this next phase, which is going to be tough. But it depends. Pereira is someone who's aggressive. And this time, oh, good stop. Good stop by Fernando. So Ramiru is someone who can get that scoreboard ticking at a faster pace uh, by looking at looking at those big shots. If uh, Ramiru continues to bat uh, for an extended period of time, I think uh, what you said uh, might not be impossible for Royal College to get 290, 200 uh, at the 40th over mark. So uh, two youngsters, Ramiru and uh, Shane, a lot will depend on these two. Sam Pereira cuts it away, but uh, straight to the field right to third man. So two confident looking strokes for Ramiru. We'll uh, take a look at uh, the pictures of that last wicket. So it looked plumb. There was slight spin, but looked like it was going to clip the bales. I'd say, yeah, height can be doubtful, but I thought I'll give the benefit of the doubt to the bowler have being a bowler because very rarely the bowlers do get the benefit of the doubt uh, this time i think it's a rather drop chance yes it is a drop chance and that's a disappoint at caldera so these two opportunities have gone down a begging for the thomians and fernando looks very casual mind you here's that replay that's an easy take, Harun. You need to take it a bit too casual, I believe, while attempting for the catch. Ravinash. Thought he had the opportunity to grab it on the rebound as well, but he showed no intent whatsoever to take that catch. Poor, poor stuff. Let's just hope it doesn't cost the Thomians. Ashen Abhiratna. Two lies for him already. One against Devanarayan and one against Kaldera here. Can he make use of the opportunities uh, that he received? Now, Caldera bowling with a lot of fire here, Harun. An aggressive uh, spell of bowling by uh, Nathan Caldera. He's really disappointed about that uh, missed opportunity. Royal College, 113 for 4 after 29. One of our sponsors uh, for the March Madness uh, this year, Harun. And a very important point as well. Look at the, looking at the conditions, really hot and humid. An ideal product for young kids to keep themselves hydrated, to keep themselves nourished. Kudos to the New Deal and New Deal team for sponsoring. And New Deal, they have always been there, isn't it, uh, with the schools to get fraternity for a very long time. 
they're still there and uh, Rami Rivera trying to be a bit creative there he spotted the gap and uh, tried to make sure he didn't get the uh, connection that he wanted probably he didn't have the legs to go to the boundary so I think this is where Pereira is going to be tested so he has a good 21 overs left to see Royal through with his experience and the amount of cricket that he's played I think Royal will be banking a lot of lot on him uh, if they are going to you know get to that target so he has he has to play a balanced role keep the singles coming look for the odd look for the odd boundary to make sure there is always an impetus and the next ball is strong over mid wicket for four beautiful shot by Ramiro Pereira and Ramiro Pereira getting into his groove and uh, he knows that he doesn't have time to waste here getting a boundary in his eighth over you know, last over now for the Gunavardana they scored just two or three runs I believe and in here he's making sure that uh, they're attacking against the Gunavardana they don't want him to settle yeah, the field that was bought from deep mid wicket has been again sent back to his old position following that shot so this is where I said the experience of Pereira will count he knows how to bat in these situations it's about how he accumulates uh, the runs uh, in this inning. And the special is Harun. He's an attacking batter who can play the long knocks as well. We saw that last year. So uh, Royal College will want Rami Rupera to bat and bat deep. That's the main thing. They need him to bat deep. Absolutely crucial that he bats on until the 50th. You can see on your screen, Sabe Ratna. He lives for the second time. To bat on, dropped on 8 and 18 by uh, the wicket keeper Fernando. For delivery of the 30th over. Shot, beautiful shot. There is cover at the deep. Will they take the two runs? Yes, and comfortably do that. So runs coming uh, quite freely with Pereira and Aberatna, both who are relatively aggressive and positive on the at the crease. Pereira, the batsman who I'd say will take the risk and go for that big hit. Can see the required run rate 6.64 Harun. So it's completely manageable. It's about keeping wickets in hand at the moment for Royal College. A dart delivery, the penultimate uh, delivery of the 30th over. So St. Thomas's College, they were 131 at the 30th over mark. So Royal College with one delivery to go, they are nine runs behind. Let's see what happens in this delivery. This one, it's hit over mid off. Yes. That's bouncing and oh, fantastic effort. Brilliant effort by the field at mid -off. I think that was Caldera after having bowled an over from the other end. Mind you, hats off to the young man for stopping that one. Definitely saved two runs for his team. 124 for 4 Royal, 30 completed. <laughs> एक खाले का टीवी बालना मिनिसूम टा हरी हरी खारा दर रोना लोगों टीवी स्टैंड वेल्ट पॉली टीवी आवा टीवी आहा कब लगा था मिनिसू टीवी के ना दाह साथ है रिया इतिंग में देंग आराम देना द टीवी एलईडी फुल एचडी यूएचडी स्मार्ट इस दिन के इंदा पानस पाने में हैटर भागने का अंगल में देंग गाने Welcome back to the SSC. Um, it's uh, Feroz Ahmed with me and uh, our co-commentators uh, Harun Maujud. It's never out, son. It's never out. Ain't it, babe? Well, I thought it was touch and go. The uh, appeal for the leg, leg before wicket which is given out. Feroz, that's Caldera. Who's the workhorse man for St. Thomas's? Well, he's bowling with uh, good pace and uh, quite a lot of aggression. Bit on the shorter side, he needs to mix it up, but uh, bowling with a lot of uh, effort, giving it all. Unfortunately, the wicketkeeper was not up to speed. Dropped a relatively easy chance uh, the previous over. But what's also good to see is uh, Ramiro Pereira also is not just hanging there he's playing his shots disappointed with that last uh, should have found the gap but good overall cricket uh, being played 
So what do you reckon? 133 in 118. Anything is possible in cricket. Uh, and uh, these two are showing the right intent. All they need is a couple of uh, big overs, uh, especially Shane, Abe Ratna and Ramiro Pereira. Both are looking for runs. And if these two can string in a few uh, quick runs, anything is possible. St. Thomas's, I still feel Feroz, uh, St. Thomas is about a good tad 25, 30 runs too short in their essay. It's a batting paradise. I'm sure your grandmother is still going to pad up and bat on this track, Feroz. But saying that, 133 of 118, it's quite an easy task considering today's novel game of cricket. Yes, but we also need to be mindful these are 17, 18 year olds who are playing. Uh, this time short, powerfully pulled, a uh, couple of bouncers, that's the boundary. There we see that predictability, Nathan bowled three good deliveries on the shorter side, but this time was way too short, waiting to be hit. And Ramiro didn't miss out on that occasion. Top shot there by Ramiro Pereira. Caldera dropping it short. You know, Caldera has been bowling a bit too much on the short side. Well, he looks to intimidate. He has the pace. But if he can mix in the occasional fuller delivery, the slower ball, especially in a limited over context, he can be even more effective. Spoken like a true fast bowler. Feroz Ahmed play way back in uh, 2000 and... Oh, wrapped him on the pads. Loud appeal. Finger goes up. There's the follow-up. Brilliantly bowled by Caldera, straight at the batsman. He mixed it. Batsman expected the shorter delivery. On the fuller length, trapped him and uh, Ramiro Pereira departs. You were very happy there for a fast bowl, aren't you, Feroz Ahmed? Well, especially when you have the skill and the pace, you've got to mix it up. They are camped on the back foot, bowled it up to the batsman. Beaten for pace and Ramiro departs. That takes uh, leg stump, uprooting leg stump. Caldera comes back with vengeance after that boundary by Pereira. Royal 1 2 8 for 5 in the 31st over. One more ball to go. So, Sena Ratna has walked in, left-handed Sena Ratna. I think what Royal needs is one spark, just a batsman to walk in, play inhibited, go for the shots, put some pressure on the Thomians and make Mahit Pereira think. Because right now, he's been on top. He's done the changes. His bowling changes has been impressive. Field placement even better. And the bowlers have backed up with good performance. You're absolutely right, Feroz. Lot of chatter. Kavindu Dias has a lot to say to the batsman. 133 of 117. It's not a bowler's game. In today's context, it's more of a batter's game. However, we're all five wickets away. But as you say, it's just one partnership. So these are the stats of Dinro Senaratna. Batting middle order for Royal College. Average of uh, 19 doesn't make uh, much sense to his ability, but look at that strike rate. That is p adequate, above par for the asking rate. So, Ferros, I still think St. Thomas's, who won the toss, I would have better on this track. St. Thomas's is the same. Well, all oh, of us. 35 runs a bit too short? Well, for an uh, under 19 game. 250 is a very good score. We've been we've caught up looking at modern game where they use two new balls and we feel it's inadequate. But at the end of the day, the scoreboard pressure matters. You string in a few disciplined overs and then you can get the batsman out.
purely through the pressure exerted. Very true, Feroz. I still remember we defended 189 and won by four runs. The last uh, LBW would Caldera, have been Caldera asking, appealing. The only thing he did not do is go down on his knees and Ruchira Paliguru obliges. Puts up the dirty finger. What a appeal, what a ball, what a player. Caldera Feroz has been one of those versatile players for St. Thomas's. A good all-rounder, opening bowler, bats, middle order, lower middle order, has well, been contributing tremendously with the bat. Well, summary so far, St. Thomas's 50 overs, 256. Zoisa and Helia got a two left-handed batsman batted elegantly, Co scored a couple of 60s. Malavi Arachi was the pick of the bowlers for all, four for 53. Royal in the second essay have faced 31 overs. Half the side is uh, back in the hut and half the run scored. Well, a couple of familiar fam uh, names over there. Po young Polonoita, Anush Polonoita, whose father and I had the uh, pleasure of playing against each other, Anushka. So St. Thomas is uh, bringing in uh, Yatin the Sirivardana back into the attack. Top shot, but fails to uh, split the gap. So this is something that St. Thomas is, or the side that is under pressure, 117 or rather 114 of uh, 133 can tend to do so every time that you get a new batter in you're going to consume some dot ball absolutely i think this is the territory where you're counting the deliveries and the runs required 19 overs 18 and a half left 113 deliveries 429 and we see a couple of changes you've got to have five fielders in the ring they brought in uh, the fine leg on the pads, uh, powerfully driven towards deep mid wicket. Should be a couple of runs. I've been impressed uh, looking at Abe Ratna. He's given a couple of chances. Rightfully, he should be back in the hut, but he's looked good. He's uh, looked to score runs, not gone onto a shell. Anything loose, he's pounced on. You're right, um, Royal tends to uh, actually have come out pretty well than what they did in, in the early hours in the morning. They batted positively, they looked positive. Yes, they did lose five wickets in the process. But if they did bring that same intent to the game in the first session, which is their bowling part and their fielding part, you think they'll be uh, chasing 264? Well, St. Thomas did have a good start. So they brought the game, I mean, restricting them to a 250 was a good bit of uh, effort as far as bowling was concerned. The fielding wasn't up to the mark, but I felt batting, they could have had more intent. The running between the wickets well, was a little too casual. But having said that, um, they st still have batting back in the hut. Uh, they've got... Uh, Netwin Dharmaratna who could bat. Khalid Rahimdin is a powerful hitter as well. So all that they require, the disappointing factor is they've got a couple of 20s and 30s. And unfortunately, the batsmen who should have kicked on from that point onwards are back in the hut. Unfortunately, they've got out at really inopportune time. Well, you, you did see uh, Abe Ratna having two goals, if you can see the replay. Uh, the third ball and the fourth ball, he had two goals, rather, the fourth and the fifth ball. He had the perfect ball for extra cover drive. Both the times, he just picked up short extra cover. He just needs to pick either side, the left or the right hand, right side of the extra cover, and you get another couple. So so Senator trying to finish his over. Good looking shot to start his... Uh Proceedings, uh, end of 32 overs, uh, Royal 132 for 5. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. Z. We KYC. Easy. Easy.
मोबाइल बैंक एजुकेशन लोन एंड सैलरी एडवांसेस इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द डिजिटल यूथ अकाउंट एन डी बी जी एन डी बी जी फ्रॉम एन डी बी बैंक द फ्यूचर इज बैंकिंग ऑन अस वेलकम बैक टू दिस I'm with Feroz Ahmed, and we're at the uh, 47th Royal Tournament Mustangs Trophy Limited Over Encounter. Feroz, um, I believe you played a few uh, Mustangs Trophy matches way back in 2004 onwards. Yeah, I played. Um, the w- so, what was the result? Uh, were you at the receiving end? I do strongly believe that was the end. Well, I was part of the team that uh, had the first centurion. Heshan Morovaka scored 104 not out and we beat comprehensively. Um St Thomas's were shot out for under 120 runs that year. And uh, the next 3 years I remember having St Thomas's at 65 for 5 before Danushka Kolobogey played a wonderful innings with Ryan Rakaruna Ratna. Uh but having said that you look at the tally Arjuna it's still raw leading the way 23 to 21. So as Royal crossover one more single they add on 133 for 5 what you're telling me is you played four Mustang trophies and lost three Yes uh, back in our time we put more weightage on the Royto which we won uh and the Mustangs was like the Natwest compared to Ashes blah 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 You want a royal too, man Arjuna? Never been part of the winning side. Were you part of a losing side, Arjuna? Never been part of the losing side either, but it felt like losing when uh, pine size 4 4 feet 9 inches took us to the cleaners with a one magnificent 144. Chase every ball to the boundary. Still haunts me. You played uh, 92 93? Memory serves you perfect, Feroz. So I can say you were lucky enough not to play 90 at 91 Arjuna. Two consecutive losses for St Thomas. So there you see the tally 23 to 21. I remember watching that tight game in 2002. Brilliant uh, set of cricketers back then. Remember Ganganath Ratnayaka leading the team, a young team. He was one of the youngest captains back then. But overall I think what we should recognize is the quality of cricket played throughout these years no doubt about that feroz um um I, well uh, the the question that i would like to pose even to the statisticians is that um you you measure game of tennis in the new era the modern era so in the modern era of cricket it's a white ball game and um, until 1993 where the first day night was played which i was fortunate to be a part of and we started playing white ball and we never looked back since then um the one day for the mustang trophy was played on a red ball i actually would like to see the statistics red ball versus white ball royal versus st thomas's it will be an interesting reading um i think the white ball favors batting uh, especially with two new balls used uh, and on current decks where it favors batsman there is big scores back in the time 200 plus 220 was a good score right now even 250 looks inadequate well listeners spectators that's a fast bowler talking to you how his uh, innings has been in the past taken to the cleaners as the end of the 33 33rd over roll 137 for 5 Heels crest nine meter sausage the bite that bites back So as we come back from the break the, you just saw Coach Naimiris and right in front of me is also a pair of 
Kochi Nymeris Cups, uh, similar to my co-commentator, Fero Zahmed, who also had a short stem of the stick. Fast bowler, behaved like one and still behaves like one. Unfortunately, at the times that uh, we played, it was a bowling paradise unlike now, where if Fero Zahmed bowl right now, I still would want to come with my pads and face up to him. But we have the old boys uh, match, Arjuna. In you can try your luck. In the yesteryears, things are different. Young Feroz had his own way. But coming, coming back to the game, uh, the run rate has, uh, the required run rate has inched towards that seven run mark. With just 17 overs left. Uh, oh, inside edge. Uh, Siriwardana has, has that leg cutter going. Seems to be a thinking cricketer. He has that pace to upset the batsman, but on the other hand, uses variation quite effectively as well. It's very interesting you spoke about the run rate. Um, people, if you keep your eyes on the extreme right hand side of the screen, the current run rate is 4.13, required is 7.13. We're just talking about a single digit number of three, but a ground like SSC. Getting seven to eight, nine runs per over is uh, its a very easy task. The ground is quite widely spread. It's a very fast outfield. It's a very luscious but green, fast track outfield. So I, I, if I was Royal, I would not worry too much about the 7.13 seven run, 7 run rate. I would rather look at getting the single, two, three singles per over. And exactly like that, look at getting an edge or sticking it over past the keeper getting a boundary one off boundary here and there and still be in the game for us and just take it to the last 10 overs where you are simply having the mindset of a t20 well the you, last seven overs you've got to keep the wickets but there you see brilliant fielding by anuk that's been the difference the ground fielding of st thomas's has been spot on they've uh, thrown themselves at the ball and uh, managed to prevent certain boundaries and on that occasion Anuk certainly did prevent uh, three additional runs for all on the foolish side uh, quick single good cricket Abey Ratna you're right I think uh, what Royal needs to target is to get it into single uh, double digits Right now, 118 of uh, 98 deliveries. They need to target that 18 runs to be scored maybe within 15 deliveries. And then, the next 13 overs, they can press the accelerator. It's just that St. Thomas is having played the Royal Tourmian. If you ask me, both the sides uh, did not perform up to expectations in the three-day. But... Well, it depends Com on the coming, expectation. Uh, uh, coming Arjuna. back, coming coming back from the Royal Tournament, they've just come off a T20 series, celebrating 100 years at big club grounds, opening St Thomas's new dressing rooms, playing a uh, triangular between Trinity, Royal St Thomas's, and beating both schools, and beating Royal twice. St Thomas's are coming into this game with a little bit of high, and that could be out. Senaratna living dangerously. Caldera making a valiant attempt. Just missed his fingertips. And uh, Senaratna accounting four for himself. Very lucky there. Taking a chance. But that's well, exactly what Royal needs to do at this moment. Well, Arjuna, you seem to be in good spirits. Uh, it was Abe Ratna rather than Senaratna. <laughs> you see, Arjuna, the right handed batsman is Abe Ratna. The left-hander is uh, Sena Ratna. Make matters easy, but wonderful shot. He saw the fielder up, played it over that uh, mid-off fielder. A boundary was required and uh, a calculated risk. Beautiful shot. As I said earlier, Abe Ratna, Shane Abe Ratna, seems to be a batsman with a lot of class and time. And on that occasion, took on the bowling and a welcome boundary for all 143 for 5 in the 34th Roy still being in the game chasing St. Thomas's trying to keep up with the run rate 
and uh, young Feroz Ahmed did the same thing uh, way back in 2005. He said, uh, bowling right arm over and bowl right arm round, if I remember right. You seem to have a better memory than I do. Well, my co commentators behind me is talking about high spirits. I really don't know what high spirits means to. Uh, <coughs> to well, uh, well, Arjuna. To Harita Pereira to. Uh, well, Arjuna, you need to break it. High and spirit. Then it will make more sense. So, Diogo being brought into the attack. Right arm off spin. To everyone out there, I've been outnumbered on the com box with quite a lot of rollies around me. This time, Apesh, a uh, couple of bounds. I think if you look back at what we were discussing, uh, there is the modern power plays as well. And sometimes this particular passage of play, the 34th to the 40th, is also crucial because you have that extra fielder within the 30-yard circle. So might be a better ploy to take your chances within this passage of play. Absolutely. So. If you've been watching the modern game of cricket with the T20s birth, it's been a 10-over game at the back end of the uh, back end of every innings. And even if you have lost six or seven wickets, maintaining a, a high run rate for a shorter period of time has been the DNA that has been brought into a lot of schools, a lot of cricket, a lot of clubs, a lot of franchises. And you see that similar game being taken into test cricket as well. Absolutely, so. and I think if you look at how the game has evolved right now, the number six, seven, eight positions are very critical. You've got to be the aggressor, you've got to be the power hitter, because that's the passage of play that can determine the outcome. Talking about power hitters, I remember you coming, taking one, one knock at a one roll to me in first ball, six, second ball, you got yourself bowled, didn't you? No, I never did that, uh, Arjuna. Coming in number seven. No, I, I, I did hit a six uh, back when I played. Or did they tease you to hit a six? The teasing may have been there, but... Uh, oh, sorry. So you just you crossed... You got the a, wrong player. So you just crossed a 30-yard circle, is it? Well, what matters is the output, the runs that you score. Last, uh, beautifully played. On the front foot, towards that extra cover region. So these two are mixing good uh, cricket. I mean, you see the occasional aggression, but on that occasion, playing the field, you have a squarish uh, sweeper cover as fielder. See, as you see the replay. And on that occasion, played on the front foot, just looking to time the ball rather than uh, looking for pure power. And in the process, getting a couple of runs. Abe Ratna is on 33. He's moved along nicely. On the shorter side, played powerfully towards deep mid -wicker. That's another boundary. That's a welcome bound for Royal College. They just got stuck in the first five balls. But he made sure a shorter ball, very bad ball, ball and he made sure he cashed in on that. Quick to move on to the back foot. It was short there to be hit. Beautifully played by Shane Aberat. He's moved along nicely to 37. The top scorer for Royal so far. The moment he came, I think Harita and I were in the com box and we identified. We knew back when we when he walked in. Looked with purpose. There you see the last delivery on the shorter side. There to be hit, but you have to hit your gaps. That was impressive. All along the ground, beautifully played. Incident and incidentally, uh, Feroz, uh I don't think uh, the, our viewers are privy to what we see out here at the SSC during this break. But he's just changed his bat after that brilliant uh, shot off mid -wicket. St. Thomas's, I feel they are very skeptical at this moment of time. They're using part-timers to get through a couple of overs. That probably might come and bite them back in the end because if, if I was St. Thomas's, I would try to see where, how, could, how I could increase at 7 to go up to a 9 or a 10 to put some pressure right now and let Royal 
take an initiative to go after the bowling now. Well, Arjuna, as, as opposed to you giving it and you keeping it contained and giving it all to Royal, it's yours or nothing. Well, Arjuna, I think the captain Mahit has heard you. Uh, he's brought in uh, the wicket taker Anuk back into the attack. Uh, Anuk uh, has bowled uh, six overs, given away 23 runs, and captured two wickets. The run rate has come below that seven over, seven runs per over mark. They've got the left hand right hand combination going as well. 104 runs left, 15 overs. Let's see uh, the gamble of Pereira. Whether it's work out, whether whether it will work out for some boxes. Starts off from where he left. I think he's found a good uh, range. The line and length has been immaculate. In the pick of the bowlers so far for St. Thomas's. It's interesting that. Uh, oh. Fellas, oh! That's a chance that goes begging. He could have had four. The wicket keeper guilty on that occasion as well. Fernando making his debut at the Royal Tournament. Probably not having his one of his finest days behind oh. the stumps. He didn't move, he just grabbed. He didn't rise with the ball. I'm not a wicket keeper, but uh, the little bit of wicket keeping I know is that you've got to stay low and rise with the ball. Well bowled again, uh, back to the bowler. It's very interesting, you see uh, Anuk bowling uh, a very conservative field to the right hander. But if you do analyze his field to the left hander, He's bowling without a mid wicket and he's a left arm spinner coming over, left arm round, orthodox to the left handed batsman of uh, Sena Ratna, bowling without a mid wicket. Well, he's asking the batsman to play across um, because he gets the ball to come on a straightish sort of line. So far, he's been right on the money. This is good pressure by St. Thomas's, by Pereira and by Anuk. Mike Perra putting a lot of pressure. We just spoke about bringing your top-notch bowlers into the fray. Making Royal do something now as opposed to giving it to them. So Very good Royal, over. 154 for 5 in the 36 over. And when you come back, it will be a change of commentary. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the So 154 for 5 after 36, a real uh, tough challenge for the Royalists. Some very interesting remarks and comments in our previous commentary stint. Uh, we joined by our co-chairman from the Royal Tomi and Match Organizing Committee, Arjuna Vaidhisekara. Uh, misinterpreting a couple of names, like Feroz said, must have been in high spirits. Nevertheless, we come back to the business we're coming to the business end of this uh, second innings Ashen Pereira being brought from uh, the Vidya Mouth end so 103 runs 14 overs gettable in considering the modern game but he is the ideal bowler uh, Yes, Ashen Pereira, ever dependable for St. Thomas's in to his seventh over. He's been quite economical going at 4.2 runs per over. He's shown that he has great control over the ball and where it's been pitched and how it moves uh, right throughout this entire big match uh, series. Well stopped, well stopped at the cow point by Diego nimble footed swift mover across the turf i think royal will have to get a move on look for 
a boundary every over. I think that will really do a world of good for the Royalist. Four runs an over from here would get them about 24 runs uh, when they reach the 40th over mark, uh, which would take them to about 180, which is pretty, pretty much the same uh, score that the Thomians uh, were at during that same stage. So that is probably the first target that the Royal will, Royalists will have to focus on. You can see the determination on Abiratna's uh, face. He's focused. He understands what's uh, needed. He understands the requirement. Uh, one only wishes that some of the batsmen who came before him had the same uh, vision and determination as Abiratna. Absolutely, Shash. I think for a 16-year-old, he's showing a lot of confidence. Uh, carries a very mature head on his shoulders, and it's been the intent, the way in which he's been batting in this inning. Yes, he's been he's given a couple of chances, no doubt, but. Then again, like I mentioned, for a 16-year-old, it's very confident betting. You can see it from the way he strokes the ball, always looking to rotate the strike. And that's been a really positive uh, feature of this young man's knock. 101 runs to get in 13.2 overs. Not the easiest equation, but not improbable. It all boils down to how well they assess the conditions and the situation of the game. The two batters right now, they've shown versatility in their batting, adapting to the condition situations, understanding the demand and uh, you know they've showed that Royal is not uh, are not out of this game at least. Absolutely, Pereira not the easiest to kind of take a hit with, the board's a very tight line, it doesn't give anything loose away so that's where the batsman will have to be a bit creative make the angles, create the space, the room, the leverage and look for that odd boundary I think in the next three overs after this they'll need a couple of boundaries along with the singles because of that 180 mark, 180, 190 by this uh, 40th over would make Royal Royal relatively happy. That slashed down towards the sweeper on the offside, another single 157 for the loss of five wickets in 37 overs. So we will go down uh, to Khadija, who has a fan for a short interview. We're here at the 47th Mustangs Trophy and with me today I've got Nilanka Piris, the chief guest of the day and not to forget the captain of the St. Thomas's College in the year 1995. Nilanka, how is it to be back here? Well, it's, it's a great feeling. I mean, having uh, won the trophy in 95. Uh, it's been almost 30 years since I laid my hands on that trophy. So hopefully today I'll get to uh, hold that trophy once again. Um, Nilanka, being the chief guest and coming to this big event? Well, I mean, it's it's always nice to come to a Royal Tomin, right? Uh, I mean, I've, I've been a part of this Royal Tomin for almost 40 years and, and coming in as a chief guest is a special location. And I'm actually really looking forward to, uh, to a good match and to be able to give that trophy out at the end of this tournament. Very uh, wise words from uh, Nilanka Piris, a uh, well respected uh, gentleman from the Thomian fraternity, captain in 1995. Oh, it's boundary, it's a boundary. Thought there was a, a f I thought it was half, if it was a half stop, nevertheless, beautifully pierced by Abe Ratna, takes him to the 40s, a much needed boundary like we spoke of uh, Shesh. A bit of feeling there. I mean, giving an easy boundary for Abiratna. Devanarayana being very unlucky, even though he's bowled beautifully. A couple of chances going begging. He should have had at least four wickets by now, but that's how the game rolls. And Abiratna riding the luck that he had on that occasion. Overall, he's been impeccable with his approach and batting. Okay, so the tactic is very clear. He has a packed finish offside field so you have a short third man a cover point and point which uh, gives you the indication that he's going to pull fast short and get the batsman playing square of the wicket that's again edge but he has protection there that's the plan and he's bowling to the plan which also gives an opportunity to for, to really look at that leg side field because you just have the vacant uh, or the deep mid wicket and the long one so there's a huge gap between the two fielders that's well played down the ground once again by Abhiratna he moves on to 42 he's kept that uh, square leg gap open uh, 
enticing the batter to go across the line. However, Shane thus far has not opted for that option. Seems, seems to be still in a bit of pain, uh, Devanara, and you can just sense it from his facial exp expressions. Probably finding it difficult to uh, grip that ball with a finger injury. But yeah, dots is something that the Royalists cannot afford. Now 1-6-3 for 5 Royal after 38. Heels crest Naimiris sausage. The bite that bites back. Gold Wild. Unleash the wild in you. Nikam Boru at a risk a gun, eh? NDB Neos Theatre, risk a gun, eh? Kick a gay fund transfers karanava game, a chill like a bill speaker. Ravello, the official chocolate partner of the Battle of the Blues. One six three for five in thirty-eight overs. Game pretty interestingly poised. Ninety-four runs of twelve overs required at a rate of seven point eight three. So yeah. if that balls to run gap is widening uh, as each over progresses. So that's why. Dot balls the big no-no for the Royalists. There's no way that could have been given out. Pitched outside the leg stump. Leg by call from umpire Pali Guru. So it's 71 deliveries, 93 runs for Royal. Uh, like I mentioned, looking at the modern one-day game, very gettable, but whether the Royal is whether the Royal batsmen have the skill. The temperament to get only time will tell. For now, we have Sena Ratna and Abhi Ratna who have steadied the ship somewhat but needs to get a move along. Both batters looking very positive. Their approach has been really, really good for a one day game, and their stroke play has been phenomenal too. Quite surprised that these two batters actually bat this low down the order, but it's, it shows the depth that Royal has as a team. I won't be surprised if Abe Ratna is eyeing that uh, mid wicket region. There's only a short wicket patrolling this area. Yes, seems very clear because Pereira is coming round the wicket. There's just one fielder patrolling that leg side region, that, the boundary region, which is the deep square leg from what we see up here. So there's a mid on mid wicket and a short find. So it's relatively a risk free stro stroke if he has to take on that. Uh, uh, mid on and mid wicket fielder. Yes, as I said, he's just hurt me, Shashrika. Absolutely, Harun. He was eyeing that area, looked pretty obvious right before that he was really targeting that area and the ball was in the slot. Most importantly, going through the stroke and producing another boundary. Shane moves on to 45 now. It's really impressive batting by Abe Ratna, 16 years of age, showing a very mature head on his shoulders. He's bat with a lot of maturity, intent and the attitude has been the name of the game for young Abhiratna. Gave a couple of chances, but that doesn't take away the fact that he's looked to score runs, which has been the most impressive feature uh, in his batting performance thus far. So just a boundary away now, Shane. He must probably look for the single, or do you reckon he'll go for it again, Harun? So they've done the change in the field. They've Dropped the mid on fielder to long on. No uh, run in that. Sorry, it's the penultimate delivery. So the mid on fielder has dropped back to long on. They've brought in the deep square leg into short square leg. So this is relatively a better feel for Ashen Pereira to be bowling because it has to be a sweep or a paddle that can actually uh, get Aberatna boundary. Good batting, running hard, but Diego is equally quick on the outfield just to keep that to a single. 39 gone, 169 for 5 Royal. Big your pardon, 170 for 5 Royal. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z, we KYC, easy, mobile banking, crazy. crazy. 
Education loans and salary advances. Amazing! Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Chili chili rasa to meto mix ka hita kasa na ba? Chili to rasa yen kolla kolla ki spice of na ba? Hadum badi na alut na ma ki savory rasa ya chili to biscuits. Chira karma de din prima kotu mia. Big match fun prima kotu mi tiya na ka. So it's the last over of the second batting power play. After this, we'll have five fielders that can patrol the boundary line. The board in Dinet Gunawardhan, an interesting change of right arm off spin. Gunawardhan only bowling two overs thus far, capturing that important wicket of Polonovita. The captain is obviously confident in uh, Gunawardhan as a bowler, especially against the left handed Sena Ratna. So I'm assuming a clear plan against the left-hander trying to tie him down. This is not what Royal can afford. Dot balls. It's a tough ask, I understand, for Sena Ratna, but he'll have to run over the field and get those runs. In terms of run scoring opportunity, he has the short extra cover fielder within the circle, but if he surpasses that, it's just the sweeper cover and long off that he's looking at. So playing with the turn is an option. And the only other option is the gap between square leg and short find because there is a deep mid wicket fielder patrolling that boundary line uh, region. Good ball, right at the block hole. Not the easiest ball for a, a spinner to bowl. Don't know how intentional that was, but anyway, useful. It's a much better stroke. That's what he should have been doing. Using his feet, playing with the spin. Risk-free risk -free cricket. That single will bring away Ratna on strike. Who's on 49. In his debut Mustangs uh, encounter, sure if he gets to a half century, he'll be vying for that best fresher uh, token, which is given out at the end of the match. Yes, they do comfortably, comfortably cross over for a single, and that's a fresher 50 for young Abe Ratna. What a fantastic knock it's been when the chips were down for Royal. Young man, 16 years old, has put his hand up. 50 off 64, that's 40 gone. 173 for 5 will be the start of the third power play. I'll tell you what, Arun, a very bright prospect for Royal. Shane Abiratna, three years ahead of him uh, in school cricket. We've seen what he could do. He's asking the camp whether to go for it. I'm pretty sure he should just continue batting on one end and let the others go from the other. Absolutely muted celebrations, knowing that the job is not done for Royal. He has a, a steep mountain to climb, as we see umpire Pali Guru starting off power play number three, which will give the Tomians the ability to have five fielders patrolling the boundary region. 84 runs needed in the final phase of play, 10 overs, 84 runs to get. Not the easiest task, Harun, especially for schoolboys. This will be the biggest test for Shane, Abirat, and the rest of the, the batters. Can they manage to get that? It'll be a famous victory for all if they do. Absolutely. I think at the, this very stage, Thomians were about 10 to 15 runs ahead. Uh, and they did uh, motor along during this uh, third power play, courtesy Fernando and Soisa that came in, played some really useful shots, fetching them the crucial boundaries more uh, regularly and the similar will have to follow for Royal if they are to chase this target down. First ball short. So that's the tactic that he's deployed right throughout this uh, his spells thus far. Calder has kept the ball short, asked the questions. I thought he beautifully orchestrated that wicket of uh, Pereira. Bowl a couple of short balls knowing that he's, some, he's a batsman that finds it uncomfortable then dropped in that quick 
Uh, Fuller length delivery to wrap him on the pads. It'll be interesting to see what Mahit Pereira's uh, thinking would be for the rest of the game. What, how the overs would break down. We can see that Caldera potentially could bowl for overs. It'll be interesting to see who he employs from the other end as well. What a bouncer. Excellent delivery by Sena Rat uh, by Kaldera. Beg your pardon, Sena Ratna completely called caught off guard. Just fending at that one. If you look at the replay, he rolled his fingers on it. But the ball came faster than he expected. Very deceptive bouncer there by Kaldera. Don't be surprised if you see one more uh, Harun. Absolutely. He, he does have protection. Uh, in that leg side region, deep mid, deep square, fine leg. This time, swatted that, there is protection at the deep. They have to run hard between the wickets. Not great running between by Sena Ratna. They'll need to keep rotating the strike. Uh, he's consumed a few dot deliveries that the Royalists cannot afford. 27 that he's faced. I think Abe Ratna will be the one will have to look for the boundary the big shot as we call it looking at the options uh, Shane Abiratna has for a boundary uh, the, so the four fielders uh, in the circle are a point extra car mid off and a mid on so those are the gaps that he has to target to go over them possibly but the but the length that he is bowling is really not uh, helping out I uh, feel a bit hungry as well right now. Uh, why not have some of this? Cochin Amiris. There we go. A useful delightful snack. one. Really useful snack. Struggling to get hold of one. There's so many. Harun, I'm going to try your one. Please do. Came into handy at the three day event as well. Uh, thank uh, the Amiris team for bringing the pictures, to bring this product for this event as well as the next one is swatted. Pass mid on for four. What a fantastic shot by Abir Ratna. Much needed boundary to bring some impetus into this royal chase. A tough ask for them. Absolutely swatted. We were discussing where the boundary options were, Harun. That was one gap, the mid on gap over it and he managed to pass it to the left of the mid on fieldsman. So he really has a radar marked on his head. He understands where the gaps are. He's way ahead of his age. Let me tell you that, Harun Maujud. He's a very bright prospect. 55 of 67 uh, balls. Becoming a bit predictable, Caldera, with his short delivery. I think he'll have to work the batsman's mind out because he can bowl that quick, fuller length ball. So that is something that I feel will surprise the batsman, which we have not seen him deploy to uh, the rest apart from uh, Pereira <coughs> running hard but they'll be happy with the single 41 gone 179 for 5 180 for 5 Royal so we'll take a look at the highlights of Shane Abir Ratna's 50 that was probably the stroke for me of his innings. That ball which he caressed through cow point and point. The beauty is that he's not afraid, he's not been afraid to go for his strokes. You see the big shots, wherever the opportunity has been presented, he's gone for it. And mind you, it has been an impressive performance by this young man. He's been very mindful of the gaps as well, Harun. He's understood, you know, where to place, how to place it, and whom to target in, in terms of the bowlers. Uh, pretty sure off spinner bowling now. I'm pretty sure he'll target one this over. It's a, a standard field of a deep square leg, like deep mid wicket, long on. A long off and a deep point those are the the sweepers as we may call then it gunawadana might just look to bowl outside off stump oh didn't connect that at all 
there's a huge gap between long leg and deep mid wicket. All he had to do was get some decent wood on it. Would have fetched at least two runs. You can see the ball very slow off the turf. Took the edge onto the batsman's leg. There, as you can see. Tough ask as the required run rate has climbed to north of eight and a half runs. It's getting tougher as each delivery is bold. Each dot delivery is really costing the Royalists. This time, say time, but the fielder is there, should take it. And that's the much needed wicket that the Thomians wanted. It's Abe Ratna. He had to go for it, no doubt. They needed a boundary. The shot was on, it's just that he didn't get the distance. Unfortunately, didn't have the legs to go all the way. But what an inning by Shane Abiratna. Hats off to this 16 year old. As we see the replay, well tossed up, going across the line with the spin. Hard to find fault with that shot, Harun. Unfortunately, not having the legs to clear the, the lines. Exactly. Off spinner with the turn. He just couldn't find the gap. Finding that deep mid wicket fielder. Fabulous knock by this young man. 16 years of age with a strike rate of 80. He's got 56 crucial runs for Royal. 180 for 6 Royal. It's getting tougher. Gold Wild. Unleash the Wild in you. The new batsman Rahim Din. Harun, I've heard a lot about this lad. He has the ability to clear it. He has the ability to hit the long ball, as they call it, Khalid uh, Rahim Din. And what better time uh, to see what he's made of? Absolutely. Uh, he's known for someone that can use the long handle. Uh, but it's pressure situations, mind you. He, a big lad, tall, hefty, packs a punch. But if he can take his team through, or for him to take his team through, he definitely will have to prove his prowess as a hard-hitting batsman. Two balls at his middle, straight to the bowler. We see the last wicket. Just couldn't get uh, the distance. He got the elevation, but not the distance. Next ball glided towards uh, the point region. They scamper through for a single. Rahim Din off the mark. Now the onus is back on uh, Sena Ratna to go for the boundary options. Uh, Harun, not the easiest for this left hander against the off spinner. I think but a brave move by Pereira as well to bring in Dinet Gurudhan, a bowler who was brought in purely of the fact that uh, we had Anup Devanara and uh, injure himself, and he's scalped at or got two crucial scalps for the Tomians. Yeah, very capable bowler, Dinit Gunwadhan. You've seen him bowl even at the last year's Big Match encounter. He's got talent with the ball. Renowned for his batting, of course. But he's done the job with the ball as well this time around. Oh, it's something that we've been seeing lately in the limited over game. Bowlers looking for the man cading opportunity. It's very important that the batsman on striker watches his guard as the last ball of this over is driven to long off. 42 gone, 182 for 6 Royal. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z, Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the Digital Youth Account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Seat Car Radios. The road is yours. Kiri Atir Supiri Rasa. As you can see on your screen, 75 runs or 48 balls. The gap, the <clears throat> gap between the runs and balls has widened over the last three, four overs. Courtesy some very tight bowling 
But look at the scorecards. 183 for three St. Thomas's, 182 for six Royal. Key figure being the number of wickets that has uh, fallen in our own. That shows how important it is to have wickets in hand, especially in the death overs. Unfortunately, Royal not being able to have those wickets in hand. So Caldera will be bowling his eighth over this time. Beautifully driven. That's running down to the boundary. Four more to the score. What a beautiful shot there by Sena Ratna. Giving some space, going towards the leg stump and just gliding it through the offside. That's a very mature stroke by Sena Ratna. Uh, just as we thought that the game was tilting towards the Thomians, he just shows that he's got another gear in him. He's got a different attribute about himself as well. He's yes, someone who showed a lot of maturity at the big uh, match as well, playing that very crucial innings, building that partnership with Dharma Ratna to take Royal out of the woods. And here again, he's trying his level best. He's not known for his uh, hard hitting, more of a timer. Uh, of that cricket ball. Caldera this time around following the batsman. He gave room yet again. Just followed him for the delivery towards his midriff. Required rate at 9.26. So they've got no option, Harun. They've got to go for it. They need two boundaries per over, literally. And they're setting that field on the onside with three fieldsmen. Patrolling the boundary, a long on, deep mid wicket and a fine leg. And just targeting the pads of the Armarat Senaratna, who's campus through for a single. So we'll take a look at the last wicket that fell off, which was Abe Ratna. <coughs> Probably didn't get the full meat of the bat. The shot was on, most certainly, right arm off spinner bowling, turning into the right handed batsman. He played it with the spin, but probably a young man, 16 years old, not having that enough muscle in him to clear the fence. It's not over, so it goes to show that the Thomians have done a fantastic job at the death overs, uh, even when they were with the when they batted to get. They must have scored between eight to nine runs per over. Like I said, courtesy to Akash and uh, Sadev, they got those boundaries coming during this phase. Yes, the experience that the batters in the lower order, especially for St. Thomas's, showing the way. So he's coming back after the injury really helped as well. And a Thomian victory is in sight, favorable for St. Thomas's as of now. If they manage to get their Harun, it will be after five long years that St. Thomas's have won a Mustangs encounter. Absolutely right. It's been some time since the Thomians have got their hands on that uh, trophy, coveted Mustangs trophy. As you can see on your screen, some fantastic shots courtesy the Papare.com, powered by Dialogue, giving these beautiful aerial views of this SC. So picturesque. Yeah, not one might say not the same crowd that you would get at Royal Thomian big match. This time it's hiked away. There is a fielder at it, and he takes a very good catch. Excellent catch. Caldera working that ploy to perfection. The trap was set. The field was set for the short ball. The batsman obliged. And what a catch there by Yatindra to dismiss uh, Sena Ratna. It's all but over for Royal as we see the replay. He would have loved, to, loved for that ball to have gone a bit more finer. It was a slower delivery as well. You can see Caldera rolling his uh, fingers over the ball and richly rewarded. So it's a shorter ball that's worked for him in terms of a tactic. The fuller del delivery at this time of the uh, stay at this stage of uh, the game. It's 20 overs. Uh, sorry, 42 and a half overs gone. 20 for Sena Ratna, 188 for Summon Royal. Gold Wild, unleash the wild in you. Biratunga, Bulan Biratunga, the right arm fast bowler of Royal, who is also no muck with the bat. 
he too can use the long handle to good effect but it's the situation it's the pressure it's absolute pressure chasing this total of 256 69 runs more not very many wickets in hand oh what a start no batsman would like that that's in at the 43rd 188 for 7 royal college So there you go, the 47 Mustangs trophy in all its glory in the 43rd over, 44th over of a play of the Royal Indians, 188 for 7. 69 needed of uh, 42 deliveries. It's uh, going to be a close one. I think uh, St. Thomas has had the advantage because they have picked up a uh, seven wickets. Royal just three wickets in hand. Viratunga still to open his account. Rahim Dean, he's a fresher. What Royal would have wanted is to have a set batsman at this stage. One of their senior players or at least a better uh, batting well to counter attack uh, the uh, Tommy and uh, Bolin. Then it's going over 2 for 18 into his fifth over. He's had a good game. He's one of the senior players and he's uh, stood tall. Another sweep shot. Uh, the last wicket to fall. Uh, Dinura Senaratna for 20. He had a good game. Ball well. Was very disciplined uh, with the ball as uh, well. As we say, a very good evening to uh, Riza. Riza, it seems that uh, St. Thomas is uh, in control at this stage. Hi Ricky and a very good evening to everyone watching and what a time for those Tomian supporters to be joining us on the Papre with these lovely live pictures at the SSC. Yes, wide delivery there but Royal just seemed to have disintegrated slightly in the last 5 to 10 overs Ricky. Um, and really, with the required rate climbing above 10 now, you'd need something pretty special to come about if Royal are to take this home. That's a good hit. Inside out of extra cover that would have uh, reached the boundary quite easily at the end. Uh, Bulan Viratunga, he certainly can bat. No doubt about it, he has the ability. He got the width he was uh, looking for and uh, space uh, over extra cover. Nobody protecting the boundary there in that region. That's a welcome boundary. Yes, and good shot to be playing against the spin for the off spinner. Really shows his level of confidence and how much will he back himself in these last five overs. That's a good bat in. Picks up a single as well, rotating the strike. So it's not easy. The off spinner, Gunawadana. Good attempt, but uh, nevertheless, uh, will they get a run? No, they didn't run for that one. Viratunga preferring uh, to uh, keep the strike. 44 completed, 195 for 7. I study not just to change myself, but to make a change. Everyone's end point is my starting point. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. for 7 44 overs it's a tough call for Royal College but you never know I mean uh, things at the Royal Thomian whether it's the 50 over or the 3 day can happen you know the unbelievable has happened over the years we saw several years ago when uh, St. Thomas's were right on top they went on uh, to lose that game if I think it was uh, Madhu Shankar uh, who really took on to Kalana Pereira 
At the end, Kalina Pereira was bowling spin, but still could not contain uh, Madhushanka, and uh, he hammered the Thomians uh, to take the Royalists to victory. So you never know. One good over, 61, uh, a 20 run over can change the uh, complexion of this uh, game. But then, uh, does Royal have it in them? The Thomians have been very disciplined uh, so far. Yatindra Siriwardana playing his uh, first big game uh, in Thomian colours. Didn't play the big match in his final year. He deservedly has got the opportunity in this Mustangs trophy. And uh, he's bowled really well. He hasn't got the wicket, but I thought uh, he bowled really well. He kept the pressure on him with the new ball. He didn't let the opening batters uh, get away. And by in he enabling the pressure, it let the left arm spinner, you know, pick up wickets at the other end. And uh, generally, bowlers work in pairs. Those are looking to bowl wicket to wicket, Ricky, I think now, equally assisted by the ring fielders in St. Thomas's. We see that they've. They're, they're a real live wire on this inner circle and not allowing those easy singles as well, so adding to the pressure. Time Dane with the one run, but really bringing that backhand into play would look to play a lot more straighter and a lot over the offside if he wants to get, get some kind of value for his shots now. This is good bowling, as you mentioned. He's uh, looking to target the stumps and he's bowling full. He's not letting uh, these uh, tail enders get under the ball, trying to slug him over mid wicket uh, long on. So he's uh, making them uh, work for uh, their runs. Doesn't have a lot of uh, pace in him. His uh, strength is uh, bowling good lines, good lengths. And uh, the Thomians uh, aren't they happy? Does. Uh, been a few years uh, since the Mustangs trophy has come back to Mount Avenia. They are daily wishing that, that would do so. Prime Dean with a single down to long on there and also with the fine leg up, uh, Ricky. It's definitely targeting this offside field and making sure that there's nothing short coming up for the batsman. I hope you have been enjoying the game, uh, Riza, so far today. This uh, Mustangs Trophy is really entertaining, isn't it? Some yeah. of the, the tents are really loud and noisy. We'll come back to that. Uh, that's a, a slog towards mid wicket. Didn't really time it uh, quite uh, well. Just a single. We'll come back to that. 45 completed, 202 for 7. Heels Crest Naimir Sausage. The bite. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes, but I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. 210 for 4 in comparison to St. Thomas's at this stage were. But in the last 5 overs, St. Thomas's uh, really got away. Gunavadana will uh, continue the off -air. The difference is that St. Thomas's at this stage uh, had about 6 wickets in hand, I think. Uh, and uh, they had uh, the power down the order to uh, really uh, push for that uh, 250 plus mark. But Royal, unfortunately, have uh, lost the wickets, uh, lost a lot of wickets at regular intervals. They're looking to hit the ball, no doubt about it. You, you could see the commitment, you could see the intent in uh, both batters. So far, they haven't been able to find the boundary. And also, St. Thomas is looking to get through the overs quickly now. If you're a little more game savvy, you'll know that they're pushing the overs through. And creating that extra pressure as well. That's Kevin. out. It, uh, Risa, I thought as soon as he hit him, it uh, looked in the front, playing across the line. Dinat Gunawardena was just looking to dart it in. He was not giving it any air. Uh, 
you know, not give the uh, batter any room at all, not giving him any opportunity to get under it. And uh, that would have uh, clipped a leg stump, uh, certainly this time up by Chamber Soiza has uh, got it right. Yes, good, good game awareness. He saw Royal looking to access the leg side there in the previous plays as well. And then just gets this one a little bit further up down the wicket and then gets him the LBW. So good game awareness as well from St. Thomas's. Bulan Viratunga LBW Gunawardana for 8, 204 for the loss of 8 wickets. The Royal are down to their tail now. Ranuka Malaviarachi. The first bowler with score of 23. You can't expect him really to come good in this game or, or to take uh, Royal out of trouble. He's there for his bowling. But can he get a few lusty blows? Now that is what Royal needs at this uh, moment. You know, a couple of sixers just to uh, get things going. You never know, but certainly St. Thomas is well in control of this game at the moment. Yes, and the new batsman doing just the right thing, getting that single and then putting his partner Rahim Dean on strike. Rahim Dean known for using the long handle, Ricky, so he will have to take it upon himself in these last four and a half overs to put some kind of pressure back on this Tomian bowling lineup. Has he got that over the field? Yes, he has. That would be four runs. Now, Rahim Dean, good awareness. It was short. He saw that fine leg fielder in this circle intentionally. He hit it in the air, took the aerial route, and he's uh, managed to get it over his head uh, for a welcome boundary. The net Gunwardhan this time being guilty of being predictable and then Royal making full advantage of that over the short fine leg. Welcome boundary to this Royal College scorecard. Dot ball uh, to in the over 46 completed 209 for 8. Gold Wild, unleash the wild in you. Nikam Boru at a risk a gunny, eh? NDB Neos the risk a gun network, kick a gay fund transfers karana magim, a chill like a bill speaker. Ravello, the official chocolate partner of the Battle of the Blues. Big match fun, Prima Kotumi Tiaraka. So, Royal College, 48 from 24, required 112 runs per over. That's uh, huge. When you have uh, just two wickets in hand and you're depending on your low-order tail-enders uh, to do the damage. Nathan Caldera, uh, he's had an impressive game. Two for 34 with the ball. Senior player, vice-captain. He's uh, done really well. He bowled his heart out in that uh, three-day game as well. The 145th Battle of the Blues wasn't that successful. But uh, he's uh, really stood up. I mean, uh, he's had... Uh, three years of uh, great success for St. Thomas's proud colorsman he's uh, done it all he's uh, scored runs when St. Thomas has uh, needed it uh, throughout the season and, and just the uh, time you need your senior players to come in Ricky soak up this pressure and then deliver the goods up and over that's six that's a wonderful shot by Malavi Arachi it was short it was wide he gave it the uh, kitchen sink and uh, that flew away towards that third man uh, region and it cleared the boundary by a few yards so that's well hit commentators curse being cast upon nathan caldera and he wouldn't be too happy with us for that one uh, ricky but good shot all in all from royal college right over that offside field it's not the area to bowl definitely Excellent shot again by Royal College, turning it on here. Ten runs in the last two balls and Ranuka looking to make a name for himself in this Mustangs trophy now. Risa, I mentioned to you earlier, nothing is impossible at the Royal Thomian. 
you know the craziest things happen the uh, unknown things happen and there are some who really stand up uh, when it matters Nathan Caldera hasn't bowled the length you know he needs to bowl full he, he, you, yes you cannot bowl short he's trying to uh, push Malavi Arachi onto the back foot but uh, he's been brave enough and uh, what he's done well is uh, gone for it I mean he's given it it all he's not uh, held back and uh, he's been uh, successful with a six and a four so certainly pressure it was 12 runs per over he's got 10 of uh, those first two deliveries and this is what we expect from a Royal Thurman encounter edge of the seat stuff keep you on the grounds until the last ball is bowled excellent delivery there by Caldera what a response to come back and then nail that ball on that Yorker line yes, he needs to bowl the full and straight it's not easy for these batters uh, to hit down the ground but if it's short they will smack it so you need to uh, bowl full and straight keep it up yes uh, Mahit Pereira he has a worried face as well I mean he's uh, been through this uh, quite a lot in the last three years another good hit they've got the runs required for the over 11 so far four deliveries Alavera Chi and Rahim Dean seem to be a good pairing for Royal College in the last few overs St. Thomas's last one in 2018, this Mustangs trophy. So it has uh, been uh, five years in the making if, uh, if they get through here. Yes, and I'm sure they would have planned long and hard into the years since that 2018 campaign to bring this trophy back to Mount Lavinia. And they've done a super job of it for the moment, Ricky. Rahim Deem waiting as we attend to a few niggles on the field you could excuse these players we saw some of them cramping up last week as well at the end of the three-day game also helps the batsman just to collect their thoughts now assess the field and see what part of the ground he wants to go for calculated risk can be taken over extra cover and also straight down the ground if necessary another one into the gap Will that be another boundary? Oh, absolutely brilliant. They will go to the third umpire, no doubt about that will be referred. But uh, you have to give uh, applause for the effort itself uh, from the field. I Good mean, uh, that was a close one. Uh, every run counts, whether it's for the batting team or for the fielding team. And yes, that was a super effort. It's good cricket all around by Khalid Rahim Dean and what a wonderful effort by the Thomian fielders on the outfield. That's what you want from your fielders and that will de definitely give Nathan Caldera a lift if, if he needed in, in this over to look for that Rahim Dean wicket and then seal things for the boys in blue, black and blue. Yes, sir, this is Nadia Goda giving it his all, made a superb half century today. Absolute fantastic uh, effort in the field. Oh, that hit him on his shoulder, isn't it? Another short delivery. Well, uh, Nathan Caldera, 9 overs, 2 for 47. But that was an uh, expensive one, a good one for Royal. Triple, uh, double Nelson on the board, 222 for 8. It is my vision that wakes me up, not my alarm. I make mistakes. But I will never be defeated. My biggest competitor is myself. Five account from Commercial Bank for the youth who think beyond limits. Two for eight. So now 35 runs uh, required of 18 deliveries. Two runs per over almost. St. Thomas has, uh, need a couple of uh, good overs. Royal need some uh, lusty blows. 
We'd like to see who is the remaining, what are the overs remaining, what are the options remaining for St. Thomas's in this uh, final three overs. If we could have the bowling chart, that would uh, certainly be uh, helpful. This is what the last delivery uh, Riza flush onto his helmet, isn't it? Yes, being a typical fast bowler, wouldn't like to get hit for those boundaries early on in the over, so really taking, getting one back on the Royal Batsman and also psychologically these things count, uh, Ricky. And if the West Indies would have it any other way, they'd say, make him smell the leather man. And uh, that's exactly what Nathan Caldera has come up with there. Yes, he was hit for a six, he was hit for a four, but still testing the short ball against Malavi Arachi. There you go. Akash Fernando, just the two overs. Sirivadana probably will bowl another one. Caldera has uh, one more left. I think uh, those are the bowlers. Caldera, Sirivadana, Akash Fernando, I feel uh, are the options. So will they go for Dinesh Gunavadana? He's bowling very well. 3 for 32, picked up a wicket in his last over. Will they continue with the spinner for one more over? We'll have to wait and see. Or will they go to the... Uh, Fast bowlers, the interesting times. Uh, my Pereira has a lot of thinking to do. I mean, uh, he's a uh, credit to my Pereira as well. He's uh, been uh, a good leader for St. Thomas's. He's uh, playing in his uh, fourth year. I mean, uh, kept on the football, played first 15 rugby, athletics, now cricket. You can't ask for anything more, isn't it, Risa? No, just the right man for the right job, really. And uh he yes, seems to have a good calm shoulder, uh, head on his shoulders and the St. Thomas's will look for him to leadership. Last three cre uh, overs are very critical in this game and he, I'm sure being the, the caliber of person he is would have planned exactly for this kind of situation. Uh, that's a big hike. One bounce, uh, just a single. Intention was good. Malavi Arachi, go for it. Yes, uh, Tomi and they opted for Dinet Gunu Adana. They're going for the experience. They feel that uh, the spinners are finding it uh, uh, better on this uh, surface and uh, the batters are finding it difficult to get the spinners away. Pace on the ball can be costly, isn't it? Could be very costly, but also if Mike Pereira were batting in this instance, I'm sure he'd look for the option down the ground. He did it successfully last week as well in, in the latter part of his innings. And really, it is a good option, Ricky, on this ground because we saw the previous batsman perishing to that kind of shot as well. Oh... There's another wicket. He was uh, following up pretty quickly. Uh, Rahim Dean. Malavi Arachi couldn't time that one. Or oh, oh, Rahim Dean, in fact, couldn't time that one. Malavi Arachi is run out, I think. Yes. Hit it straight back towards the bowler. Bit of an inside edge. The ball just ballooned up to Dinet Gunavadana. Easy at the end. He was out by a long way. And uh, Royal have uh, lost another wicket. St. Thomas is on the verge of a victory. Malavi Arachi departs for 13 uh, run out by uh, Dinit Gunavardhana. So back live now, and what a time to be watching if you're a Thomian supporter. So the final wicket uh, for Royal College. New batsman taking guard, and St. Thomas's will breathe a sigh of relief now with this new batsman as well, Ricky. Looking to pack this offside field, but his job is just getting the single, giving the strike back to Rahim Deen, and then making sure that he bats as many balls as possible from yes, the Royal College. Young Netmin Dharma Ratna. I mean, uh, he batted at number seven if I'm right in the uh, big match, but has been uh, pushed down the order because the Royal need uh, to uh, get on with the game, need get on with the run rate. He's uh, generally an uh, accumulator. 
doesn't have those big shots in the Royal Dome and we saw him come in and holding up a one end putting up a good partnership when Royal needed it but uh, this is uh, probably asking too much of the youngster big inside edge oh midfield as well it's not a bad first shot from uh, that young Dharmaratna unfortunate to find the fielder there at that cow point region and then lucky on the second one so really let's see what he makes of this one now He's got the best part of two and a half overs to try and make a name for himself and that's the way he should go about it. It's all opportunity or nothing. Good bowling by St. Thomas's, keeping it tight, running through the overs, rushing the new batsman in. And at the end of 48 overs, we find ourselves at 226 for nine, Royal with the last wicket. And St. Thomas is waiting for that last one as well. Heels crest nine is sausage, the bite that bites back. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking crazy. Education loans and salary advances amazing. amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ, NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. So just uh, two overs to go. Dharma Ratna and Rahim Dean. Rahim Dean uh, playing his uh, first uh, big, big account encounter for Royal. He's uh, done a decent job. Can he get a few lusty blows and make this game a bit more exciting? Get it closer for Royal. I mean, uh, a bound, few boundaries certainly will uh, make the game a lot more entertaining, no doubt about it. That's what the spectators want, that's what the Royal fans want. And if Royal go back, they will kick themselves for those 15 extras, I think, in the innings. And he's gone! Excellent! The there you go, Reza! St. Thomas has won the Mustangs that trophy after a five-year gap. What a victory it has been. Mahit Pereira has led the Thomians to victory at the SSC grounds in 2024. The Thomians supporters have rushed to the grounds. They are celebrating in a grand style. Royal have been bowled out for 226. And St. Thomas has have once again taken the Mustangs uh, trophy to Mount Lavinia. Yes, St. Thomas is uh, transforming this green SSC grounds into blue, black and blue. And why not? What a superlative performance by the boys from Mount Lavinia. And what a way to do it. Excellent feeling again coming to the success of this uh, the Thomian outfit. Mai Pereira finishes it off in style. You can't ask for more. Mahit Pereira, the catcher. He takes the bells and a stump and uh, he will celebrate. I mean, he was looking forward to this uh, for the last few years. Uh, my Pereira, no doubt about it. The uh, last year when St. Thomas has won that uh, lost the big match and the 50 overs. He was uh, really down and out. And he was looking up uh, for this uh, challenge. He's a proud captain. I will tell you, his uh, parents, they must be celebrating at the stands as well. Because, uh, especially his mom, I, I'll tell you, she has been here for every match the Thomians have played right throughout the season. They travel to Kurnagala, they travel to Kandy or to Mathara. She has uh, followed him and I'll tell you, she must be a very, very happy lady to see uh, Mai Perera to lift the uh, Mustangs uh, trophy. St. Thomas's College win by 30 runs. Yes, failures are the pillars of success and no better example than Mahit Pereira and really if you are to be successful at anything comes down Ricky to uh, having that family support and a good uh, good setup around you as well so all of this now will be spoken about in this Thomian cricketing outfit and what reward they have brought everyone who has put in the hard work behind the scenes to take that trophy back the all-important Mustangs trophy back to Mount Lavinia what celebrations here at the SSC grounds it has uh, been a really good cricketing game no doubt royal tried hard 
But once he won the toss and he put 256 on the board, it was uh, not easy for Royal. Ryan Beeris, I mean, we are going to see a lot of him in the years to come. A youngster, he was unfortunate to be given out LBW without scoring. Giganage tried his best for 37, but the big wicket was uh, Sinit Jayawardana. Brilliant catch by Dinit Gunawardana. Polna Vida, 31. Abe Ratna, I thought he played really well. Young Shane Abe Ratna, credit to him for that uh, 56. Uh, Ramiro Pereira, they needed more from him. Sena Ratna tried hard. And towards the end, Rahim Dean, Veeratunga and Malavi Arachi contributed. 19 extras in the 226, but it was just not enough. The scoreboard pressure uh, is what I think mattered. Once you get to 250 plus uh, in a school game, in a school match, it's uh, not easy for the side uh, chasing, especially if you have a bowling, uh, good bowling attack. And uh, St. Thomas's did brilliantly to contain Royal. 226. Fernando just the two overs. Siri Wardana was very economical. Then the, the Devan Arayan, two for 29. I was surprised to see him open the bowling. Two for 29 of his eight overs. Ball really well. The left armer. Ashen Pereira once again very accurate. Eight for 35. Diago six overs to 23. Caldera. Oh, the vice captain, 3 for 47 and 3 for 37 to Dinit Gunawardana. The two senior bowlers taking on the responsibility and uh, delivering uh, for St. Thomas's uh, containing the Royalist uh, at the end. It was, uh, that was that inside edge, Ryan Pierce. He was out early. I thought he was a touch unlucky. But then we got a brief partnership. Again, again, again. He batted well. Senet Jawadana. And that was that uh, match changing moment. That was a brilliant catch by the Net Gunawadana. That was a match changing moment. Again, again, again with uh, Polana Vita. Put on a, a good partnership. Steadied the ship for Royal. And uh, they were batting well. Paul Novita didn't play the uh, three-day encounter. Got his opportunity here. And uh, did a decent job. And then that LBW looking to play across the line. Caught in front. Royal were three down at that stage. Paul Novita continued. And uh, he was accumulating uh, runs. Oh, it's a straight one. Another LBW caught the right in front. Anush Polnavita. Ramiro Pereira. He came in. He can hit the ball. But then he too missed one. And Rujira Paliagurugu didn't hesitant. Uh, wasn't hesitant uh, to give that out. LBW to Nathan Caldera. And at that stage, Royal, I thought, was uh, in a spot of bother. Once they lost those uh, main uh, top order batters, uh, the ones who could keep up with the required run rate, they were behind the game at that moment. Even though there were a few good partnerships, they were still way behind the run rate. And uh, that was a good uh, half century to young uh, Shane. Very well played. He tried his best. Went for that uh, slog sweep. Diago picking up the wicket. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Dinit Gunawardena. He was caught in the deep. The left hander came into the act. Caldera picking up his uh, second. Wickets were tumbling at uh, regular intervals. Royal were looking to keep up with that run rate. Malavi Arachi out, LBW. They just could not uh, do enough. Well, that was Malavidi Ache, a bigger part, the earlier one. Uh, he came and uh, played a few lusty blows. And uh, then he was uh, run out. Come on, come on. And that was the final wicket. Mahit Pereira holding on to the catch. She didn't in jubilant. Royal bowled out in 48.1 overs for 226. Uh, Riza, fantastic game overall. Doesn't matter if you're a Royalist or a Thomian, you would enjoy that, isn't it? Excellent work and good to see the captain, vice-captain team up there to wrap up things for St. Thomas' 
of it. And as the match summary comes in, St. Thomas's College, Soisa with an impressive 65, and then Ahelia Gouda uh, continuing from the big match on 61, and Fernando 37. Malavi Arachi for Royal College, four wickets for 53 runs. Rahim Dean, one wicket for 36 runs. And Polo Novita chipping in with the one for 43. And for Royal College, Abe Ratna, the scorecard really never got going. 56 there, Giganagi, 37 runs. Polo Novita with a useful 31 to go with his one wicket from the previous innings. And then for St. Thomas's, Gunwardana's three wickets for 37. Caldera's three for 47, definitely making a, an impact at the end there. And Devananda wrapping things up for, with two for 29. St. Thomas's College win the Mustangs trophy by 30 runs in this 2024 encounter. Well, we have had a wonderful day here at the SSC, no doubt about it. Uh, the 47th uh, Mustangs trophy has given us uh, the best entertainment on and off the field. The cricket has been excellent and the celebrations will go on into the night, especially in the Thomian camp. Well, to wrap up things for today, Luxisi is uh, down in our studios. Welcome back to the studio, everyone. You're joining with the uh, post-match talk show of the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter between Royal College and St. Thomas's College. St. Thomas's College winning this game by 30 runs to register the uh, Mustangs Trophy win after five years. To talk further about this encounter, joining with me is Harun Majud. Harun, a great win for St. Thomas's. And uh, let's start with the fact, where did it go wrong for Royal College? Well, uh, considering the start that they had, yes, they were you know put into a shackle. It's just that they couldn't break off it, uh, especially during that post first uh, power play. Uh, Yeganegi and Polnavita got stuck into a shell. I thought they missed about 20 to 30 runs, and if you look at the margin of victory, I think that is where the Royal is really uh, you know put additional pressure on themselves, where they had to come and play catch up cricket uh, from that point on. And also. Um Harun, when we talk about Royal College's uh, chase, Shreya Nabiratna, what a knock that was. Uh, he managed to keep Royal College in the chase. Uh, that's the speciality. I mean, that little phase where Shane and Ramiru batted, I think that was the best phase. But unfortunately for Royal College, that didn't last long. Absolutely. I think for a 16-year-old, he showed a very good and very mature head on his shoulders. Uh, the way he went about his innings and the fact that he was always positive. From the time he came in, you saw his attitude. He was always looking to work the single, take the, uh, rotate the strike. And whenever he was presented with an opportunity, he made maximum use of it. Look at the shots. 16-year-old boy facing Nathan Caldera. He was not afraid to take him on. So it, it really a uh, very good find for Royal. I think he has three more seasons that he can uh, play for college. So very bright prospect and a lot to look forward in him. Indeed, Shaina Bairadna really impressing everyone with that uh, half century. And uh, talking further, Harun, uh, you said that uh, during the uh, first uh, few overs, Royal College, the intent was not just there, but the, what played a part there was uh, the uh, bowling changes by Mahit Pera. He brought in the left arm spinner very early, Deva Narayan, and he took two wickets inside the first 10 overs. Absolutely, I think he uh, spotted that opportunity, and I think in, a, in very dry conditions like this, bringing on spin early is a superb option. I think that is what the Royal is failed to do. I thought Sinetu would start off with either a left arm spin or himself coming on the ball at the start where you create that doubt because with the drive cut, newish ball, there's something always to happen. And Devanara and you know, producing the results for the Thomians, which gave him that impetus to really uh, tighten uh, uh, the Royalists, where they never gave them any room in that first 10 overs. Yes, indeed, Devanara and I mean, Mahit Pera, he was not afraid to uh, bowl the left arm spinner against the left hand of Sinej Jayavadhan, and he took the wicket of Sinej Jayavadhan. Now, talking about the uh, wickets once again uh, of Royal College, uh, Harun, Nathan Caldera, he was really, really good. It was a fury spell by him in that uh, middle phase, wasn't it? Absolutely. I think it was a tactical win for Nathan because understanding that he wasn't brought in at the start, brought in much later, post the 15th over, I think the captain really knew exactly what he had to do. So it was about mixing the lengths, mixing the pace. We saw him rolling his fingers more often than not on that ball and surprising the batsman with that sharp short delivery. We saw quite a few getting hit on the shoulder, on the head. And so, like you can see, this wicket, Ramiro Pereira was you know, caught napping, just trapped right in front because the previous ball, he, he bowled a very good short delivery. So he played with the batsman's mind and he bowled to his feet. That's what 
resulted in him getting rewarded with the wicket. And also we need to give uh, some credit to the uh, number 9 and number 10 of Royal College, Rahim Deen and Malavi Arachi. They uh, managed to put up a decent fight just at the end but uh, the job at hand was a bit too much. Wasn't it? Yes, I think there was some ray of hope for 2019 to be replicated but you <laughs> once bitten twice shy for the Dominions I'm, I'm sure. So they have obviously learned uh, where to bowl to the Royalists. We saw Dinet Gunwardhan, who would have thought the left arm spinner after getting injured, you get the part timer to come and he's got three wickets for you, three crucial wickets uh, of them. And I thought the fact that he bowled very smartly, certain balls he took the pace off, some balls he actually uh, put a bit of pace in, he outsmarted the batsman uh, there again. So I think it was a tactical win for St. Thomas's to pull off this victory. Yes, indeed. Now we're talking about the tactical aspect. We uh, talked earlier about uh, Mahit Perra, how he handled himself, how he handled his bowlers. Uh, let's talk a bit about his captains because he certainly deserves a lot of credit for the way he handled himself. Absolutely. I think for someone who plays four sports and you know m m playing other team sports as well, he's learned a lot in terms of how to manage situations. I think that's the biggest uh, point of working in favour favor for Mahit. And he's shown that today. He's not been afraid to test and really ideate with the opportunities that were presented. To bring in the left armor against Sinet Jawadhan, like you mentioned, very bold. And you know, bring in Dinit Gunwardhan when Devanarana got injured and all that too. The first ball being a free hit. So he's taken some very bold moves, which has actually worked, taken the risk, and which has given him the result he's wanted, for the, uh, which has not come for the Thomians over the last five years. And also uh, the Thomians, they have analysed the Royal College batters really well because straight away when Ramiro came into bat, uh, there is a uh, uh, little uh, weakness of Ramiro playing against a shorter delivery. Might straight away brought in Nathan Caldera. I mean, as you said, the technical game has been really, really good. It has been up to a next level, to be honest. Absolutely. With this college. Spot on, Laksisi. I think the fact that you rightly mentioned, they have studied each and every Royal batsman. They knew what their strengths and weaknesses were. And like, as you said, as Pereira came in, he brought in Caldera because he knew Ramiro Pereira is having problem with the shorter delivery, not a great back foot player. Tested him, bowled a short one, got hit for four, but the next one is snipped in that full and delivery and he was gone. So that's how, like I said, tactically St. Thomas has won this match. Yes, indeed. Uh, so St. Thomas's College now, uh, the tally uh, Harun, it was 23 to 21 when we started the day today, but now it's 23 to 22. So St. Thomas's just uh, one win short of getting tied up with uh, Royal College in this uh, Mustangs Trophy uh, tally. So uh, if we uh, talk about this whole game, Harun, uh, who do you think uh, was the uh, most best player of the day for you? So, very interesting. It's a very tough one also to actually put into context. Considering the fact that up to the 42nd over, the Royalists and Thomians pretty much had the same score in hand. So, 182, 183, that's about the score they were. So, it's actually that last eight overs which really propelled the Thomians to get to the 256 mark. So, you really have to give credit to Soisa and Akash Fonan to for taking the Thomians to that position. So, in my books, I believe Sadev Soisa really played a very crucial hand, especially after batting first, you know, neg neg negating that first tower, going for his st strokes. Injury obviously put him out for a while, but when he came back, he made sure that momentum was still there. He ended the over with a, the, that very last over, he hit a fantastic six over mid wicket. So if you look at it in the whole context from batting point of view, I thought it was Sadev Soisa. From bowling point of view, I thought it was a bit of both between Caldera and uh, the Nidhu Northern to bring them into this match. Yes, indeed. And uh, if we uh, talk more about this game, Harun, I think uh, a certain difference between the two sides that I saw was that uh, St. Thomas's College, they had the more boundary hitting ability, I believe. They scored more sixes as well. Royal College lacked a bit behind when it comes to that aspect. Spot on. I think uh, apart from Pereira, Jawadhan and Ryan Piris, uh, not, you, you don't, the rest are not known for their power hitting. Abhiratna showed us what he can do because I too saw him bat for the first time. So he looks very impressive. But like you rightly mentioned, apart from the three batsmen that I mentioned, uh, A, you have an inexperienced set of players who are playing in a stage like this. B, and executing those big hits uh, with somewhat daunting, especially when you're playing a game of this magnitude. So that may be the reason, but if you look at the Tomian side, like you rightly mentioned, Akash, Nathan, Mahit, uh, Tisane, all those uh, season campaign as I would call them, have played this encounter and they know how to score runs and that's what I believe has worked in favour for the Thomians today. 
and is um, talking more about the Royal College side. And you, as you mentioned, they have a lot of youngsters in this uh, eleven, Arun. So uh, I believe, although they lost, I think they do have a lot of positives, don't they? Yes, I think the biggest positive for me was Shane Abera, the 16-year-old whom I have not seen very uh, much in the circuit. He showed his temperament, how he can, you know, build an ink, carve out an innings, play the big shots. Even Raheem Deem was uh, pretty impressive playing his first like, big game, I, I would say. He bowled decently well, left arm spin, and at the end he gave able support to Veera Sunga. Yes, so uh, at the end of the day, St. Thomas's College, they managed to get this win. And uh, even today morning, we uh, talked about how uh, special this game is uh, for both Mahit Pera, Sinej Jayadhan, and both of them playing for their school for the last time. So, uh, Mahit Pera, I think Mahit Pera got that final catch as well, I think. Yes, the final so, catch was taken at short extra cover by Mahit. So, so. it's a memorable game for Mahit Pera. He, uh, Made 25 plus with the bat as well, and as we mentioned, uh, captain the side brilliantly throughout the day. So, um, Dinesh Gunawardena, another name. I think uh, he couldn't perform with the bat today as much as uh, we expected him to because at the three-day game he scored two half centuries. But uh, we uh, came to that point earlier as well. He bowled really well. Wasn't I mean, at the end he was actually uh, bowling some uh, seam up deliveries. Exactly, I think obviously or, uh, bowling right arm off spin to a right hander with the turn you have that element of risk where the batsman can take you on. So he was smart enough to you know pack that offside field and uh, bowl the one that goes on with the arm. And the batsman found it difficult. I thought where whenever he tried to bowl too fast he was taken uh, for a boundary. But when he got that, I I believe the trajectory. It's a trajectory that counts when he doesn't come about the bat batsman's eye line, it's very difficult to create that elevation. So I thought he was smart coming around the wicket uh, bowling that line. So uh, Arun, I will give you four options now. You have to name what you think is the uh, moment that turned the game around. So uh, the first moment being St. Thomas' College scoring 80 runs in the last 10 overs. And then the, uh, we can say the negative approach of Royal College in the first 15 overs during the chase. Ramiru Pereira's dismissal, Shane Nabiratna's dismissal. Uh, I'd say the uh, first option, which you mentioned, the fact that Thumians got 80 runs in seven overs, that's where the momentum completely shifted because, like I mentioned, both schools at the 42 uh, run, 42 over mark were at 182, 183. There was just a one run margin. So it's from that point onwards where the Thumians really propelled to take to 250 because even at the toss, I uh, heard him saying 220, 230 was a good target, which is the case in a, in a schoolboy uh, limited over cricket encounter. And that for me was the point uh, in which uh, it wor that worked in favour of St. Thomas. Yes, so uh, we talked about a lot of players. We talked about Nathan Caldera. We talked about Shane Nabiratna. We talked about Dinan Gunadana. Uh, let's uh, talk a bit about as well about uh, Devan Narayana because uh, the left arm spinner, he bowled really well. I think he started off with that quicker delivery, which actually, uh, it was a very close call. I think uh, we, when we were debating at the comm box whether there was an inside edge or not there. So uh, let's talk about Devanar and as well, because he deserves a lot of credit. Absolutely, playing his uh, first big uh, encounter here at the, Ma at the Mustangs Trophy, actually replacing the experienced Abit uh, Palewagna. So we saw him, the beauty of it is he never gave room. He was always stump to stump from ball one. and hence troubling some seasoned batsmen. You are know, talking about Rehan Piris. Yes, who was unfortunate because on the, on, the, on the screen, we clearly saw some form of deflection. Uh, but Jayawadhan, how he trapped him coming around the wicket, just fantastic. Didn't give any room and was uh, rewarded for some very good bowling. So, uh, St. Thomas's College, uh, you can say, Harun, it was a really good all-round effort. As batters, they managed to get a total over 250 because even at the toss, uh, even at the pitch report, Garmini mentioned that uh, a total around 240 to 250 will be enough here, and they got six runs more than 250, and uh, that gave them a psychological advantage as well uh, when they uh, came in to defend this total. And then um, when it comes to the bowling, uh, as you mentioned so many times, my Perez captains, he worked out brilliantly. His bowling changes were spot on, and they have analysed the Royal College batters. To uh, perfection, so everything went well for St. Thomas's College. So as a result, they managed to get the win by 30 runs. Royal College it was a great effort. So um, any uh, thing that you have to say before we head to the uh, presentation ceremony? So I think overall it was a very good game of cricket because Royal Two gave a decent fight to you know get uh, to that uh, 200, 220 run mark. And uh, overall, what I can say is it's fantastic being back here and uh, enjoy the cricket and obviously cricket is the ultimate winner but kudos to St. Thomas's for pulling this one through. 
So uh, thank you very much, uh, Harun, for joining me with us with this uh, post-match uh, talk show. So uh, that's it from the post-match talk show, but we have the presentation ceremony coming up. We have Harita Pereira in the middle with the presentation ceremony of the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter.
Darshana Gunasekara. Next, cordial inviting Mr. Rayan Gunasekara, Kochia Royal, together with Mr. Ramesh Abhivikrama, Co-Secretary Royal. Best batsman from St. Thomas's would also receive a, a special award a bat from Royal Tome and Mustang Stand. This is Nalyagoda for his glassy half century. Billy Moria, Warden St. Thomas's College, Mr. Sampath Varnakula Surya, Head of Marketing, Thayan Lanka Steel Company. receive the Thai gift voucher. Ladies and gentlemen, it's from St. Thomas's. It's Sadev Soiza. Okay, the big team award comes up next. Cordial inviting the principal of Royal College, Mr. Tilak Watueva, for the occasion. The Mustangs Trophy winners, 2024, St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. Inviting the captain, Mahit Pereira. Study now at 23 to 22 in favor of Royal.
on behalf of uh, joint uh, match organizing committee we would uh, like to thank each and every one of you for coming and supporting the two teams they have played a superb game while congratulating st thomas we say a big thank you and well played to royal please uh, go home safely those of you who would stay here and enjoy the rest of the evening do so we would like to thank uh, special uh, invitees dignitaries involved in the presentation ceremony everybody else enjoy the cricket as it were enjoy the excitement and fellowship as it should be thank you very much from all of us it was live on the papare and they will be there for so many more years to come Congratulations to St. Thomas's College who won the uh, 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter. Here's the match summary. St. Thomas's College after winning the toss they decided to bat first and made 256 runs for the loss of 8 wickets. Sadhu Soiza got adjudged as the man of the match, made 65 of 70. He's in Hollywood, 61 of 69. And um, bowling, Malavi Arachi, the pick of the bowlers for Royal College, 4 for 53. And uh, then in reply, Royal College, they could only score 226 in 48.1 overs. Shayna Beratna, the best batsman of this game, he managed to make 56 of 70. And um, Gigan Gay made 37 of 69. And uh, the best bowler of the day, St. Thomas's College player, Dinit Gunwadana, he took 3 for 37. And Nathan Caldera, who was equally effective took 3 for 47 as well and the left arm spinner uh, Deva Narayana took 2 for 29 with the uh, prize scalp of the skipper of Royal College Sinan Jayavadana so St. Thomas College they won this game by 30 runs to win the 47th Mustangs Trophy encounter as it is now 23 to 22 so, So these are the uh, behind the scenes of uh, this 47th uh, Mustang Trophy encounter. It's an honor for all of us at uh, the Papari TV to uh, bring you all the live action from the single esports club grounds. It was uh, indeed a lot of hard work but uh, it all is really amazing. It's a really amazing feeling to uh, bring you all the live action from this encounter. So uh, tomorrow we have the uh, Thurston College versus Isipatana College uh, Limited Doors Encounter coming up the 44th Limited Doors Encounter. The uh, live feed will begin at 9.15am. The game will take place at the Pisara Oval Grounds. So uh, once again thank you very much to everyone from all around the globe for joining with Sri Lanka's number one sports channel the Papare TV today for the 47th Mustangs Trophy. We hope that all of you will join with us tomorrow as well for the 44th limited dose encounter between Thurston College and Isipatna College. Thank you very much everyone once again for joining with us. Have a very good night.